Welcome everyone. Welcome in, welcome in. God, I'm nervous, man. I'm actually nervous. Like, I've got him. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm playing my own stream back. Hold up. Nervous, man. I'm actually nervous. Like, there we go. Uh, oh wait, oh, wait. That needs some music as well. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yo, let's go. I've been waiting for this. Uh, me too. Me too. There we go, there we go. Why is it not playing? Uh, what? Guys, oh my god. It's- I- I can't believe we're here. I really can't. I mean, I did this challenge so freaking long ago. It- it's been like two months. Should be out soon. It's been like two freaking months. Sorry, I'm trying to get the music back up. A lot. I'm sorry? Mike is peaking a lot? Okay, let me turn it down a bit. My bad. Oh, wow. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. Where to begin? I mean, we did this two months ago. We got 151 shrines done. And now we're back, we're trying again, because there's been a massive discovery, and we're gonna be trying to do 152 today. Is it doable? Maybe. I mean, the, the theory is pretty solid. The theory looks good. And it's it's pretty wild. I'm just gonna say, if you haven't seen the, the, my last video, like, the whole thing is kinda crazy. I mean, I, I really skimmed the surface in my video. You're gonna see a lot more of it in today's stream, but it... It's it's pretty awesome. It's practically a floor is lava challenge. Uh, we have to beat the Great Sky Island with four auto saves, so it should be a lot of fun. Now, before I go into that, I do want to, I do want to kind of show just that one shrine real quick, how you would normally solve it. And I also, I also want to show you guys some proof that this is the proper. 151 shrine save because i didn't show it in my video but this is the save file also the vods is down in the description of that video so if you guys do want to check out the vods obviously we got the one the one stupid sky v tower that we couldn't unlock we got our horse ted over here our boy and like just covered the map in shrines just covered and then we got this one orange shrine this one little orange tried poking out like a sore thumb papunke. Papunke. Uh, and the proof as far as me having only key items, you can see I'm spamming L here. But I, I would say the biggest proof that I haven't picked up anything is when I go to vendors. Because when I go to vendors and I say buy my stuff, they, they show me the key items category. Which is just so funny to me. There is actually like some glitches to do with this. Unfortunately, none of the key items are worth any runes. But there's actually like an infinite rupee glitch. If you uh, if you pick up just the Hylian shield and you bring it back here, you can actually sell that for 750 rupees, but it won't let you sell it. So you can just keep on selling it over and over and over again until you're like mega rich. Anyway, real quick. Uh, there's golden apples here, I believe. I'm just gonna do the shrine normally, just so you guys get an idea of what the shrine is and what we're gonna be, you know, trying to cheese today. What's the plan? I'll kind of go over it as I'm doing the whole shrine and, or, yeah, I'm doing the whole Great Sky Island more so. I mean, the thing is, like, doing the shrine's like the last step in the whole process. What's up, Isaac? So welcome in, everyone. Really glad you guys came by. To see me solve this. It does really mean a lot to me, this shrine, so. Uh, I am obviously not doing it right now. This is just me quickly, like, showing you guys what the shrine is. I just want to show you how stupidly simple this shrine is. It is, like, the most simple shrine, and yet we just we just can't do it, naturally. What version is this? 1.0. I mean, it feels like we, we reached, like, 20 different miracles... To make this all possible, you know? 
and I, I we got like another miracle. It's it's insane. It's insane. I'm gonna stop saying that now. I'm gonna shut up. Yo, what's up, Hoppy? How you doing? But it does. It is. It is a bit of a miracle. Okay, it's five golden apples. So we have five now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's wild extreme burrito. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Dino? By the way, how's the mic now? Is the mic better? Is it better? We fixed. Is it not peaking anymore? Mic's good now. Thanks, Sirius. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, so this is the shrine that we're trying to break into. Obviously, I even showed in the thumbnail. It doesn't even exist in the map. Like, you can see the, the arch of it, right? But in order for the shrine to even spawn in, we need that green crystal. And I'm just showing this in case you haven't seen my last video. If you already saw my last video, you probably already know the whole deal with this. But this crystal isn't something I can just pick up. It's burritos. It is my favorite food. This thing doesn't move. You know, I tried a million different things. I tried things I didn't even put, the, put in the video, and it doesn't move. But since I do have five golden apples, we just talk to her. We give her the apples. We give her the gapples. And that's it. That's the shrine. That's all we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That was the stream. That was the stream. It was, it was fun. It was a fun one. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> what actually? Did, did you guys see that? <laughs> what? Why did it just void out? That was really weird. I've never seen that before. You'll be excited for my video that was so random. What? What? Why did it void? <laughs> all right, see you all next stream. Yeah, good stream, good stream. See you guys next time. It was a quick one. I'm messing, I'm messing. Obviously, we'd not do it itemless. Because we unlocked the inventory category. And that is basically my, like, kind of method of proof to show that I've never picked anything up. Because obviously, I can pick up gapples and then just drop them. Like, right now, if I just drop my apple. Guys, look, I have nothing in my inventory. I only picked up key items. No, I unlocked the material tab. So you can be like, call, call me out, you know? I, I got the material tab. That means I've picked up something in the past. Yo, what's up, Apple? The game doesn't want you to... Ch uh, <laughs> doesn't want me to do this run at all, for real. Yeah, maybe that's like a, a bad sign already. Anyway, that's the shrine. I'm not actually going to like complete it, but that is the shrine. So we got to start over. <laughs> we got to make a whole new profile, in fact, because we can't even start from a new... We can't start from a new game because we need our autosave slots to not be filled in. So I'm going to make a new profile real quick. Users, add user. Create new user. What, what should we do for this one? <laughs> I, I think it's only right if we name the user Todd. I think it's only right. Uh, is there one that's a torch? It'd be awesome if there was like a torch profile picture. No, there's no torch. I think I'll just do... Happy Moon. Just happy. And I'll do a brown background for Todd. Red Pikmin is taught. Todd. Alright. <laughs> you know, I hope that we only have to make one say one new account, but as far as I know, if we mess this up, we're gonna have to restart entirely. And you'll understand why that is in a second, but you know, we're probably gonna end up with like 20 Todd profiles by the end of the stream. A link a Nintendo account? No, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit. Odd. What's my favorite dungeon in tiers? Depends, do you mean itemless or just in general? Itemless would definitely be Fire Temple. Fire Temple was sick. I would totally do, um, if, if Water Temple is possible, I would totally do a stream for Water Temple one day. I think if anything, Water Temple is the most likely next culprit to be solved, but I still think it will never happen, unfortunately. You need the Todd shirt? <laughs> do I get the Todd shirt? Oh, 
Maybe I should have. Definitely do chat requests and names to the profiles. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm starting the timer. Oh, wait, I started it kind of late. Oh, well. To me. Okay. We're going in. Guys, the first thing we're going to have to do is a thing called intro skip, which they do in the speedrun. It avoids an autosave. The name of the game here is avoiding autosaves. The longer we spend on the ground, the more likely it is to the game that creates autosaves. Periodically, every now and then, just while you're standing on the ground, the game's going to autosave. So we want to spend as much time in locations where the game cannot autosave. No matter what, we're forced to get one here. But if we clip out of bounds quickly, we should only get one. So hopefully we get out of here with only one autosave. If not, <laughs> we gotta make a new profile. <laughs> That's not a joke. Oh, that's a half clip. Yep, there's our autosave. Was that second one? I'm okay with getting one here. I don't think I'm okay with getting two. I think one's forced, as far as I know. Come on, clip. Clip. Back to intro. <laughs> yeah, no, this is gonna be a back to intro type of stream. <laughs> Come on, Link. Sound alerts on this scene? I do. I do. God, my speed running, uh... I'm, I'm falling off, guys. I'm not the runner I used to be. I used- I, I would have to get this, like, first try when I would do speed runs back in the day. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. We're out, we're out. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we have to jump over a cutting trigger. Nice, we got it, we got it. Sweet, okay. Now we have to jump over more cutting triggers. Shit, I missed it. Do I get an autosave by doing this? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. I hope I didn't get one. I think we'll see. Let me check if I got any extra. Okay, we still only have one autosave. Still only one autosave. As long as we only get one autosave in here, we're chilling, we're chilling. The idea is that if we have one autosave that's not filled in, by the time we beat Great Sky Island... Shit, we missed it, we missed it. Okay, this might give us an autosave. The idea is that if we have... One free autosave slot. When we beat Great Sky Island, we can corrupt the save. Okay, we we screwed. We goofed. <laughs> There's our this is our first reset, guys. And now you're gonna understand why I can't restart the game. I have to make a new profile. Because check this out. If I go back to title screen and I start a new game, I still am gonna have those autosaves. Overwrite previous data? Sure. Sure. Name the next profile, Todd the second. Yeah, bro. It probably will take a while if we do chat names every single one. So I'll just name him Todd two, Todd three. Okay. It should have like two autosaves here. And that's why we need to make a whole new profile. Name it Todd's girlfriend, Toddetta. <laughs> Toddetta. I like that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you see that? I have three autosaves now. Not even just two. I get an extra one for starting the game over. Okay. That's a dead profile. That's our first reset, guys. Previous challenges indicate that you will not do this shrine sub day. Dude, sub day is easy. Yeah, the amount of work we're putting into this to get one shrine is kind of nuts. The thing is, it's our last uh, fix sound alerts. It's not working. My bad. We're putting so much into this one shrine, but it's worth it. It's so worth it because it's the last one. Yes. Sound alerts are... They should be on. Dude, I was like testing it before stream and it was working fine. 
Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Can I delete this user? I guess I should just keep it. And we'll just keep adding more. <laughs> we'll just keep adding more to it. Burrito, you look dashing today. Thank you. Delete save data? Oh, wait, is that actually- does that actually work? How do I delete save data? I've played two videos, neither have shown up. Uh, can you refund those series? Transfer save data, save data cloud. Not backed up, unable to verify membership. How do you do that? How do you delete save data? Data management, manage software. Here's to to go. Goodbye. delete Have software, to check for corrupt data. No, I think I need to make a new save, guys. I think I need to make a new save. I can delete the user. That doesn't really do much. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, it's the alert is working. This worked. Yeah, surely second try we get this, right? I think easy second try. Easy second try this. Sound alerts for video share is different than alert box. Okay. Um Are you are you approving it? Serious? I don't know to tell you. I see the I see the alert box is like open on mine. Oh, you know what it might be? No, that wouldn't make sense. I would still hear it. Okay, we're starting a new one. Shit, I gotta restart the live split. It's not alert box. Sound alerts is different. I got you, I got you. Well, I'm locking in. Nice! First try. Wait, I already got two autosaves? Are you kidding me? Oh no, that's our first one. That's our first one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Perfect. Shit, dude. That one's tough. That one's tough. Go to data management and scroll all the way to the bottom to delete save data, I think. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Your birthday today? Dude, there's so many birthdays today. Wait, it's Daisy's birthday, it's Vincraft's birthday, and it's Rachel's birthday? Holy shit. Happy birthday, everyone. Like, <laughs> the amount of birthday people today is like an actual significant number. Can we get a happy birthday, spam? What a, what a special day to do it on. And St. Patrick's Day? It's not my birthday, but everyone say happy birthday to me. What's well, not your birthday? Dude, why why this not clip? Why this not clip? This clip is so precise. You guys probably haven't seen this clip before, but it is so freaking precise. I'm not gonna say it's pixel perfect. It's not pixel perfect, but it's like probably very close to pixel perfect. Nice, okay. I think this is still fine. We still only have one save, I think. Okay, perfect. We got it. We got it. Nice. Nice. Okay, we got past that part. Next spot. Okay, we got to climb around the outside of these text boxes. Basically, what I'm doing here... There's all these different spots where Zelda will pull you back in bounds. And if you walk into that, it pulls you back in bounds, you know? Like, you got you got to go around those things. And they do do this in the any percent. That's how I know what I'm doing. This is what I used to do when I speedrun the game. Let's double check that we only have one autosave. Okay, perfect. We still only have one autosave. Which means we're going to Great Scott Island with one autosave if I don't mess this up. 
and it doesn't look like I will. Nice. Okay. This one pulls us back in bounds too, but it's fine. This is required to watch the cutscene. Unskippable six minute cut or four minute cutscene. And it doesn't make an autosave here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Dino, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about my intro. Why is the YouTube viewership triple the Twitch viewership? Uh, probably because I made a video about this and I promoted the hell out of it. But it's awesome that you guys are here. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, we got a lot of viewers today. We do. We do. All right. I'm going to start explaining kind of what's going to happen in the future. So I keep saying we got to not get auto saves. The next part's going to be pretty tricky because right now we're going to have to walk on ground for like the longest period of time for a while. We have to immediately pick up the Decayed Master Sword. It's not going to give us much time because once you load into the Room of Awakening, it gives you an auto save. However, if you really quickly pick up the Decayed Master Sword, it only makes one auto save, whereas normally you would get an auto save for loading in there and for picking up the Decayed Master Sword. So we want to only get one there. Me. Adjust my camera a little bit. Secondly, I have to do a very difficult speedrunner trick, again, called Cog Skip Skip. It basically requires me to get in a very specific angle and run backwards and do a Mazdor jump. So it, it's a very, very precise jump, and I want to be able to do it quickly. I'm watching the stream on both YouTube and Twitch, and double streaming is fire. Thank you. So the longer I take, the worse things are, basically. We want to do things fast, you know? More time we spend on the ground, more time there is for autosaves. Once we do the Mazdor jump and we do Cog Skip Skip, we have to really quickly run on top of the Great Sky Island. I mean, the Room of Awakening, I guess, is the name of the island that we're in. So we need to get on top of that island and get branches. While we're collecting the branches, that's not going to make autosaves. What will make an autosave is getting the wings. But we need wings, because wings are very important for not touching the ground. I know I'm spewing shit tons of information. There's probably a lot to absorb. You'll see what's going on. But effectively, we're going to be playing the floor as lava with wings, because the game only autosaves when, Link's is, when Link is touching the ground. So we want to be standing on wings all the time, pretty much. The name of the game is Wings, guys. We're going to be using Wings a lot to move around because they're fast and we can stand on them without getting autosaves. Do, do, do. Yo, what's up, Lauren? Are you going to tunnel clip after CSS? Uh, no, because the tunnel clip wouldn't really help me. In fact, I don't think there's a way to get out of the tunnel clip unless you get an autosave trigger. So the tunnel clip, as cool as it is, if you guys don't know, he's talking about like a very specific clip that like nobody uses, but it was something discovered a while back where you can clip out of bounds in a tunnel by doing like basically what I just did, a climb clip. And it wasn't really useful because in the speed run, you want to get wings, but it was the fastest way to leave that island and go straight down to the, to the rest of the Great Plateau. Yo, what's up, Blaze Monster? Welcome, welcome. This is probably the hardest Heroes of the Kingdom Challenge yet. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. We have to do a lot of frame-perfect stuff with uh, the shrines. Okay, it's time, it's time. I'm locking in, let's lock in. Okay, okay. Quickly pick up the sword, quickly pick up the sword. I'm spamming plus an X to skip the cutscene, and we're going to immediately run over the sword. Hopefully we only get one autosave. Okay, I think that was perfect. I think I like frame one grabbed that sword. There's no way there's two autosaves there. All right, now we have to do the hard trick. Cog skip skip. I mean, there's so many hard tricks. Um, and th this one's probably going to be overshadowed by a ton, but like this one definitely is a pretty hard trick. It's definitely pretty tough. And I'll be honest, I'm not great at it anymore. I was once good at it. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, there's the autosave. There's the autosave. That's our first or second autosave. Okay. Nice. First try. Oh my god. First try. Huge. Huge. Okay. Go, Link. Go. Move. Move your little butt. Come on. 
No more auto saves. No more auto saves. I'd be super happy if we can get out of here with only two auto saves. We do want to get four sticks before we get the wings. As long as we don't take too long to get the sticks, it won't auto save. That's a slow climb. Okay. Okay, this is RNG. Nope. Dang it, we didn't get it. Okay, next one. Nope. Oh my god, please. Give me one, please. Okay, there's one. No saves, please. No saves, please. Okay, no saves, no saves. Dang it, dude. I need good RNG. I really need good RNG. I need like four sticks. We only have one right now. I'm gonna get some food as well. Just so we have it. Okay, this is not good. It's a 50-50% chance of getting it. So, right now, we are not getting great RNG, to be honest. Hope we get them here. Okay, there's one. There's two. Dang it, dude. Okay. We just have to roll with it. We just have to roll with it. We'll, we'll figure it out later. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, we're gonna get on the back of this chest. Shit. Come on. I need to be standing on it. I need to be standing on it. Thank you for the follow. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. Wait, what are the stick for again? No, I'm standing on the ground. Oh, that's not good. It saved. I got an auto save. Shit. We're at three, right? We're at three. Okay, we're at three. Let's continue anyway. I basically ideally in a perfect world. In an absolutely perfect world, we can do it in three auto saves. And since that's uh, our mess up, that's like our one that's like our one mess up. And unfortunately that's not a frame perfect thing. I just goofed up by not being on the wing or not being on the chest. Uh, so we basically can't make any more mistakes from this from this point forward. But I want to roll with it anyway because the next trick is also very difficult and it's, uh, we want to get the practice in. Right now, I'm duplicating the wings so we'll have more later. So there's five autosave slots in the whole thing. Uh, or we can get two more, basically. And some of those are forced. The next two are forced. Come on, come on, spawn. Oh wait, I'm supposed to look up when I spawn it, right? Apparently that makes it more likely to spawn. Okay, maybe I'm just too high. Let's try over here. Can't take it out. Okay. <laughs> this is where the floor is lava type part comes into play. We gotta get off this island. And I probably could just run off of it because I already did get the autosave, but it's just safer to do this right now. And we have to do this anyway on the on the run that probably like this run probably won't work. And I'm hoping that I don't make that same mistake again, so. Better to get the practice in right. Yeah, I only get one bow, but I do plan on getting air smuggle. So if you are kind of a speedrunner or a glitch person, I am planning on getting air smuggle. Which is a trick that will let me fly, basically. And I think you can see why that's useful, because... Since I can't, can't touch the ground and I have to rely on these wings... Flying is going to be a really big part of this. Come on. Give me the spawn. What is that, dude? That's so far. We can make it. Okay, this should be fine. Alright, so now I'm going to be doing another really complicated trick. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Did I get a save? Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I think. Um, now I have to do a really tricky glitch again. Basically, you will normally get an autosave when you dive down onto the lily pad, which means I can't do that. I, I can't do that because then I'm going to have to, you know, go all the way to the pure pad and blah, 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 blah. So I have to fly over to the pure pad, and you'll see how I'm going to do that, but it's a trick called Mazdor jumping. 
It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. But I'm probably not gonna hit it, let's be honest. Maybe I will though. Maybe I'm just a gamer. Let's see. Alright. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Okay, I'm gonna hold forward right now on my joystick. One Maz door, two Maz door, three Maz door, four Maz door. Okay, we're turning around slowly. Now we turn him like this, so he turns around. Now that he's going backwards, he's gonna Mazdor much faster. So that we can Mazdor way faster to get the pure pad. And now, you see the, the little construct? We have to spawn a wing as we're falling. Do another Mazdor and land on that. Okay, perfect. That worked. Holy shit, dude. Nice. We have to climb onto the wing without touching the ground. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now we have to talk to the construct while standing on a wing. But to be honest, this is this part always sketches me up because I'm not very good at it. I'm just gonna try like this. I think that should be working. Okay. Basically, what we want is that we want it to look glitched out, and we want Link to be standing on the wing after the cutscene. <clears throat> the only thing you waste when you fail is our time. Don't be worried. <laughs> no, I'm a little worried about that. I don't want to waste anyone's time. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to do this. Okay, good. We're standing on the wing. That is very very good. And this cutscene's gonna be pretty janky. So if you guys haven't seen speedruns, then this will be kind of interesting. Basically, since he's standing on the wing, it makes the pure pad- Oh, actually, you know what? It's not even that janky. Normally, his hands are, like, really out of place. Like, you can see his right finger is, like, inside the pure pad a little bit, so- You are so actually saving my time in usually staring at anime women with giant tits 24 hours Okay, bud. <laughs> Temple of time, blah 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 blah. So obviously the next step in beating the Great Sky Island is going to the Temple of Time. So to get there, we're gonna use a wing, since we have wings, and we're also high enough to use wings. There's a really easy trick, or I guess I won't call it easy, but it's not too bad if you learn it. You get on the ledge like this, you backflip, start diving, spawn a wing, and then Maz will jump backwards. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. And now we can just fly straight to the Temple of Time. To be honest, thus far up until this point, this run has almost been the same as a normal any percent speed run. But now this is where it starts getting really weird. Now it starts getting pretty different and unique. YouTube is a few more seconds. Yeah, I do. Uh, I won't say prioritize Twitch, but I, I stream more often on Twitch, and I think restream naturally just leaves a less delay on on Twitch. Okay, I'm placing a wing behind me so that after this cutscene, I'm standing on a wing. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, okay. Alright, now what we want to do... Oh, you know, shit, dude. I goofed up, guys. I goofed up. I was supposed to kill that construct. I'm gonna have to try to kill him on this somehow. Which is kind of scary. How, how do you normally do it, Sirius? How do you normally kill the Construct in, like, Ascend? Because I only have two branches, and I don't want to lose this fight. Uh, do a jump slash. Also, hello, Aragal. Thank you guys for the follows. Tardy Ballad damage? Okay, what if I throw it? Oh, that's the stuff I want. That's the stuff I want. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. This is so jank. Ah. I don't like this, man. I just want your stuff. I don't want to fight you. I don't even care about you. If I do this. Okay. Maybe I could knock him off. So he doesn't bother me anymore. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That's good, that's good. Now we should be able to slowly grab his stuff. I'm hoping. You're sounding like a shy robber. A shy robber? What does a shy robber sound like? I 
I don't think shy. I don't think shy robbers exist. <laughs> like how, <laughs> how? How? How could you be a shy robber? It's just like not the job for you at that point, bro. Pick something else. If you're if you're like really shy, you should not be robbing people. Wait, I am confused. Why can't we stand on a normal ground? Because that will create auto saves. If you want, you can read the description of my video, uh, of this video, or watch the ending of my last video to understand. Dude, this is kind of tricky. Thank you guys so much for the follows. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Since when is robbing a job? Crouch? I mean, I'm trying to crouch, but I'm like, I don't have Ultra Hand yet. Oh, wait. Sweet. We got one. Getting the shield is even more tricky, though. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Green cat, thank you so much. Ooh. I don't know. I definitely need a wing, like, over there. Yo, your YouTube channel is really starting to pop off. Yeah, stuff, dude. Man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, no. Did I just get an autosave? Did that autosave? Oh, my God. It didn't? Holy shit. Dude, I was on the ground for like a millisecond there. <laughs> Come on, can you place anywhere else? Dude, I'm making it worse for myself, honestly. Like, I kind of need that shield, though. I think. Do I need that shield? I'm trying to think, do I need that shield, actually? Maybe I don't. I mean, it would be awesome if I could grab it, but I don't think I need it. You don't need the shield? Aragol said that? Okay. Aragol, thank you. Yeah, I know when Timber routed it, he definitely grabbed that shield, but... I don't think he used it, so I think we should be alright. I want my points. For the- for the redemption of the video? I can turn that off. Seriously, should I just turn that redemption off? So I think it doesn't really make sense for this stream anyway. Uh, please spawn. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm doing the stamina list run again. Just spawning wings everywhere. Okay, maybe I could do this a little bit better, actually. Let me, let me cook for a second. This might be really overkill and stupid, but you know what? We're sending it. Hey, we got it. Okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, oh. It's a shitty spot to be. Hello. Why is it so far? Why is it so far? Man, this wing could not be in any worse spot. <laughs> like, if I had a shield, I could shield hop that, but with just the sword, I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, I think that's doable. I'll send it. Nice. Okay. Can you climb? Uh, I think I can climb. I'm pretty sure climbing is okay, but the thing is, like, getting to the top of wherever I'm climbing to. Yeah, yeah, climbing's fine. I climbed earlier, actually. Yeah, climbing definitely is okay. It doesn't make autosaves while you're climbing. It's only when you're standing on ground. I probably should have duped more wings. Oh gosh. We do want arrows. You'll see why later. We are gonna get a bow. I'm gonna dupe some more wings back here, just so we're a little bit safer. Yo, clouded. How you doing? Alright, do I have auto saving mess up in the run? Auto-saving messes up the wrong warp, so it's kind of the last step, but it's the most important step. The whole idea of what I'm doing, <clears throat> the whole idea of what I'm doing to prevent auto-saves is for the wrong warp. Because you need to have a, a free auto-save slot in order to create a corrupted save. And the corrupted save is what wrong warps us. So we need to beat the Great Skyland with four auto-saves. That is the reasoning. Dude, this is tricky. I gotta not die here either. 
Because if I die, it's also going to load me back to a spot with, where there's not wings on the ground. Uh, dang it. Get me out of here, dude. Keep on rewards for the poles. I need to farm points. I spend most of them on other streams, lol. I can't allow myself to be poor. Dude, this is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying, also, man. Do you prefer? <laughs> like, Top what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, come down here, please. There's nowhere to go. I can take two more hits, and then I'm dead. Okay, nice. This is actually a perfect spot, because he can't hit me like that. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for the follow. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. I think we break the decayed master sword on him. Run, burritos, run. I think that's fine. And then I want to use the branch, I think. Please don't. Come back up here. Come back up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's like, he's saying there. He's saying still. What game bot war talk? What Don't die, please. I'm trying my best not to die. I'm trying my best. Uh, I like tears more. I'm a tears gamer. Is there any way I can get him to get up back up here? Or should I try to go over to him? I don't want to throw my weapons at him because they're not broken. They're not broken yet. Day one of saying random words. Cheeseburger. Nice. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Spawn! Give me a wing! Oh, that's a good spawn. That's a great spawn. Tell me this hits. No! 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 Dover. Dover. You trying to do GSI skip? No, GSI skip is not necessary, and it wouldn't help in my case, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that is unfortunate. But at least we get to start a fresh save where hopefully we can not mess up twice so early on in the run. Never said this was going to be easy, guys. I never said this was going to be easy. That's the whole point. Uh, let's make a new a new account. Add user. Name it Toddette. Toddette. Okay. Oh, and I, I did the... <laughs> I did Donkey Kong. It's fine. Toddette could be Donkey Kong. There's nothing wrong with that. How long you planning on going? I need some entertainment for the next few hours. I'm gonna go until I fall asleep. <laughs> Straight up. I'm gonna go for a while, guys. And I hope that I can do it this stream. That's my goal. But if not, you know what? I'm down to do like multiple streams of this. Like I'm I'm not giving up until this is like either impossible or I do it. Those are the two ways this happens, you know? If I have to do a second stream because it ends up being like 3 a.m., like I do have school tomorrow. I am a college student. So like I, I gotta go to sleep at some point, but I'm probably gonna do this till like How two in the morning. Other if items I have to if you are trying to only use key items. That's a great question, HVR. It's a wonderful question. Flashing Basically, the corrupted save. That I'm going to be loading into. Oh shit, reset the timer. The corrupted save that I'm going to be loading into will not have anything tied to it, including key items or regular items. So obviously the whole setup of doing GSI, I'm picking up wings, I'm picking up uh I'm picking up sticks, I'm picking up bows, I'm gonna pick up a lot of shit, you know? And I'm gonna use everything. But when I load the corrupted save on that save file, I will not have anything. And that's what really is important, is when I when I beat that shrine, am I holding any key items? Have I unlocked any of those other categories? And if the answer is no, okay, we goofed. Does this give me a second autosave already? Hopefully not. I think it will, though. Yeah, it does. It does. Wait, no, that's just will one. Some of this go on YouTube? Um, you know, that's a great question. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about this or not. I want to. But at the same time, uh, Timber's also making a video about, like, doing this whole corrupted save mumbo-jumbo stuff. And I don't want to end up 
like making a video that's too similar because ultimately the only difference would be where we're wrong warping into, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be wrong warping into a shrine and he's gonna be wrong warping potentially to skip GSI faster. That's the thought. Uh, but maybe, this might be a video. It also just kind of depends on like, is it going to be possible, A? Eh? Am I gonna do it? Is it fun? You know, like... Do I want it to be a video? Yes. Will it be one? I don't know. Maybe. I can't really answer that yet. Once you hit that cutscene trigger, you don't have to jump it a second time. Going until 2 oh, I'll you're right, Jaina. <laughs> yeah, you I are right. Out. Thank you, guys. Okay, nice. Got through intro again. We're out of intro jail. To make sure we only have one autosave. Okay, we only have one autosave. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Could you use shield surfing to get around? Mm, actually, yes. I think. I, I believe that shield surfing does not create autosaves. What is that? Fun fact, uh, this would be ahead of a normal, like, speedrun of tiers where you don't do intro skip. Because normally, the fastest you can get here is like 242. You can do it way faster though. Yo, thank you so much for the super chat. Other videos I get to see GSI IRL, let's go, all held on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Why are you so short? Me? I'm not short. You mean Link? You left the vid on the cliffhanger. Make it a video <laughs> long. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should make a video. It was a bit of a cliffhanger. But hey, that's why you guys are here, right? To figure out if it's possible. I'm sure as hell excited. Hmm. This will be a fun run because, like, the one that makes it has to be damn near perfect for everything to work. I mean, we got through like 15% of it. Like, we're gonna have to do so much more beyond that. The good news is, if I get arrow smuggle, things are gonna get a lot easier. As far as like placing the wings, that is the early game meta, but it won't be what we have to do the whole time. We're gonna do a glitch that makes Link fly. How are people doing TTS? It's actually on my Twitch. So if you want to watch on Twitch and you're watching on YouTube, I stream more games on Twitch. I stream more often on Twitch and you can earn channel points while watching me there. And that can lead to like TTS and uh, there's there's one for like drinking water. There's one for video share, but that one's not working today, unfortunately. So if you want to like send me a video on YouTube, there's, there's a lot of channel point rewards. It's been 15 minutes already. That's actually crazy. Time flies, right? Time flies. What's TTS? TTS stands for text-to-speech, so when you type in words, it has like a bot read them. Chatter! Chatter! Chatter, I haven't started that video yet because I just finished the shrine one. So I'd say give it a give it a good month to cook. But that, that video is going to be awesome, dude. I'm telling you, that video, I'm so excited for that video. I think the glitches only run. I'm probably going to be the most passionate about that video out of all the three last ones because that one was like so cool to cool to do. It was so challenging too. Like I think the big difference, let me turn the, the switch flame down, it's so freaking loud. The big difference with like that video with a uh, glitches only run is that with the other ones like shrine only and stuff, it was mainly more of a question of like solving it. Oh yeah, thank you so much for the, for the for the sub, Tom. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. It was mostly a question of solving the things, but it wasn't really technically that difficult. Now, like, the Talus and uh, Phantom Ganon, those two were hard. Don't get me wrong, those two were really tough. And the other, uh, being the game with nothing, was also really tough. But Glitch's only run was not just tough because of, like, figuring out the solution. The solution was insane to figure out on its own, but... Just doing the solution to kill Ganon was, for lack of a better not, uh, lack of a better term, nuts. Okay, it was it was nuts. Everything had to go like perfect, and it was just it's it's so perfect the way it ended up. I'm I'm really excited for that video. I'm so excited for it. All right, I got I got to focus up. I got to focus up. It's time for picking up the sword again. All right, let's get that frame one pickup. 
Beautiful, beautiful. I don't think that's that hard to instantly pick up the sword. <clears throat> Thank you, Hydro. Appreciate it. Popped over from YouTube to give my prime sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, Amazon gives you free prime subs so you can watch without ads if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, which is kind of hype. So if you want to watch without ads and you have prime. Oh my god. Is he back? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'm going to look at that in one second. I just... <laughs> I, I will look at it. Just give me a second. Okay, we missed it. We missed it. Good luck with this challenge. Thank you. The Hydro, my little bacon burger. The coven blesses this run. Okay, nice. We got a second try. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, now hopefully we get better RNG on the sticks. I'm really hoping that. Uh, and let me check that, that, um, that notification. I know somebody's gifted a sub, but I want to know who it was. Give me one second. I'll get on a wing and then I'll check it. Come on, Link. Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It dropped it. It dropped it. Okay. I thought I didn't drop it. That's good, that's good. We're one for one, one for one. Two for two! Three for three? Okay, no. Smash! Okay. Oh my god, hi Brito, hi Chad, it's been a while. God, that's so creepy. That voice is terrifying. Dude, I'm so stupid that I, I have items, you know, it's whenever I play this game I forget that I can like eat food and stuff because I'm collecting food so that I, I don't die But I forget that I should be eating it, you know, <laughs> I'm so used to playing the game without anything Okay, okay, perfect. We have our four sticks. So now we can do the wing. I got to do this right this time I really don't mess this up So I want to get on it Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we jump off immediately. We spawn it, and then we do a jump attack to land on it. Shit, I missed it. I messed it up. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. We'll get there. We'll get better. We'll get better. We'll get better at it. We'll get better. Thank you, Green Cat. I appreciate that. What All is right, the let me, expected run time of a successful attempt? Let me check that notification. I'm sorry it took me so long. Oh, anonymous gifter. <laughs> I can't even check who it was. <laughs> well, thank you, whoever that was, the anonymous gifter. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wait, so we're starting from zero for this? Yeah, I have to. There's literally... I, I can't use the same save. Uh, if you do want to see that save... Oh my god. More more gifted? Holy shit. Anonymous gifter gifted in one month. The creep. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anonymous. Whoever you are. Alright, let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop. Turn around. Nice. Okay. Oh no, I can't lose too much height. Nice, okay, I think that'll work. Beautiful, beautiful. No autosaves, perfect. Perfect. Oh no, I didn't dupe the wings! Okay, we gotta dupe the wings right now, because I only have one. Can we get an attempts counter? Oh, uh, that's a great idea. We should do that. I'll do that after this run, okay? Oh wait, let me, actually I actually have to get way more wings. Let me dupe enough wings that I don't have to worry about them for the rest of the run. It's so easy to dupe wings, if, if you haven't noticed. Oh my god! Cheddar's back! 
Shredder's back, gifting to Manu. Thank you so much, Shredder Chat. I appreciate that. Okay. I hope that's not too close. It does a weird thing where it moves the wing when I place it. Or when you talk to the construct, actually. Yeah, I can't believe Cheddar Chad's here. Cheddar, we've missed you. Alright, let me make the attempts counter while I'm in this cutscene. Okay, we are on the wing. Perfect. Good, good, good. So this is second attempt, right? Or actually, no, this is third. This is third attempt. I'll make it white. I think red stands out a bit too much. Cool. How does that look? Does that look good? Looks nice. Okay. I'm glad you're happy with it. My sub runs out today. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, hopefully it lasts for like at least the rest of today. So you have no more ads. Okay. Let's not mess this up. We got to do a dive. Spawn the wing, Moz door. Perfect. Okay, we got it. So far, this run is just about as good as the last one. I also want to make sure I remember to use the wing to kill the construct. You'll see what, I, what you'll see what I mean in a second if I don't mess it up. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never done this before though. Uh, basically, the wing is moving really fast, so if I hit the construct with the wing, it'll instantly kill it. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Awesome. My sub ran out. Gift more. <laughs> JK, you've done enough for the- Yeah, channel. Cheddar's done so much. Cheddar, we appreciate you. Perfect. Okay, we got the shield this time. Awesome. Love to see it. The shield's gonna help a lot, too. Thank you for the follow. The shield's gonna help a lot with movement, because we can, like, use our shield to basically double jump. Thank you to Mr. Anonymous Lol. Oh my gosh. Asked for a sub and Cheddar gifts again. <laughs> later I got one. Cheddar I gifted again. Someone would listen to my prayers lol. Prob was Cheddar who gifted me to lol. Yeah, I feel like Cheddar is the anonymous. I've got a sneaking thank suspicion. Thank you Cheddar for gifting the sub. Well, that was that was sketchy. I probably shouldn't have gone for that to be honest. Okay, will this work? I think. Wait, you're picking up lots, uh, and how would you get rid of it? Uh, read the, read the description. Cheddar actually gifted me the sub. I'm Five getting rid of it by. Oh God, am I in the wing? Am I in the wing? Oh God, I don't know if I am. Greetings, everyone. What have I don't know if I'm so in the wing. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We were on the wing, I think. Okay. Next step. I wonder- Ooh, wait. What if we did the same thing for that construct? What if we winged into the construct? To make it easier to kill him. That might be a strat. If I could get enough height for that, that is... Which I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not going to have enough fight. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there, Link. Settle down. You're trying <laughs> to not get an auto save now, right? Yeah, no, I'm trying my best not to, guys. Will you smuggle the bow? I will. Whoa. Are you streaming TMR if not when next? Uh, I probably will stream tomorrow, especially if I don't beat it today. Take a sippy of the water. I will. That's a good idea, actually. What did I do? Cheddar, you were here. That's what you did.
If I use my shield, I don't get the arrow, right? I definitely need an arrow, that's a thing. So I want him to like shoot me, but not hit me. Damn, this actually does work, like looking at the sky to spawn wings. Yeah, that works way better. I wonder why that is, like why, why are looking at the sky? I guess it spawns it based off my camera's position. It's really interesting, actually. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I want to think this through. Let's do this. Okay, now he's down there again. That's fine. That's perfect. Oh my god. Cheddar? Cheddar gifted again. Holy shit, Cheddar. Cheddar, thank you. W Shatter, please. Can we get W W Shatter in the in the chat, please? Shatter, thank you. Shatter, you he just won't stop, will you? Shatter, you just won't stop. Shatter, I'm about to go on my knees, jeez. Shatter just keeps on going. No way, Shatter's a real person. Oh wait, that does give me arrows. Oh sh dude, I didn't know I could just tank some hits. And then, okay, wait, that's actually really interesting. Cheddar's bank account is crying, RN. <laughs> Cheddar definitely like won the lottery or something. Thank you for the for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay. I am real. I swear, crying face. I'm gonna use this weapon and. No! Oh my god, I got another auto save. Okay, well, let's just continue as if we didn't get it. For the practice, for the sake of practice. Let me think about what where else I get auto saves. Dude, this I gotta figure out a better way to fight this enemy, because I keep messing up and getting auto saves. The, the thing that I struggle with is like if you attack, he like moves forward and he wants to at least if there's an enemy, like if there's an enemy right here and I attack, he like lunges forward to hit him. And I don't want to throw my weapons because I need my weapons. So, let's see. I have four auto saves now. I have, yeah, I have four. So, is it possible? I don't think so. I think I get two more forced. I'm gonna continue anyway though, just to get the practice. And maybe it's maybe it actually is possible, and I'm not counting correctly. Okay, so equip this. We're going to do zuggling, but we're going to do it a different way now. To equip my bow, we drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, pause buffer, drop this, and two drop. Perfect. And that should have zuggled us. Yeah, it did. Okay, so this is basically a different way to zuggle. The idea of it is that we are going to overload Link enough so that we can duplicate our bow. And if we duplicate our bow, we can get arrow smuggle. An arrow smuggle is the glitch Just that lets yourself, son. You've got this. that lets him fly. I'm messing it up a lot. Basically, what we're looking for, we keep doing this glitch until we see that, uh, like three six drop no on the floor. The basically, you are saying mean anything. Yeah, I I know the words I'm I'm saying probably fly over your head. Uh, just listen, Link fly, Link fly. <laughs> That makes sense, right? Link fly good, and I want Link to fly. That's what we're going to be doing. So that's that's effectively what we're trying to get to. Am I doing something wrong? Anybody that knows what the heck I'm doing? No, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. The timing's just really precise just on it. Find a wall. Just find a wall. Link becomes the Jesus of the air, but instead of walking. This is working, this is working. Air. Trust me, this is working. This is hundred percent working, I'm telling you. I'm watching on my big TV, so there's lag, but I'm chatting on my phone. Cool. That's nice, got the big screen. Oh, The timing is really tight on it, basically. 
Uh, drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, pause and pause, drop this. Uh, drop this, drop this, drop this, Stop equip to this. The crappy PCR and okay, I think we're really close. I think we're really close to overload. You get double the viewership from me, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, pause buffer, drop this. Is that three? Okay, wait, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's duping, it's duping. Okay, so now what we want to do is do it one more time. We drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, Did something pause happen? buffer. So now we want to immediately switch off of our bow. Okay, that didn't work. Did it work? No, the bow's not on the ground. I think I have to add the bow unequipped. Okay, let me try that again. Um, let's pick one of these back up. Drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, pause buffer, drop this. I'm gonna back out of the menu, jump, switch to my bow. Okay, that worked, that worked, that worked. You see the bow on the ground is now? And guess what? I still have the bow in my inventory. So the bow's in my inventory and on the floor. So now, what I want to do, switch to this, or wait, no, I just, wait, what do I do? Do I just pick this up? I think I just pick it up, right? Dumbass, no, don't pick it up. Wait, what did I do wrong, serious? You had air smuggle? Oh, I had it already? So I just do it again. <laughs> you look so crisp on my big TV, son. Drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this. Pause buffer. That's a lot of beating sticks. Drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this. Wait, was that right? Drop this. Do that. Okay, wait, I think I have it. I think I have arrow smuggle now. Okay. Uh, let's pick up some more tree branches, just so we have them, and now, if I did everything right, we should be able to fly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. Now we can fly. Now we can fly. The next task on the itinerary, uh, is to fly over, over basically where I'm looking, which is where a fan chest is. We want fans to accomplish another glitch called gas. Now I know it's very confusing. But we're gonna get there. We have to fly for quite a while. Basically, he goes up very slowly, if it's not obvious. So, I'm I'm doing ZRY, 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 and I'm holding ZL. You can see on my input display what's going on. Basically, I have a invisible wow. invisible bow in my hands that's causing Link to keep flying. Sticks. Now, I'm only going straight up, which is problematic. I gotta mute TTS. I gotta mute TTS right now. Guys, please don't use TTS for stuff like that. Like, if you do 99 booms, it's just gonna get annoying. Maybe time, maybe time that person out, whoever did that. I don't want to, I don't want to like turn TTS off, but it's kind of annoying when you just like spam booms. So we're only going straight up right now, which is fine. I think we have enough height now. So we have to spawn a wing and land on it, which is pretty tricky actually. I might not get it first try, but we'll hope. Okay, so do this. I have to initiate a dive, click B. Okay. Now we spawn a wing, and then spam B and ZR. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. It's fine, it's fine though, it's fine. We try again, we try again. The timing is really tight. Okay. Okay, that didn't work either, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. As long as we don't fall and die. Basically, I have to... Let me think about exactly what I have to do. 
I have to initiate a dive. I have to spawn the wing immediately after initiating the dive. So it spawns in front of me. Then I have to cancel the dive, go back into bullet time, do a jump attack for height, then reinitiate a dive and hold forward so I land on the wing. So it's, it's a lot of inputs to think about. If you're curious exactly what's going on behind the scenes, you can take a look at the input display and you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to try it now. Oh god, that's not going to work. I think we still have enough fight. I'm just going to go right into it. Oh god, I'm out of stamina. Is that going to be a problem? I think it is, actually. Oh god, actually. Wait, this might be really bad. I got I got a plan for this, too, because I'm out of stamina. So, if... I, I don't think it's going to work. Wait, seriously, is this going to work? You can FTC. I have to FTC on the wing, or just, like, FTC on the ground? Okay. So, it's like, is this even doable now, since I have no stamina? No, right? This won't work. No, but you can Aeroflight FTC. How do I Aeroflight FTC? I'm just gonna do normal FTC. Oh god, I don't have my runes. I had to, F I had to Aeroflight FTC. That's unfortunate. Do I get an autosave for this? Probably. I don't know how to Aeroflight FTC. Unfortunately, you can't get bullet time. Ooh. Does that not give me an autosave? It didn't. Okay, wait, then we didn't really lose any progress. We still need to get the bow. We're still overloaded, though. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. Since we, since we lost, uh, since we got an autosave here anyway, it didn't make another one. In fact, I feel like I probably could just go on the ground right now. I feel like it wouldn't autosave again. I'm just gonna go. I don't think it'll make another autosave so quickly. Please. Okay, that's all I care about. Let's quickly get back over on the wings before it autosaves. Okay, so now I have to do the same thing before. Equip this. Uh, I want my boat unequipped. We do drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop, switch shields. Uh, we don't have arrow smuggle. That did not work. Oh yeah, sometimes I have to do it a bit. Sometimes I have to do a little bit extra. Okay, I have to wait till there's three sticks that drop, and then it will work again. Okay, that, now it should work, now it should work. Perfect. Drop, 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 equip. Pause buffer. Drop. Change. Okay, is that, does that work? No, one more time, one more time. Drop, drop. Drop, equip, pause buffer, drop, switch shields. Okay, that worked, that worked, that worked, that worked. Okay, nice, that's nice. Okay, ZL, jump, jump attack. Okay, nice, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it. It's just so weird because of the enemy, dude. The camera's really janky. I think it'll fix itself. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so as you can see, Link is kind of like bugged. He's Zuggle overloaded right now. Which causes him to lose parts of his body, his hair, it gets funky. A lot of weird stuff goes out, goes on. But now, we have full stamina bar. And I think I will not mess it up again. <laughs> where I'm aiming right now is where we're trying to go to, basically. The, the chest is right over there. So I'm- I have to spawn a wing, land on it, and get over there. Unfortunately, with the Aeroflate the way I have it now, it only brings me vertically upwards. So I kind of have to get on a wing and wing over there. 
And we're going to have to do this as kind of like our main mode of transport. So I am going to have to get good at this. But I think once I learn the inputs, it's not going to be too bad. I think I'm ready to try it. Let me get a little bit more height. Nope, that's not going to work. It's kind of weird because you have to kind of predict when the menu is going to go away. Unfortunately, in this game, the menuing is like really slow for some reason. It's like surprisingly slow compared to Breath of the Wild. And if you miss the timing, then it's Jover. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, that was so close. That was so close, dude. The wing starts moving really quickly away from you, too. Literally just finished the main video. I'm <laughs> glad you're streaming it. Yeah. Perfect timing, actually. Are you planning on beating t 2 right now? I think I will do that. I think I will. Then it's Y, then R before pull the wing. Why then R before pull the wing? Like that? Oh. Yes! No! Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I was on the, like, the back of the wing, bro. <laughs> We're getting better. We're getting better. I think I was doing the wrong input. Thanks for the stream, of course. Okay. Why are wing? Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Wait, what? Why is it not working? There it goes. Okay. Oh. I think this is a setup save. Yeah, effectively, this is a setup save. Basically, everything I'm doing and collecting and, like, well, everything in this save is not going to be uh, important at all. This save is merely to set up the save what we're going to beat the shrine with. And it's, it's very glitchy. It's very, like, you know, weird, I guess. But uh, it's the only way that it's possible. So, you know, sometimes the best things in life aren't so simple. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to a fan chest. And getting there is really tricky unless I do what I'm doing here. No. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. But I got on it once. We know it's possible. I feel panic. I feel panic every time I fall because I don't. I don't want to fall and die again. Wait, what? What am I doing wrong, dude? Something's not working. Something's not working. Serious? Am I doing something wrong? Is there any way uh, you can get a bless the run counter? <laughs> uh, that'd be tough. Not not during this stream, at least. But I'm sure the run is very blessed right now. Thank you all for blessing it. You're trying to hit R too fast. It's eating your input. Is this not? Is this the right like way to be looking at the wing where he's like in the dive? So I do this, I spam B, and then I hit R again. Or no, I, I spam B, then ZR. Okay. 
Do this, spam BZR. Oh god. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Aerosmuggle seems incredibly painful on your hands. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not particularly enjoyable, I will say. Aerosmuggle's tough, dude. I'm just gonna keep staying on the ground while I do this part. I think this save's already scuffed. I'm not 100% sure about that, to be honest. We're, we're kind of in uncharted waters, but I believe that it's Jover on this save. This is why I just want to get the practice so I can at least do that other part. I might as well grab these wings, or these arrows. Do, do, do. There we go. Drop, 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 equip, do that. Okay, wait, wait I, just, I think this already works. Let's unequip our bow. And then let's go drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop, switch bows. There we go. Oh wait, I guess I shouldn't have picked up the bow. <laughs> I think that I have to do it again real quick. Drop, drop. Oh, that was wrong. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. I have to redo it. Drop, 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 equip. Drop, 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 equip. Pause about for drop. I feel bad for Linky's missing half his body. I know, right? It's, it's probably not a fun time, but... He's getting by. I'm, I'm sure he's living. Drop, drop, drop. Dude, there's so many freaking branches on this. <laughs> I can't tell anything. I can't tell what's going on anymore. Alright, drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop. There's no way three are already dropping, right? There's no way I'm already overloaded. Wait, really? Am I overloaded? Maybe I am. Let's unequip our bow. And let's do one more. Drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop, switch bows. Oh yeah, I am air smuggled already. Awesome. We're back. Good luck with the run. Thank you. Thank you so much. What time is it? It's 7.20 for me. How about you? I'm locking in for this one. I'm telling you, this is the one. I feel it. I feel like I got the inputs. All right. CTS gonna come back on? Yeah, I'll put it back on in a little bit. Won't lie. <laughs> Am I on? Oh! My hands are kind of tied. <laughs> maybe maybe reading chat while doing uh, arrow flight is not easy. Just why is he R? Oh my god, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. This does not love my fingers very much. Like, if you could understand how tense my fingers are right now, dude. My fingers are tension. ZR jump slash, right? Yeah. That's how I'm getting the height. The jump slashes bring me up. 
the ZR is like basically locking it again. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Shit, that was not it. I didn't hit Y. That was my pain. That was my problem. That one. Also, I need to do an FTC. What's the FTC? What's the FTC? <laughs> I need to cancel my fall damage quick. Uh, somebody teach me how to do a fall damage cancel. With Aeroflate. Okay. Do I just send it? Just hold ZL and hit Y, then R. R, A, S. Hit Y, then R. This dude is not to take damage. Is it just this and then that? Alright, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, hitting Y just initiates a jump attack. Just hold ZL and hit Y, then R. Why is he so low on health already? Dude was already weak. Okay, we still overloaded, which is fine. It's actually good. Drop, 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 equip. Pause buffer. Drop. Pick these up. Drop, 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 equip. Pause buffer. Drop. Pick those up. Drop. Drop, drop. Pause buffer. Why did that not work? Okay, I think one more should do it. How many dropped to two still? Okay. One more, surely. Drop, 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 equip, the buffer, drop. No. Why am I not overloaded yet? I think I should totally be overloaded right now. Okay, now we're over overloaded. What the hell? Drop, 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 drop. Buffer, drop. Equip shield. I mean, equip bow. Cool. We're back, we're back. How long is it gonna take till you can gas stuff? Honestly, not that much longer. I mean, I need to get the fans. I need to kill the enemies at the fan area. To unlock the fan chest. Then I need to get the battery. Then I need to do another one of these things. And uh, do a frame perfect backflip on on fuse. Do I like burritos, dude? I love burritos. I'm gonna tell you, I love them. I have one for for uh, I said breakfast for lunch. Airflight FTC hold ZL and ZR. Ah, so you missed the uh, ZR. That makes way more sense. I got a feeling about this. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. 
Okay. Spawn, spam BZR. Dude, why is it just taking so long? What? Like, it's just not- it's eating my R input, right? Seriously, is this eating my R input because I'm doing it too early? Is that what it is? Should I delay my R press? Holding ZL makes it not eat the inputs. Do I stop holding ZL? Maybe I subconsciously stop holding. Always hold ZL. Locked in. Yes! We got it, we got it, we got it! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we gotta fly there. This is kind of low, this is kind of low. It's fine though, it's fine. Oh, yes! Let's go, okay. Gotta make it to the fan chest. We're trying to go over that way. Thank you for the follow. I'm gonna turn TTS and alerts back on. Okay, and I'm turning the music down so I can focus in, focus in. Okay, oh, I did it really low. I did do it really low. Uh, I hope we can make it. I hope we can make it. I just be a thousand five seconds. You're cracked. Oh gosh, I don't think I'm high enough. I don't think I'm high enough. Oh no, I have to keep going. I have to keep doing it. Wait, I can't? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What do I do? I'm not smuggled anymore? Do I have to try to re-smuggle myself on the freaking wing? This is not good. Uh, okay. Sure. I gotta do this quick. <laughs> okay, drop. Drop. I gave myself no time. Drop. Equip. Pause buffer. Drop. Equip. Okay, I got it. Get me off the wing! Okay, we can save this. We can save this. Oh no, we can't save this. What? What? Wait, what happened there? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why did my arrow go? Why did my bow go away? That's unfortunate. <laughs> That was so avoidable, too. And I definitely- yeah, I got an autosave. Okay. Fine. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Next profile. <laughs> you guys can see it's just piling up Todd's. Next profile. Yay. <laughs> that run was bad anyway. I'm glad it wasn't that run. Create new user. Let's do- Let's do this. Pod four. Look, we're gonna get a little closer every single run, okay? We're gonna get a little closer every every little bit. Oh my god, gifted more subs. Cheddar! Cheddar! Thank you so much, Cheddar. Cheddar, thank you so much. Seriously, dude. Really appreciate that. Attempt four. Attempt numero cuatro. Yeah, eighty is freaking crazy, dude. I gotta set the timer. Okay. Let's not mess this up. Guys, what do we speed run it to? <laughs> the thing is, this run it, this route is actually not that different from the speed run out. In the in the beginning at least. So we can keep up with world record at the very beginning. Okay, never mind.
Come on, give me the clip. Give me the clip. I think as long as we don't hit the Zelda cutscene trigger, we should be all right. Like as long as we don't hit that, I think it'll be fine. So I'm not too stressed about getting the an auto save here. Also, because if we do, it's like we can easily set up a new account, and it's not like we lose much progress. Yo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Let's see. I'm gonna get a good setup on this one. Oh, like half clipped. It's like his like left ass cheek went all the way in, but his right ass cheek did not go all the way in. Nice. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Wait, did I just get two auto saves? No. What? Come on. Come on. I guess I gotta do it faster. I guess timing does matter. Timing matters, apparently. That's unfortunate. Uh, new... <laughs> attempt 5. Wait, what? Where do I make a new account? Users... Oh, can I not have this many users? Wait, oh no. Wait, guys, I need your help, actually. I need your help. How do I delete the save data of an, of an account? Uh, delete- oh, I can delete users. Okay, chill. Never mind. Never mind. Crisis averted. We're chilling. Why do I have parental controls on still? <laughs> uh, all save data for the user will be deleted. Delete it. I don't care. Yep, I'm- I'm chill with this. I'm chill. Let's delete these while we're- while we're deleting them. <laughs> it, like, makes real sure you don't- you don't want to delete it. Okay. So now, yeah, now I can add users. Perfect. Goodbye, Toadettes. You did not do much. Todd has died. No, he's going back. I mean, we're going to just name it Todd again. Here's how I see it. This is a benefit to us because we can just name every profile Todd, okay? That's how I see it. Todd. Later. Alright, cool. We're going back in. We're going back in. Okay, so I can't take too long on the first clip. Let's let's keep that noted. I gotta go fast. Like, realistically, there's not really anywhere I can, like, slow down on, except for that one construct area. If I do touch the ground, then I can be a little bit slow. Can I turn TTS back on? I did. TTS is back on. Mm. <laughs> I need to follow, Puppy. It's out of stock? Wait, really? Is it out of stock? Wait, seriously, did you do that? Did you do out of stock? I will never be on the Cheddar Chad level. Truly a gigacad. <laughs> you do be a Giga Chad. Okay, we got our first autosave already. Get the first clip. Damn, that looked good too. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't make me make, it, make a new account, dude. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Please, please give me this clip. Please give me this clip. Nice, okay. Don't give me an autosave. What? Oh wait, no, that's the first one. Okay, over at the first one. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, we avoided it. Perfect, perfect. So far, so good. Nice, okay, good. Good start. Awesome. Go down. Climb on the wall. Jump to the side. Two, three, four, five, six. We sprint. Nice. 
I was just watching you do this on your on your vid. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did like talk about this at the end of my last video. Aero smuggle is so much easier if you have you have like four bows because you can just juggle overload bows and it gets you smuggle. Wait, really? I know that. Oh shit! I didn't set the timer. Okay, timer's gonna be a little a little bit off for this one, but it's okay. <clears throat> what is that? What is that? Oh, I gotta update the attempt counter too. Uh, where's the attempt counter? There it is. We're on five now, right? I think we're on five. Okie doke. How's your guys' days going today? How's your Sunday? While we're watching this cutscene, I'm gonna mute the uh, mute the switch volume, honestly. Let's just chat, chat. Let's hang out a little bit. How you guys doing? Having a good day. You excited for the school week? Probably not. I'm sure as hell not. I don't want to go to school tomorrow, but you know what? That's life. That's the way that things go. Sorry, I'm trying to find like the right angle. Like that, probably. I noticed my head's been clipped out. Did you turn TTS back on? I did. It should be on. Uh, actually, wait. I think I think one of the mods turned it off, actually. I think one of the mods turned TTS off. If it says out of stock, then one of the mods turned it off. So that's probably what happens. Church is always a decent time for me. TTS is still out of stock. Keep the winning user. It's Corona time. No one's excited for school? Yeah. I'm not. At the same time, I'm like, I'm excited for some of my projects. I'm a film major, so I'm doing some some like film stuff and i'm working on a like a documentary thing i gotta do thank you for the follow i'm working on a documentary about rescue squad which is like our uh i guess it's kind of like the ambulance group of our school so like when something goes wrong in the dorms they're the ones that have like their own like personalized kind of ambulance thank you for the for the, the subs dr strawman appreciate that thank you so much yeah, so they kind of drive around and they like rescue people. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I haven't started it yet, but uh, I'm going to be doing a documentary with them, which is fun. Yeah, I mean, school sucks. So I can't lie. School is not fun. But it's it's nice to be able to stream when I can. I probably will have time to stream tomorrow after I do my work, which will be fun. Uh, and I am I am cooking up some new challenges. Obviously, I've got a lot to, of work for my for my next challenge. I've got to edit a lot of stuff for it. So the video is probably not going to come out for a little while. But that's that one's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for that one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I tried to beat the game with no items or key items, which was insane. Like it was absolutely just insane. Like some of you some of you guys probably were there for it, and it was it was wild. It was seriously wild. So it was. It was my favorite challenge to date. Thanks for the follow, guys. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to focus up again. We got it coming up. I came to remind you, you're going to be famous one day. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see. What if Link caught Zelda's hand and they both went back in time? I feel like someone's probably done a lore video on that before. Yo, Swanny, thank you for the bits. All right, lock in, lock in, lock in. It's time. It's time to focus. What I'm really glad about the next video I'm going to have is I think the quality should be way better since I separated the audio. Oop. No. Wait. Do I only get... I shouldn't have jumped there. I shouldn't have jumped there. Does that cheese me an autosave? I really hope that's still in good time. Because I think picking up the Master Sword is going to give me an autosave as well. Don't give me an autosave. Please don't give me an autosave. I'm going to be so sad. I'm not going to throw it just yet, though, if I do get an autosave here. Please? Dude, really? 
Oh wait, no, only one. Only one. Okay, okay. Wait, it's not fine. I mean, it it is fine. It it is fine. It is fine. I think we only have two, which is what we want. That's not gonna work. This jump is so deceivingly hard. Like, I, I've done it before, uh, and it, I probably made it look easy, but this jump is actually crazy. Like, if any of you boot up your games, doesn't matter what version you're on, you can always do this jump. But this jump is crazy. Basically, Mazdor jumping backwards gives you, like, a little bit of extra height. Or, I guess I'd say jump slashing backwards would be, like, the, the common term. But it's like a very precise angle where you're landing on a little lip of an edge. And you have to backflip to like get all the way up. Thank you for the bits, guys. Appreciate it. No. I'm a little bit scared if my master sword breaks here. We don't want to have it break. Oh, I think it's going to break on the next one. I think it's going to break if I mess it up one more time. Not to mention, I'm probably going to get an autosave soon. Okay, what happens here? What happens here? Is this fine? Is this okay? Maybe it is okay. I'm new what's happening. I'm trying to beat the game, or I guess not beat the game, but I'm trying to beat Great Sky Island with only four autosaves. Third. Yo, Phelps. Yo, dude, what's up? Good to see you, Phelps. Still can't get cog skip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not like about cog skip. That's not talking about fubs. Oh gosh. This is gonna work. Oh wow, I did not think that was gonna work. I kinda spoke it into existence though. That's the thing about me. Okay. This should be fine. We should still be able to do this. Why is it called cog skip skip? So basically, on the other side of the room, there's more cogs, and those cogs actually spin. And the old strat for the speedrun was to use the spinning cogs, like you would get on top of it, and it would take you up to basically where I am uh, now. But in order to make the cogs spin, you have to turn on uh, like the device. Like There's a little like, green button, and when you press the green button, it causes the cogs to spin. So, it takes like a 30 second cutscene before that happens. So, cog skip skip is another cog that I just jumped off of that skips having to do cog skip. So, they called it cog skip skip. It's kind of dumb because it's also a cog. Like, it doesn't really make sense. And it's also, like, I don't know. The, the naming scheme doesn't make sense to me because cog skip is a cog you're not skipping a cog with cog skip you know what i mean it's called cog skip because you're on a cog and you're skipping part of the run but you're not you're not skipping a cog with cog skip and cog skip skip you're skipping a cog with another cog so it's like okay i don't know the naming's weird to me anyway oh is this gonna work i really hope it works my my right foot is on the ground but my left foot's not Okay, now I got the autosave. Dude, I don't get how to get that, that wing chest without the autosave. I keep messing that one up. That one's tough. I have to unlock the chest while standing on the back of it, and then spawn a wing immediately after I get the symbol and land on the wing before anything else. <clears throat> skip cog, cog skip. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call it. Um... Cog skip 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 skip. What's up, Lego Mater? How you doing? Thanks for the follow, guys. Appreciate it. Cog skip Junior. I feel like Junior would be the first one, though. No. Like Junior, like it's the easier version. Is the hard? Uh, what am I saying? The easier version, not the harder one. <laughs> the one that I'm doing is the harder version, so it's not the Junior version. Is what I'm trying to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. 
Beautiful. Come on, get out of my face, clouds. I can't see. You can actually just get, like, unlucky weather patterns and they can throw you off. If you get clouds, like, right here, you're screwed. Oh my god. I'm actually clutching with these wings. Normally, I don't make these that many times. This move is also pretty tough, actually. Okay, we got it. Let's dupe the wings now. Looks good. Nice. What will you do if I spam? You'll probably get timed out. I'm not gonna do anything. My mods will probably time you out. What's the worst speedrun trick name aside from two and pumping? <laughs> two and pumping is definitely the worst one, dude. I want to know. Who, I want to speak to the man or woman who named it two and pumping. It was definitely a dude. They definitely thought it was funny, but it's just like, it's just not it. I just finished the video where you're, where you left off that. Nice, good timing, good timing. Yeah, there's a, there's a glitch, or it's not a glitch. It's a speed on trick called Tulin pumping. That if you have Tulin and you, I guess pump Tulin. <laughs> no, no, no. I should I should not say like that. I don't want to. I take that back. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. If you use Tulin's special wind gust ability, if you use Tulin's special wind gust ability, then you can cancel the paraglider, reopen the paraglider, and I guess that's called pumping. I guess that's pumping. I don't know what you're pumping. Uh, anyway. How's, your, how's the day going? How's you guys' day going? How's the weather? <laughs> listen, listen. I didn't mean it to come out like that. I didn't mean it to come out like that. Like, that, that's why it's a stupid-ass name. That's why it's a terrible name. Why do they call it Tulin Pumping? It's a bad name. It's, like, meant for these, like, out-of-context clips. It's, it's built for those. Beautiful. Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way! I not pick that up? I hate life, dude. <laughs> There's actually no shot. Where's the where's the sword? Yeah, the sword's fine. I think. How did the wing even or the shield? Maybe I can grab it if I place a wing over here. I'm molding, dude. That's actually crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Fine, we don't need the uh, we don't need the shield technically. We'll go without it, I guess. I, I I didn't even want the shield, guys. I don't even want it. I didn't want it anyway. We don't need it. Why is it not placing? Place, place wing. Do I have to jump to place it? Oh. I gotta stop going for those. I never will. Too satisfying. Let's do some more wings here while we can. GSI, but the floor is lava? Yeah, pretty much, dude. It's basically a floor is lava challenge. This was actually a video I kind of wanted to make a while back was uh, Tears of the Kingdom, but the floor is lava. But I quickly realized that uh, it's not possible. Like, you, you go, you touch ground in shrines and stuff. And, like, you load into areas where you touch ground. So, unfortunately, uh, Flora's Lava Challenge would never be possible. Oh, no. Oh. What do I do? Um, my thought is like, if I climb up, it's gonna get an auto save. If I immediately do a frame perfect jump, it won't get the auto save. And then I have to spawn a wing and do a jump attack to land on it. 
But I think it's over. Oh my god, did I not get it? Dude, I, no, I didn't get it. Oh my god. That was a frame perfect jump toward what they autosave. Dude, that was sick. We got it, we got it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're chilling. That was part of the plan, that was part of the plan. All part of the plan. I actually meant to do that. Yeah, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Oh, I don't have my shield, so I can't stat- I can't just get arrows, which kind of sucks. I- Can I get arrows some other way, though? I guess if I kill him, he'll drop arrows. Come here, come here. Okay, that's a good- that's a good spot, that's a good spot. Ow. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna break the tree, that's fine. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm a gamer. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can actually throw one of these. Okay, wait, he dropped the bow, he dropped the bow. Yeah, we have the bow, we have the bow. I wanna make sure I don't touch the ground here. I always touch the ground here. Oh, it's terrifying. I'm doing it. I'm just risking it. Dude, he's so low. I don't want to... I need four weapons, though. I'm going to cry if I die here. Okay, what if, we, what if we just go away? What if we just hide? Is there anywhere I could, like, hide from him? Is he going to not bother me over here? Can he still throw it? Wait, is he even throwing anything? I feel like he's just... Oh, no, he's not. I think he's, like, trying to throw it, and it's getting stuck in the wall. Yeah, because look at his hands. Okay, I think we're fine over here. I think we're all right. Drop, 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 equip. Buffer, drop. Pick up, pick up. Drop, 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 equip. Buffer. Drop, 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 equip. Buffer. Drop, pick up, pick up. Drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop. So this is basically just another way to juggle. I'm very used to map juggling, but this is a way to juggle without having the wall next to you. So it's a bit more convenient for our purposes. And the reason we want to juggle right now is because it's what re leads to arrow, arrow smuggle. Uh, let's unequip our bow so that we're ready for it when the time comes. So I'm kind of gaming, so it's going to be very soon. Yeah, it's a frame perfect pause, unpause, by the way. So basically, I drop this, drop this, drop this, equip this, and I buffer it. So if I did it right, then I should only see one weapon there. If I see another one, like, right next to it, then that means I didn't do it in frame-perfect timing. And it has to be in frame-perfect timing. But I am getting most of them good. Like, this one works. That one does. That's what happens when you do it wrong. So that's obviously not frame-perfect, and you see another one appears in my inventory. So that one did not work. That one works. I don't know if this one will work. I kind of goofed it up. Yeah, I also messed up the timing. That works. Okay, I think we're overloaded. I think we actually did too many. Do one more.
Okay, wait, I messed it up. Drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop. Oh my god. <laughs> Anonymous viewer gifted a sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Drop, 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 equip, drop, equip, bow. Okay, we got it. Oh, wait, I don't have any arrows. Said I do have to kill him. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much for the sub, by the way. I yeah, really thank you. That's it's really awesome that people are getting so many subs on their first stream, especially. I really like I really appreciate that. Okay, let's throw this. Oh my god, another one? What the heck? What the hell? <laughs> it's not stopping. Thank you. Nice. We got it. Oh my god, more? It just keeps going. <laughs> Thank you so much. Throw items at him. That's what I'm doing. Okay, we have to do it one more time to get the air smuggle again. Drop, 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 equip, buffer. Shit. Let's unequip this. Okay, drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop, equip bow. Okay, we should have it. Wait, really? We don't? I'm surprised by that. Okay. It did even- it, it duped as well. Okay, drop, 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 equip, upper, drop, pull out a bow. Now we have it. I probably would if I could give subs. <laughs> You guys are awesome. It's like the most wholesome chat ever. Thanks, Adeline. I, I appreciate that. Hopefully... Hopefully this is it. Oh my god. <laughs> More subs. Thank you. I can make it unwholesome. Please don't. Please don't do that. I am pretty happy that like we're 20 minutes into this run. And we already have air smuggle. And honestly, like once we have air smuggle, things just go faster. Holy shit! <laughs> Stop subbing! There's so many subs. God damn, like I I'm like I'm tapped out, man. Thank you so much. This is like ev everyone is getting more subs, guys. I'm just saying if you're on YouTube right now and you watch Twitch or you want to get a free sub, like you might wanna you might wanna check out my Twitch, cause we we've got a, a crazy donor in the chat right now that's just giving out free subs. If you don't know, a sub's worth basically like five dollars each. Uh, it makes you able to watch my streams without any ads. Uh, and you get some new emotes. I actually paid a guy earlier today. More freaking subs, bro. Jesus. I paid a guy today, earlier today, uh, to make me a bunch of new uh, emotes. So if you are subbed to the channel, you'll get access to those. you get free access to those, which is pretty hype. Okay, I think I'm high enough. I'm gonna go for it. More subs! What? Oh. Bro, Cheddar, what? <laughs> Cheddar. How? <laughs> Teach me. Teach me how to be such a Chad, bro. I'm going for it. Yes! We got it, we got it, we got it, okay. And we have a lot of height. This could be it, this could be it. This is looking good. This is looking good. I just got to pilot the wing nicely. I got to make sure I avoid that thing in the middle. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god. Dude, I just keep hearing. Do 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 cheddar. Guys, please everyone spam W cheddar. W cheddar. I just want to see W cheddar. W cheddar in my chat right now, please. Cheddar is giving you guys so many free gifted subs. Show him some love, please. Really appreciate it if you could. Whoa, my bow's not working. Let's unequip and reequip it. It's still not working. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Okay, maybe I have to unjuggle myself. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I probably should dupe stuff, but I can't right now. Wait, I'm gonna die. 
Oh god, I'm gonna die. This is not good. This is actually really scary. Thank you so much for the subs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the subs. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, these keep coming. Um, Jesus. I'm overloaded, bro. Uh, I guess I just have to eat. I'm gonna die. I can't dupe because I don't have I don't have a shield. I wish I had a shield. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I don't have a shield, so I have to just do this quickly, I guess. Um, let's eat this and let's eat one apple. That's really all we can do. I want to save one in case we ever get an in case we get. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my god! He just keeps going. He just keeps. Going. Is this like stacked? Is it just gonna keep going more subs and more subs? Shatter, bro! Like heart to heart, man. Thank you so much, Shatter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're you're so wholesome, Cheddar. <laughs> you're so wholesome. He's almost at a hundred bucks, bro. He just doesn't stop. He just doesn't stop. <coughs> okay, I gotta unzoggle myself. Thank you the follow. Wait, I can't drop it. Dude, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, can I shoot things now? Oh god. I can't shoot! I'm screwed. Ah, I don't like this. I don't like this situation at all. I wanted to use things, but I guess I have to use this. Okay. That's really unfortunate. I need my bow in that stage. Oh, and it's got to get an autosave as soon as I respawn. Wait, where is it going to respawn me? Oh my god, it's going to respawn me at GSI. Like the top of GSI, isn't it? Wait a second. Yeah. We're back here. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we're back all the way at the top of the map because we haven't touched the ground at all. So, long story short... What we're doing is working, okay? <laughs> That's what this means. Thank you so much, Cheddar. What we're doing is working, guys. Uh, the game is not autosaving at all, and so when it's trying to load Link back, it's like, where do I load Link? He hasn't been anywhere, except the top of the map. So, I actually don't even think it made another autosave. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> it legitimately didn't make another autosave. I love your content, Angel. Thank you so much, Angel. I appreciate that. Join Twitch for three free subs. Yeah, genuinely, guys. If you're on YouTube, you might want to join Twitch because there's free uh, free subs. I think I pinned it on my YouTube chat. Yeah, I do stream more often on Twitch anyway. I stream on YouTube for bigger stuff, for bigger events and stuff. There's nothing wrong with watching on YouTube either. But I do be on Twitch more if you want to see me play games other than this. Holy shit. <laughs> Cheddar's back in full force, guys. Cheddar's... He's back. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm trying to think now. How do I want to go about doing this? Do I have... I don't have my... I don't have a bow? Oh shit, I dropped my bow? Oh god. I'm not gonna lie, this run is pretty scuffed. <laughs> like, I only have three autosaves, which is awesome. Thank you for the for the sub. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh I only have three autosaves, which is great, but I like don't have my bow. And I don't know how I'm gonna get back down. Like, is this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Thank you for the follow guys, appreciate it. And thank you so much for the subs, of course. Um, I'm gonna try something a little sketchy. Oh, never mind. Okay, this is doable, maybe. Do I risk it? Probably not. Let me try aiming up. This is really stupid, but I really want to send it. <laughs> this is so not worth it. I'm going for it. Oh my god, I don't know why I did that. Wait, I don't get auto saves. I don't have to do it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um, wait. Oh, this is before the whole pure pad thing? Oh. Okay, never mind. This makes more sense. I thought I had already done all the arrow stuff. I was like, why did I lose my bow? 
Okay, so we have to get the pure pad and do that whole thing again. <sighs> I'm watching on YouTube on my phone. Uh, my phone to get the viewer count up by at least one. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Means a lot. Seriously, guys. It, it really does. It's It's been a really fun stream so far. And that's it's all thanks to you guys. This is like a really big deal to me, and it's like really cool that so many people came by to say what's up, you know? Whether you're here for five minutes or you're sticking around for the whole stream, like, it does honestly make my day that people came by and, you know, put, gave up their time to spend some with me and watched me bash my head against a wall trying to beat the Great Scott Island with only four freaking autosaves. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, ho. is that gonna work? This could still work. I have to climb like at the right angle. I think this would work. Yeah, we got it. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not fall off there, buddy. I don't like the look of this. Is that gonna work? I guess? Maybe? We'll have to see. You didn't get the cutscene yet? I'm getting now. Yeah, if you're tuning in, you're like, oh my god, it's only at pure pad. I have to basically reset the entire run. Not just from the last save, but like, the entire thing. Oh no, I'm not on the wing! Oh, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. So like in a normal like challenge run, you would typically just be like, oh, I made a mistake. Let me just reload to the last autosave. But in this run, it's not so simple. In this run, it's like if I make a mistake and I get an autosave, the only way I get rid of that autosave is by remaking a profile. You know, I, I got to start back from square zero, not even just from new game, but from new profile. <coughs> um. Okay, it is theoretically possible for this run to not be screwed yet, even though I'm on the ground. Uh, basically, the game doesn't autosave on frame 1, it autosaves on frame 2. So if I happen to do a frame-perfect side hop onto the wing, it's possible to not get the autosave here. So I'm gonna spam X. You see I'm holding ZL, spamming X and left. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Also, because I got on it and then I immediately got off, so... That's unfortunate. How many autosaves are we at? I think we're already- yeah, we're already at four. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, anyway. Let me just kind of show you guys what the plan is while I'm over here before I reset. So, over there... Let me get my pure pad out. So there's a- there's a fan chest right here. So that's where I'm trying to wing to. The problem is that in order to unlock that chest, I need to also kill these three enemies. It's one of those it's one of those chests that's locked by the enemies. So I go kill, 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 and I, I I'm ideally going to land my wing like here, and I'm going to shoot my arrows and headshot the enemies. Once I kill these enemies, I'll place some wings until I get a fan here. Now it probably makes no sense in your brain, like why would he get a fan, right? Like that seems so useless. How's a fan gonna help me? It's actually like the most important part of everything. Because if you didn't see my last video, there's a glitch called gas, which keeps his own device permanently active and tied to link. So if I gas a fan on my weapon, then my game stops making autosaves and I'll be able to walk around on the ground and it won't be able to see Link's location. So right now, whenever I touch the ground, it'll make autosaves, but if I'm gassed, it will stop making autosaves, which will make the challenge way easier because it's basically no longer going to be a floor's lava. I'll be able to move around. There, it's not going to be like super easy from that point forward, but once I get gas, it'll be way easier because I don't have to worry about touching ground. The The hard part is actually like the really hard part um, is that I'm going to have to do frame perfect backflips on every shrine because that's like a fixed location and it will autosave there. So after I get the fans, by the way, I'm going to go over here. There's a battery construct, which means if I go over here, there's a construct that gives me the battery cell, which I will need for just beating the Great Sky Island, really. Um, and there's some other stuff in that cave I'm gonna grab. So yeah, that's my plan. Anyway, we gotta do it. We gotta do a reset, unfortunately. 
That run is not it. Yo, Gina's back. Welcome back, Gina. Or maybe you never left. Let's delete this one. Um, also, I'm going to change the attempt counter. We're at six now. Add user. I'll just do another user right now. TTS. Uh, yeah. Let me let me check that in a second. Let's see what's going on with TTS. Oh wait, start the timer. Guys, I'm so not used to starting the timer at this point because normally when you speed run this game, normally, 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 you get the main menu, right? But when you start a new profile, you don't go to the main menu when you start the game. You go straight into the game because it's like you've never played it before. Like there's no point in a main menu if you've never played the game before. So I don't know when to start the timer. Like, like do I start the timer when I see Tears of the Kingdom show up? Um, Sirius, if you're here, can you check if TTS is disabled? Is I, I I'm on the clock now. <laughs> I guess I could pause, but I'm already in the in the groove. Do do do. It's working. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think I just heard it and I just tuned it out. Nice. Okay, it gives us an auto save there, but that one overwrites the last one, so it doesn't matter. No, I think this one gives us an auto save. Let's see. Because we got that really fast. Maybe it won't. You are very awesome. Oh, yeah, wait, it didn't. It didn't. Interesting. So I think what happens is that if you're really fast, the game will, like, overwrite the autosave instead of making a new one. So it still autosaves there, no matter what. But since I was so quick to get there, it's like, we got an autosave, like, 10 seconds ago. Let's just overwrite the last one. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Instead of filling up your autosaves, it'll just replace the last autosave. So we're still going fast enough that it's fine, basically, is the TLDR of all this. Come on, give me the clip. There we go. I believe that Link does not like the fact. That and now we can walk over it. So normally we do that Mazor to jump over that cutscene trigger, but since we already watched that cutscene, we don't have to. <clears throat> we don't have to jump over the trigger because we already hit it. <clears throat> Come on, climb, 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 climb. Guys, is this the run? Do we think this is the run? Can we get some blesses then the run? Can, can, can we get some blesses? If you're on Twitch, there's a channel points reward to bless the run. It's very cheap. This is the run. So maybe if you don't mind, bless the run a little bit for me. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. What's your favorite glitch? My favorite glitch? Ooh, I love that question. I don't think anyone's ever asked me that question. Favorite glitch? I gotta go with, uh... It's actually hard. Um, I think gas. I think gas is my favorite glitch. Let's I think I think gas has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you put the JKs. Uh, it's not even a glitch. Tune pumping's not a glitch. Oh my god, gifted five subs. So Jesus, you just keep going. You just keep going, huh? Setter, thank you for the five gifted again. Wow. Uh, my favorite glitch is probably gas. I think. I think gas has so many uses. Thank you for the follow, Parapa da Rapa. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyway, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I think gas has so many use cases. I mean, we got the cannon. Oh my gosh, he's still going. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub again, Shredder. What's up, Pokey? Yeah, you can gas a cannon onto your shield. You can put wheels onto your weapon. 
Um, what else can you do with gas? How you can... Like that? You can do flame emitters, you can do frost emitters. I mean, only- almost any Zona device you can gas, and that's just so fun. Like, there's- there's so many combinations that make it cool. Like, there's the paracopter, there's hydro clipping. I feel like there's so many, like, alternate glitches that kind of, like, spring off of gassing, if that makes sense. Like, without gassing, a lot of other glitches wouldn't be possible, so I think gassing is a really cool glitch. And it's also going to save us in this run, so it's- you know, it's, it's kind of close to home. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a runny nose. I was sick for a little while. You know, re-watching my last video, the Shrines one, I can I can notice so many points in it where I just sound terribly sick. It, it's very obvious in some points. I was, I was coming off of a big cold because I went skiing last week with some of my friends in Colorado. And uh, I, got, I got sick having that trip. It was, it was a lot. Cheddar is going nuts with the subs. Cheddar is absolutely crazy, I know. Cheddar's mental TTS with the subs. Yeah, AIW Cheddar with over $600 in gifted subs. Burritos, what's your opinion on Kida's wallet's happiness? <laughs> Cheddar's wallet's hurting right now, I gotta say. Cheddar's wallet's having a rough time out there, but you know what? I think the, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the viewers are having a great time with it. So, you know what? Cheddar, Cheddar's making everyone's day a little brighter. And that's why we love Cheddar. His wallet is like WTF, are you doing? Yeah, his wallet's just like, buddy. I don't think we can handle this. <laughs> ah. That's his wallet right now. That's. This is footage of his wallet. Just going into the depths. <laughs> Oh my god, Cheddar, 10 more subs. Ah, oh, Cheddar. Cheddar, are you a billionaire, bro? Cheddar's actually just Jeff Bezos. Work, maybe. Cheddar, you are insane, bro. I don't even have any other words for it. Like, I I keep saying it, but jeez, dude. Now. Throw some hearts in the chat for Cheddar, Cheddar again. Cheddar is going ham on the subs. I actually found you live streaming. Yo, Emmett, what's up? You did. You did happen to find me live streaming. This is a pretty fast run so far. 6.45 and we're getting Room of Awakening. We are on world record pace, fellas. Thanks for follow, Olive. Uh, Live O'Yell. Appreciate it. Just the stream down for this MSS. <laughs> but everyone's getting so many subs. Shadow Why would I shut the, the stream down? Why did you link not Flurry Rust the Gloom Attack? Is he stupid? What glitch do you hate the most? AKA what's the least favorite glitch? Oh, the worst glitch? Easily the clipping out of bounds one. Like, you know the one oh I was God, just doing to clip out? Ball. Basically. My favorite drink. What did he just say? The His proletariat drink? has forgiven Twitch user the Cheddar Chad. Anyway, the the beginning intro clip thing, I hate that. I really hate it. Nice. First try. I'm getting good at that again. So, it's like almost pixel perfect, and it depends on your angle heavily. And it's also like the first trick you do as soon as you spawn into the game for any percent. So I, I just have a, like a really salty feeling with that glitch because it's just, it's just not it. <laughs> like, you don't want to start a speed run by immediately doing a like a pixel perfect glitch, and then doing a Mazdor over a, a very specific like like just the whole intro skip section is just crazy. You gotta do the clip, then you gotta get a Mazdor jump over the cutscene trigger, then you gotta do some like really precise parkour. I'm like it's unsubscribed. It's a massive parkour thing. You know what's actually perfect, Cheddar? Holy shit, it's still going. Cheddar, I don't know if you know this, but your your gifted subs run out today from the last time you went crazy. Like, on the last stream. So, it's actually, like, perfect timing. <laughs> Cheddar's not letting the subs cook at all. Cheddar's just like, beep, beep, beep. He's got his, like, left finger just hovering over the, uh, the button. Why do you think I'm back? Is that why? 
The worst glitches and dueling pumping guys. Hear me out. This Better just coming best. back to give everyone more Again, subs. Just let me finish and hear me out. With Tulin pumping I can pump a miner and then they can do it themselves. I love pumping miners and Tulin. Tulin will be pumped. I'm gonna have to turn TTS off. I'm gonna have to turn TTS off for a little bit after what that one. I just put my cashap in chat. Sugar Daddy Cheddar? Smile. Okay, could I, I save this? Out and immediately got it back. Don't snipe me again. I'm not gonna get it again. Brothers in the middle of the Mr. Beast challenge. I think what I'm supposed to be doing, let me like practice this real quick before, because I always mess this up, so I want to be on the chest, and then I think I want to spawn the wing before I jump what off. Did I just listen to? Yeah, that was, that was weird, that was a weird TTS message. Um, I apologize. Don't, don't be weird in TTS, please. That was, that was a whack one. Well, it's so weird to stay on this chest. Right now, we already got the autosave, so it's kind of jank. I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, so I have to be like this. I have to spawn the wing. And then land like that. Okay. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. We can definitely avoid that autosave. Let's change the subject. But it is tough. How was your day today, Xander? You know, I, I had a pretty solid day. Thanks for we asking. Only you know, it, it wasn't a very eventful day, but... I spent a while getting the stream ready, and then, and funnily enough, like, I spent so long getting the stream ready, and then I had, like, technical difficulties in the first, like, 10 seconds of stream starting. So, you know, that's how my life be sometimes. But I got my Chipotle, I got my burrito for the day, which is always tasty. We love burritos out here. And I slept in. I got a nice, uh, I got to sleep in a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm on the streamer schedule. It's just like, get out of bed, turn on the stream, go to bed. <laughs> Xander, but it's pronounced Cassander? No. My actual name is Xander. It's pronounced Xander. It's not anything special. It's like short for Alexander. Technically, my name is Alexander, but don't tell anyone that. That's my little secret. I actually like, I actually hate when people call me Alexander. Like, I know like normally it's like, Nicknames wouldn't bother me, but dude, Alexander, I just, oh, I don't know, something about it. It's like only my parents, when they're like really mad, would call me Alexander. So it's like, just call me Xander, please. Call me Xander or call me Burritos, but don't call me Alexander. Uh, Alex, I don't really love either. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Alexander Eberito Jr. Uh, my grandma calls me Alex, actually. It's actually kind of funny. All the names my like family calls me, I don't, I don't like. Very it's almost like there's a correlation. Question: What's your favorite cereal? Hold on, I'm cooking. Nice. My favorite cereal probably Lucky Charms, but I don't eat it anymore because it's kind of unhealthy. Nice, we got it. Do -do -do. Do -do. Do -do. Not a bad answer. Yeah, I also, like, in general, the cereal I'm eating the most now is really, like, niche, I guess. It's Kashi Go Cinnamon Crunch cereal. It's got a lot of protein in it, which is nice. But it's not, it's not packed with sugar, but What's it's got sugar in it. Character? Like, if I'm eating cereal, I'm in the mood for something hey, sweet, you know? I want something sweet. It's hard for me to eat a cereal that's, hey. like... Favorite not a little sweet. Not cereal. Favorite breakfast, not cereal? Easily pancakes, dude. Some chocolate chip pancakes go crazy. That fact made my day, honestly, but what was the fact? What's my favorite character in this game? Hmm, I haven't thought about that. If I could say Todd, I would say Todd. <coughs> I think my favorite character is... Honestly, it's Zelda. I think Zelda's storyline in this game is honestly really cool. Zelda's got such a fun storyline. And then my least favorite character, probably Raru, honestly. He's not that interesting of a character. Okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> 
Chocolate pancakes are the best we can. All right, guys, we are like 50-50 about getting the wing or getting the shield and the weapon. What do you guys think? Do we get it? Do we get both the shield and the weapon? No reason why. Let's hope. Oh, nice. We got the shield. Personally, Robbie's the goat character. We got the shield, which is really good. And I think we're gonna get the weapon too. Hot take crepes are better than pancakes by a landslide. Okay, I'm gonna place the wing here. Hot cakes are better than pancakes. Aren't they? Yeah, are they not the same thing? Do I sound stupid right now? Hype. <laughs> I can't wait till I add more emotes to Twitch. Guys, I know my emote game is terrible on Twitch. I promise you, I'm getting that fixed, okay? Like, I'm taking Twitch more seriously. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some emotes out there. I'm gonna get some emotes on Twitch real soon. Uh, the guy told me that it's gonna take two to three days, but it could make, it could be even earlier. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a burrito, like, a cute burrito, um, doing different things. Because the channel's name burritos. I don't know why I'm explaining that, like, you're five. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, hopefully we're on the wing. Crepes are super flat and thin. Oh, are hotcakes just crepes? Are they the same thing? I thought they were different. Oh, cheddar emote? Honestly, yeah. I should get a cheddar emote. I actually a really good idea. I actually, who said that? Harappa Darappa. Actually, a really good a really good idea. Things. Take a sip of water. Yeah, toddy emote's also a really good idea. For some reason, I'd like a cheddar remote. No, we definitely need a cheddar emote. Comes by once a month. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> Instead of coming by once a year, he comes by once a month to gift everyone subs. Bro is like the actual Santa Claus of my chat. <laughs> Please, here you go. Cheddar Chad. Cheddar Chad. The absolute Chad. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, wait, I can dupe stuff. I can dupe stuff. Let's dupe a little bit of food. Why don't we? You should do one of those emotes where you combine Ow. two to make a wide emote. All the most hog chaters as emotes. Yeah, nice. There's an arrow right there. What do you say? I know, I know you, you might... might not be big enough for merch yet, but you should make a Todd t shirt and sell it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna wear the Todd shirt in a, in a second here. Oh gosh, he's like shooting me off of it. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm big enough for merch yet, but I definitely will do some cool tears merch eventually. We get big. That I can say for certain. Tulin pump emote. Dude, please stop with the tulin pump thing. Can we let the tulin pump and go? Can we get? Can we leave that book in the past? <laughs> I'll be the sponsor. You'll be the sponsor. You're so sweet. Do 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 do. Gosh, you're in a terrible location. Like, I want to find a way to kill this guy easily. Easily. Because I feel like a, a lot of the time waste is like just trying to figure out how to kill this guy. Right? And I always end up touching the grounds. I guess I could dupe uh, sticks and throw them. Let's do that. So drop, 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 equip. Card t shirts would be good merch because it's not cringe YouTuber merch. Drop, drop, true. This is actually a good idea because I'm. Um, wait, what did I just do? I'm duplicating the um, the sticks so I can actually kill them with sticks. That might be a good idea. Drop, drop, drop. Equip buffer. Drop. We need to find a new name for the okay, let's drop these. Even if it is just for our small community. 
<laughs> yeah, honestly. Hello, it'd be the weekend. This day. Okay, that's one. Burritos with the one more billion IQ. Okay, nice. Now he's in a better location. <laughs> it's not that smart. I'm just like, oh, what if we duplicate items to throw? I'm not I'm not five billion IQing this guy by any means. There's definitely a better way to kill this guy. Hey, it's Daisy. What are we doing? Right <clears throat> and if you have an idea, I'm all ears. <laughs> like when this whole like setup is not is not perfect by any means. What I'm doing, so advice is accepted. Advice is encouraged. Honestly, <laughs> there's like a myth that I'm like a good gamer. <laughs> I'm an alright gamer. I'm fine. I get by. It's funny. You go from getting nothing, only glitches to no glitches, so you don't do anything. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I know a lot of I love I know a lot of glitches is the thing. Ooh, can I get the arrows there? I really need to. Did I already get the bow? I didn't get the bow yet. Oh, the bow's- oh, I see the bow. Oh my god, it's almost on top of it. Ooh, this- this spot sucks, to be honest. But that's just a theory, a burrito theory. A game theory. I should have ended my video like that. I made a- I made a game theory style, style video. I have a digital copy, crying face. How many arrows do I have? Seven arrows? Okay, that's enough, that's enough. I'm not stressing about arrows. Where's the bow? There it is. Okay, time for the weird setup again. He's not gonna follow me, is he? Oh my god, he is. Are you kidding me? Bro, seriously? Can you just leave me alone? <laughs> so, like I are we doing GSI then the impossible shrine? Yeah. Basically, the GSI is to set up the impossible shrine. I know it's confusing, but that's just how it is. Wait, I did not set this up right. Uh, drop, 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 equip. Pause buffer. Drop, drop, drop. Drink the water. Thank you. Cheers. Actually, if you're watching this, cheers. You should also drink some water. Let's all be hydrated together, chat. I would not be surprised if the majority of you guys are, are dehydrated. You are supposed to drink a shit ton of water every day. So take care of yourself. Drink some water. Whoa, buddy. Can you not throw those, those at me? Parry his rocks. Oh wait, can you do that? I suck at parrying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. I'm probably just bad, but I'll get it. Oh, I probably need to be... There we go. Oh, that does work. Does that use my durability though? Because I care more about my durability than killing him. I don't want to waste my shield's durability if that uses durability. <laughs> the SpongeBob TTS is crazy. It's so loud too. It doesn't use aura. Okay, this should work now. Okay, drop, drop, uh, drop, equip, buffer. Drop. Okay, I had my shield or I have my bow equipped. Can you do paros? Also, if you can, just fill INV with duped weapons slash bows slash arrows. So I might. Have to worry, D. I might do that, but I don't need to. Doesn't use durability. Okay, I think we're. Do we have smuggle? I'm no, we don't. Bob. Bro, this AI <coughs> sucks. Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it, nice. Let's go! We got it finally. 
Yo, Doge is here. I don't normally watch streams too often, but I look forward to seeing you pull this off. Yo, dude, I thank you so much. Also, Hop has an amazing story, and it is also amazing. It's fun to break with glitches. W Doge, uh, am I? I mean, I'm saying Doge, hey, but is that? Doge. Should I say I don't dog or? Watch streams too often, but I look forward to seeing you pull this off. Dude, I feel honored. Doge is a really smart guy in the in the um. TUTK research team and he's helped me a lot with like trying to figure things out and help me research stuff and whatever like a lot of times when i have questions i end up asking a lot of different discords so it's it's rarely ever like i'm the one to do the thing but it's rarely ever that i've done it first it's usually that someone else the has the information and i kind of like pull the strings to like make things work together but like I really appreciate that, Doge. You coming on. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully we don't miss this. I'm rooting for you to get the last few shrines. Dude, it's just one more. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> Alright. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. I think we're high enough. You That's not gonna work. Honestly, think you'll be a really big streamer one day. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Chad. Mr. Chad, I really hope you blow up on I your really YouTube slash Twitch. Blow up on slash Twitch, you make a million plus sub type content. Thank you. That's honestly really, really like. Just really awesome to Your hear. Your streams are so nice. I'm genuinely surprised you don't have one gay jillion subs. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. You guys are really sweet. Thank you. Thanks for all the support. I'm putting my all into it. Time for some ASMR time. No, Never gonna no give ASMR. you a dash. Okay, this is definitely high enough. Baby, yeah. Okay, wait, this could work. You suck him, just kidding. I love watching your stuff. Yes, we got it. We got it. Okay, perfect. That was clean, too. That was really clean. Okay, nice. Fuck you, joked her. Okay. If we pull out our bow now, this is what I don't want to happen. I want to make sure we can actually shoot. And I can't shoot right now. Um, Let me think about this. If I can't shoot... I love the way you explain things in videos like you glitches. Really need to be able to shoot. You can make it big if you just keep it up. People usually don't go into detail how these glitches work. Thanks. Okay, I gotta figure something out really quick because I don't have much time. And then randomly, um, there's one really weird message per stream. But besides that, everything is just so wholesome. Yeah, I know, right? All right, I guess I'm going to try to land the wing and throw my weapons at them. Guys, I don't know. I'm a little bit scared for this one, to be quite honest. Uh, thank you guys for the follows. All right, we're going to try to crash land into them. This is a bit sketchy. <laughs> my bow is not working, though. Okay, we got we got two. We got two. Don't die. Oh, God. I'm going to die here. I'm back, burritos. I'm going to die here. If it we ball. He's about to shoot me. Oh my god, he missed! He missed! I can't throw! Drop this. Unzuggle. Throw! Throw! I can't throw! 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 Please throw! Oh my god, he missed again! Dude, this is terrifying! Drop this bow. Do something. Just please. Yes! I can shoot! Get me out of here! Yes! Okay. It's fine. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm on half a heart, dude. <laughs> I need to eat food. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Buddy is not denying the god gamer allegations this time. <laughs> That was kind of clutch. That was a little bit clutch. 
Let's do more, some more apples while we're here. Okay. We gotta get that chest. That's what has the fans. Wait, how am I gonna... I guess I gotta jump onto it. Oh my god. That's crazy. Dude, what? That's so unfortunate. That's so, so unfortunate. Dude, land standing on these chests is really hard. What? It's such a weird geometry. So that's four autosaves then. Remember this. Manual save you laser. Let's continue. Because still this is the furthest we've ever gotten, and we have four autosaves. So let's Nothing just continue anyway. Save when you get the fans. Uh, does it always save? Technically, it's possible to avoid the autosave when opening chests. So far, that's been both of our autosaves, is opening the chests. Basically, let me let me explain something real quick. So, second, the Beneath Hyrule Cave autosave, this is a forced. There's no way to avoid this one. The Room of Awakening save is also a forced. Um, these two have are avoidable, though. By standing on the chest while opening it, there's, like, a little area on the back Let of a chest. Because the chest is, the chest is like this, right? The chest is, um, it's like this. So if I stand on, like, this crevice, I can kick it open while on top of the chest. And since I'm not standing on the ground, the game won't autosave. So it's possible, but it's tough. Nice, okay. So we're winging to the construct now. I think if I hit every frame perfect trick from this point forward, it's feasible still. But it's just going to be really hard now. <laughs> I don't have any backups. We'll see. see and again, thank you for explaining. It's always nice when a streamer explains everything. Yeah, no worries. I don't mind explaining it. No need to do that with the second chest, though. Wait, why not? Wait, Aragul? Wait, Aragul, how? How do I do the second chest without doing that? Maybe I should go back and watch the corrupted uh, video. This song is an absolute banger. No, I turned it up for that reason. But can we explain your lack of bitches? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that, chat. Let's not mention that. Age of Calamity playthrough when? Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about that at all, to be honest with you. Would you guys want to see an Age Calamity playthrough? I feel like that game's a bit Truly dead now, no? Yeah, I'm pretty maidenless right now. No, I'm taking time for myself. That's the truth, guys. I'm taking time for myself. What version are you on? I'm on 1.0. I'm so clueless right now. Why are we picking up items also? Why can't we touch grass? <laughs> yeah, it does make like no sense, right? Uh, basically, read my description. If you're confused, and here we see go read the description. You can also go watch the ending of my last video. Actually, I think that'd be better. Go watch the ending of my last video. But basically, all the stuff we're doing right now, we are picking up items. It's all part of the setup. Did Aragul comment again? Uh... Not enough people played it, and I do think that people would be hyped for Age of Calamity playthrough. It works with a well-placed wing. Oh my god. How do you go back yeah, to another duh. version of Tot? I guess that makes sense. It's just in a weird spot. Because that, that one chest is like... That, that one chest is like higher than the ground, so you have to place a wing really well. Thanks for the follow, guys. So I'm just re right now because I lost it when I tried to get my bow equipped. Uh, am I ready for it now? I, th I guess I am. 
Oh wait, I'm doing it wrong. Drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop, switch bows. Okay, I think we're ready now. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So we're going to fuse now. This is where we're going to do ha have to do a frame perfect backflip. So you could say the stakes are pretty high. <laughs> Effectively, we need to backflip as soon as the cutscene for like opening the fuse shrine finishes because it puts you on the ground and the game will autosave on the second frame we're on the ground. So on that first frame, if we backflip off of the ground onto a wing behind us, then we will not get the autosave. So we kind of just have to pray. And honestly, it's not something you can really time. Like, there's the stream, guys. there's not really, like, a timing for it. Gonna I'm just going to spam. Up. See you, Alex. Good night. I got three shrines and Pokemon in one day. Gaming. Aritos, I'm so excited to show you the video I'm making for I did. That sounds hype. I'm excited to see it. Never going to let you down. Okay, this is probably high enough, right? Oh my god, no. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, we can save this. It's okay, it's okay. That scared the shit out of me though. <laughs> Never gonna run around and desert you. You should add a challenge help channel in your Discord server. Never gonna make you cry. We got it, we got it. Okay, we gotta go straight to fuse now. Nice, nice, nice. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting way better at that. Thank you for the follow, uh, Mag Mango. Okay, so what I wanna do is place a wing directly behind me. I think that'll be good. Okay. I'm gonna lock in. So I will hold ZL, I will spam X, and I will hold back. And we have to pray that I'm spamming it fast enough that on the first frame I backflip onto that wing. Because when I activate this shrine, it's going to remove the wing under my feet. Alright, let's send it. Let's send it. Come on. Please. I'm spamming so hard right now. Oh my god, it's too far back. I got the auto save. Shit! Come on, you got this. Everyone spam blessed stream. Ergo, is this run dead now? Are you if you're still here? You got this. Let's continue even if it is no. dead. Just because I wanna get um practice with the rest of it. So we'll continue as if norm everything's normal. Unfortunate. I wonder if that would have worked. Like I'm not sure if it's because I got the autosave on the first frame or if it's because I landed on the ground the second time. Because it definitely didn't work because of that, but probably yeah. Okay, it's not Jover Jover. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh dude, I screwed it up again. Burritos, how Wait. Tall are you? I'll tell him I'm like 5'11. The run's so alive. You have other stuff, not just key items? Uh, go read the description. Basically, this is a setup save to create a wrong warp into Papunke, where I won't have anything. We're gonna make a corrupted save that has no key items, no regular items, and everything I'm doing right now is to lead to that save. So this is this is not the save that we're gonna beat Papunke with. If it was, it would obviously be a failed challenge. So am I going to get an autosave? Yeah, is that the last autosave? Yeah, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is what a dead run looks like. Because in order to make the corrupted save, you need to have uh, a non-filled-in slot. 
So it seems like in Issa is a forced autosave. I hope to be even a quarter, nay, a fraction of the so... streamer someday. Love the affordable pricing and just how freaking interactive our chat is. It, it is fun. It is a lot of fun. Thanks for the follows, guys. Uh, so these three are this are the ones that were avoidable. This one is a frame perfect backflip. This one we could have avoided by having a better placed wing, so we could open the chest on the wing. And then this one we could have avoided by opening it on the chest. So this one, this one. And then the top one, I think Enisa is unavoidable. So basically, we can make two mistakes. But if we make a third mistake, it's over. We can we can get away with two mistakes. Anyway, that runs a dead. That's a dead run. We're going back. I honestly think that this could be the one. I really do. I feel like I'm getting really better every single time. Like we're getting a little further, and that was a really that was a really good one for us. We did miss the backflip, but we learned a lot from it. I feel good about that. I feel like I really do feel good because. A lot of times, especially in the last run, it's like sometimes you lose just for the game crashing and you don't get to like learn any information or really practice. But that was like a good learning experience for us. I definitely got some info for from it. Okay, let's I just came add back a user. And what the game developing clicker breakthrough glitching fridge is bro yapping about. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh Three hours already? How I haven't really thought about it. This. Oh, probably Gyarados. I played Pokemon Gyarados. Go and that one was correct. Look, each shrine should be a forced auto Yo, save, Doge. right? If I remember correctly, each shrine should be a forced autosave. Your link to your Discord has expired, BTW. Oh shit, did it? I'll put I'll put my Discord link back in the chat, guys. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll put the Discord link back in. Oh wait, timer, 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 timer. Timer's back up. Hey chat, what is your favorite Pokemon? Okay. Mine is Sneasel. Yes, I am weird. Join our Discord community. Yeah, if you don't want to be part of the Discord community, uh, we got like a Minecraft server and some stuff. And I'll let you guys know when I stream. So... Come hang out. What's up, Carrot? I just got a shiny Medicham. What should I name it, Xander? Okay, I just pinned that. That that link should work. Let me know if that link doesn't work. Name it Todd. Name it Toddette, actually. Name it Ted, actually. Choose one of those three. I'll let you choose. Wait, Doge, there's no way it's an autosave for every shrine entrance, because then it wouldn't be possible. Right? It's only for the first one when we're, when we're not gassed. Once we get gassed, I don't think it will make any more autosaves in the chat. Oh my god. Again? <laughs> He's back? <laughs> what is that? Gifted an autos- Jesus, dude. Everyone that joins Twitch just gets a sub. <laughs> just joins Twitch and gets a free sub. Thanks, Cheddar. Thanks again, Cheddar. Oh, come on, Link Clip. I gotta get this one, otherwise it's gonna get my second autosave. Okay, nice. Don't give me it, don't give me it. Okay, nice. It over at the first one. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chadder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is this still savable? Holy shit, he keeps going! Chadder, thank you! True. The uh, if the you go points. forward before clipping, you can trigger the autosave immediately. Wait. Go forward before clipping? Oh, wait, that's actually really smart. No, Aragol, you're right, yeah. Yeah, then I can take more time on that clip, right? I see what you're saying. That's clever. I like where your head's at. What's one thing from Breath of the Wild you wish would have come back in Tears of the Kingdom? Um... To be honest, I like the towers. I know that doesn't make sense because the towers did come back, but I like the towers more in Breath of the Wild. I think the towers were more fun. The The example I always give for it is it feels like you're opening an Apple product when you're climbing a tower. Think about when you open like a new phone and you get like a like, slow release of it like opening the phone and it's like, 
exciting. I feel like that's how it feels when you're climbing Breath of the Wild Tower. You know what I mean? It's like you slowly get to the top, and when you like, you recognize that top little like area. I don't know. It was a bit more satisfying. In the top right corner. Can you even? Oh wait, wait, wait. I gotta redo the attempts. Can you even trigger the first cutscene intentionally? Oh yeah, I probably could. I mean, you are the the goat at this. Yeah, Aragol. Actually, can we get some W Aragols? We get some W Aragols because Aragol actually was the one that uh, helped build this plan. So Aragol actually played a massive role in like what we're doing right now. Cheddar again, gifted five more to view. Holy shit, Cheddar, bro! What is happening with you? Don't mess up, Cheddar. Why, bro? <laughs> what did I do to deserve all of this? Bro's Lucas, he really is. Oh, let's play. Let's play a banger for Cheddar real quick. And find something good. Cheddar, holy shit, are you like a multi-millionaire or something? Yeah, I love low rule. Hold on. Cheddar is the goat. Will we ever mm. see Todd or Michael again? Don't mess up. Don't I put this in all my videos, up. dude. It tells a good song. <laughs> Don't fail for Cheddar. Cheddar, this one goes out to you, bro. This is for Cheddar. All the old runes, there was no real... Oh, yeah, you know what? The uh, the sages from that game. I guess they're not sages, but like... The... Like, what are they called? The champions. The champions. The champions from Breath of the Wild, their abilities... Oh my god, dude. So much more better. So much more better. So much more fun than tears abilities. Like the ones you get from the sages. Oh my god. It's night and day, dude. Check like Revali's Gale, Daruk's Protection, so Mifa's Grace. Uh, what was the last one? I don't know. They were just all really good. Compared to this one, I feel like I never used the sages in this game, unfortunately. <laughs> Urbosa's Fury, that's the one. Sidon's terrible. Oh my god, who used the Sidon's ability, bro? Is there anybody in chat that actually uses Sidon? Let me know, let me know. I want to- I'm actually curious if anyone has like a good use. Because I understand using... Uh, Yunobo. Because Yunobo lights things on fire, which is good for like if you want to get some- a free wind burst in the sky. Um, you can like light grass and then fly on the- on the fire. You can also use it to light like campfires for free. You can also break things in caves with Yunobo. Um, and you can use them to fight things when you're on vehicles. That being said, I still think he sucks. <laughs> like, don't don't think that I love you, Nobo, but I understand why you would use him. Tulin, obviously, you gotta use. Tulin's just the goat. He's really good for movements. And there's nothing really annoying about him. He's, like, the best character. He's the most fun. Uh, Reju's ability is just kind of a pain. I don't get why you have to wait so long. All right, I gotta focus up. I gotta focus up. Because you gotta wait forever for like the lightning ability to kind of like reach out to where you want it to go. It's not super fast. They gotta speed that up a little bit, make it a little snappier. I think that would make it a bit more fun. But her ability is pretty powerful. I'll give her that. And then Sidon's just like the worst of the worst. Like, it's a temporary ability of a bubble. This is not it. It's not it. It really is not it. Uh, Sidon's power of water is particularly useful when using Zora weapons, as it provides the longest base duration for the wet stage. Oh, that is actually the it's most doge answer ever. That is true. On challenge runs where you are not using armor. That is actually so true, doge. You do have, they like, that, that gamer knowledge of, like, oh, it does help a lot with those weapons. You are right. They ruined my boss but it's such a specific them. instance, you know what I mean? Like, for a casual Next player, like, they're probably never gonna touch Sidon. You know what I mean? It's just like... It's a rare instance, I'd say. I'm a soaking at CSS! Severe brain damage. No, it doesn't. The only thing it is going for it is that it has damage immunity. Play Wind Waker out got it. Island. Got it, Easy. got it, got it, got it, got it. Wind Waker outset, I'm down after I finish really this. Dad. 
and Doritos <laughs> gives the money back to I would dad. be Plus terrified. Swinny underscore oh eight also. Also, Miru is best because you can use it to dupe fairies. Yeah, but you don't mean you don't need Minero. The non cog skip skip. You can dupe fairies without Minero. Did you not know that? Maybe you just have to pick him up fast. Damage, but that's it. God, I gotta make TTS more expensive. It's so you often, bro. Todd emote. I gotta slow down the TTS. I feel like this run is the one. You feel it? I honestly do too. I feel like we've learned Why a lot from the previous so ones. You have to run to the sage to activate. So useless. Yeah, I don't know. Her ability is meant for a bow, but any time I need to use it, she is in the middle of two monsters getting knocked around. Yeah. Yeah, the sages are not that interesting to me. Impossible, crying face. They're not that good, unfortunately. Wouldn't it be funny if I prayed for the run by? Bro, oh my God! There's so many TTSs. <laughs> Guys, slow down the TTS, please. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Now, Minaru's construct, on the other hand, is the most over-engineered. I'm gonna make TTS ever. like triple the Her price in a second. For dupes or challenge runs. Otherwise, Link outshines her in every aspect. All right, I'm gonna try my best not to get the auto save here. This could be the first time we get off this island with only two auto saves, which would be hype. So we get on it. Okay, nice. We're on the chest. The thing I miss is whistle sprinting. Honestly, I feel like the permanent target on your back from always whistling was a decent balance and shouldn't have been removed. I missed it. Man, I never suck at the chest. Up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around, I suck at that you, chest. Never gonna, cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I always just end up walking off. I'm turning TTS down. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it more expensive actually. I won't turn it off, but I'll make it more expensive. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. It's just there's a lot of TTSs and I can't really like pay attention to all of them because it's it's so fast, bro. It's so much. It's so much info. Also, when I'm trying to do like this hard these hard tricks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna make it 200, like twice the price, a little bit more. It's like two and a half times the price. Okay, let's focus up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dive, turn around. Nice. Nice. I'm getting really good at that, actually. Wait, is that gonna work? Oh, wow, that barely worked. <laughs> that was really close to not working, but we're good. Alright, so we've used our one mistake of the run, basically. We have one more mistake, I think. I think we can get away with one more mistake. And that third, third mistake is... Three strikes and you're out, basically. People say horses suck in tears, but it's fun to make a death chariot with enemies, weapons sticking out on all sides, and just gallop through, dudes. Does that work? Wait, how? Oh, because... No, you're right. You can, like, attach something to the back of horses. Like, how do you fuse it to a horse? Okay, we're on the wing. Perfect. Nice. First burrito stream, and honestly, I may just stick around. Yo, thanks. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the stream. Yeah, this is a fun one. This is a very fun challenge. I've been looking forward to this. Guys, behind the scenes, I've been like... Like, the, like this route has been planned for a while. You know, <laughs> Ergo, Ergo made this a while ago. But I just, I just take forever to edit things. But I've been like so excited to do this, genuinely. I'm excited to make the theory turn into a reality, you know? Alright, we're still on the wing. We should be good. Jump over here. Holy shit, more gifted. Cheddar. <laughs> Cheddar, thanks again. Thanks again. Much appreciated. 
I'm gonna pray to God that this is the run. Me too. Let's all get some blesses. The, bless the run a little bit, guys. Bless the run. Bless the run. All right, and let's hope we get the shield here, because the shield does help us a lot. Oh my god, bro. It's right. <laughs> Why? No! That gave me an autosave. It didn't? Holy shit. Also, thank you for the subs. Uh, get to, to. Oh my god, he's giving more subs. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, that's so sad. I feel like I'm just so unlucky. Like. I just want to grab it. I just want to grab it so bad. Okay. I guess not. I guess we can't get it. Unfortunate. It is what it is. Is there another easy wing I could get? Or another easy... Wait. I guess I could reload, right? Is it worth reloading just for that? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth reloading for. See, maybe it is, though. And I feel like it is. Is there another shield I can get easily? Does anybody know another shield I can get? I think I will reload, honestly. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna turn the attempts off. I'm getting behind. I don't know what attempt this is. Maybe I could leave it on. Do you guys want the attempt counter? Is, is Can somebody keep, keep track of it? Like, is Sirius still here? Are we on seven? I, I've lost track in my head. So I'm not sure. Seven? Yes, we want to attempt a counter. I can help. Okay. How about this, guys? If you- if I have to reset and I just forget, like, please let me know. Just, like, spam it or maybe put it in TTS. Actually, yeah, put it in TTS, uh, and just, like, say, like, change the attempt counter, change the attempt counter, and then Zelda can refund you the TTS message. You'll get refunded. I just got here, so I really don't know. Yo, Zelda. Welcome in, welcome in. Zelda, how's your day? You having a good day? I'm having a good day. We're trying to do the last shrine that we didn't do like two months ago. Uh, and the plan to do it's kind of wild. So that's what we're up to today. Hopefully we can get it. it. It's a tough challenge, but it seems like the theory is solid. It's basically floors lava. <laughs> to sum it up, Zelda, it's floors lava. <laughs> no. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oop the wings. Is any is any speedruns in the chat like Gina or Sirius? I'm curious, like, what the strat is for hitting the the construct. Because the way that I be hitting the construct is obviously not right. Like, the the wing or the shield, I don't know I keep saying wing. The shield keeps going underneath the wing. And obviously that's not good because I want that shield. So do, am I supposed to be hitting it, like, from the bottom? Should I be aiming for its, like, toes so that the shield goes, like, over top? I don't know. You're basically doing the don't touch grass challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's actually true. It's actually pretty true. So far, it is almost the don't touch grass challenge, except it changes drastically after this run or after this little bit. Hmm. Wait, constructs have toes? I guess they don't. They're, they're, uh, what, what, what would I call that? 
the bottom of their body. I mean, they don't got... They don't got things. <laughs> they got nothing down there. Do constructs just float? Yeah, they float. They be floating. Look at the construct uh, that's in front of me. You know what they say, 99% gamblers just quit before they hit big. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite quote, seriously. It's so true. Like, why quit? If you're probably gonna hit big, you know? You're probably, your, your next hand is gonna be crazy. The fun thing about this challenge is that this challenge is actually like really fun. I'm not lying at all. Like this challenge is actually sick, dude. The cool thing about it is it's like the the like the one that's going to be the run is only going to take like probably an hour all in. Nice. Okay, hitting its toes do work. That works way better. And like honestly like it's a pretty fun setup the whole all things included. I like it a lot. I'm not saying the other times I've done were not fun, but like, this is this is definitely up there. You know, it's it's an enjoyable one. It's not just like the same shit over and over again. Even though it literally is the same shit over and over again, like at least it's not setting up um the crazy monstrosity I had to do for Ganondorf, and both challenge runs. Those were crazy. <laughs> Why is it not spawning? Spawn. That was like mind sucking, you know what I mean? This is like very like laid back, like wholesome, but like still hard. Like it's not easy. But I just love that I'm on the Great Sky Island. I'm not in like, um, I'm not stuck at the end of the game looking at gloom the whole time. This feels way more like hardy, if that makes sense. Why is it not spawning my wing? I swear, it's like, um, you know how people get sad when the weather's like, or in winter, because there's like no sunlight? That's like what happens to me when I get to the end of the game and I'm stuck there for like 15 hours, because I'm just staring at like the Ganon like gloom wall for so long, and it's like, oh man, I just wish I want to see the sunlight again. This place is beautiful. Has highlighted message become the new TTS? It seems like it. <laughs> Seriously, your parent, your patience scares me. Thanks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, Cloud. I mean, uh, thank you, Cheddar. <laughs> Remember when you feel through the dragon, or fell through the dragon? Oh, don't remind me of that. <laughs> Are you trying to make me sad? Yeah, no, that was terrible. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a moment in my last challenge run that I did, I haven't made a video about it yet, where I tried to be the game with no key items or regular items, and I literally got to the final part of the game. I don't want to say any spoilers, but I was in, like, not even just... I, I got past Ganondorf. That's all I was like. I got past Ganondorf. Like, I killed Ganondorf, and... I got softlocked after Ganondorf, and I had to restart, and I had to redo all of Army and Ganondorf, and it took me 15 hours of time loss. Oh no! No! What happens? What happens now? I got an autosave. Ugh. Huh. Yeah, I guess we should reset that then. Unfortunate. That sucks. It is what it is. It is what it is. At least it's only 920. So, you know, it, it, that wasn't the run, but, you know, maybe the next one. I'm sure it'll be the next one. As this is the run. This is the run. Trust me. This is the run. Let me play some music to signify that.
Hold on, let me get the spear tracks I was in here. Thank you for the follow, Night Night. Guys, spear tracks is the best soundtrack. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, eight attempts, eight attempts. I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget. Do, 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 do. Eight attempts. You guys think we could do it on, on under 10? I think that would be a good uh, poll if someone wants to make that poll. Is Elder or Serious? You guys, you guys can bet channel points for that. Do, do, do. Thanks for the follow, Emand. Don't even screw me over. Yeah, the poll is going to be Can I beat Punky Shrine with no key items in under 10 attempts? So, this is attempt number eight. It's only going to be on Twitch, by the way. If you're, if you're watching on YouTube, there will be nothing. Thank you to follow XQ. XQQW. I voted 17,000 channel points. Oh my god, bro. You're putting the pressure on me. Which, which side did you vote on, though? Did you vote on my side? I hope you voted on mine. You know, I should go. Thank you to follow Servant Child. I appreciate that. Uh, perfect. Nice. We're getting good. We're gaming. We're gaming. We're on world record pace right now, dude. This sound is really good too. Yo, thank you for the sub, Night Night. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, dude. Awesome. Thank you. You guys might recognize this. This was my video, actually. Yo, penguins here. Yo, what's up, penguin? Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of followers today. It's awesome. This is high music. I know this is really good music. Let me turn the switch volume down. Isn't that nice? I don't know. This this song rubs me right. That sounds weird. It's it's a good song. <laughs> penguin, how you doing? How's the editing? Are you editing it now? Is this from Spear Tracks? Yeah, it's from Spear Tracks. It's so, like, homey. I don't know. Like, I would listen to that if I was feeling homesick. And I've never even played Spear Tracks, to be honest with you. But it's just hearty. Uh, this is the song you guys probably all recognize. Classic banger. Classic banger. You can't go wrong with Overworld Adventure. I think the last three videos in a row that I've posted have all started with this song. It's, uh, I gotta, I gotta work on it. <laughs> I gotta find other music, but like, dude, it's so good. It's so good. I can't. Oh yeah, full steam ahead. I love your emotes so much, Penguin. Your emotes are actually goaded. If he would beat this in less than 10 runs. I want to make a fan stick figure animation from a thing from the glitchless run, but I don't know what to do. I'd be sick. It's really hysterical that if you actually played Spear Tracks, you would have such a hard time like the DS games are such a particular flavor. Really? But the tracks, though. But the tracks, though, Zelda. The tracks go kind of crazy. Make the ultimate weapon from the itemless run. 
There's no point. It, you know, like, to make that weapon, I need, like, flame emitter, frost emitter, wheels. I would need a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, are you talking about from itemless run where I did Ganon? Like, with the laser stuff? Yeah, no, <laughs> there's no boss fight at the end of this shrine, guys. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> We're not going to see a boss fight. The hard part is the Great Scott Island. That is the tough, that is the boss fight, all right? There's no reason we need to, like, build some monstrosity weapon. Now, nah, I mean, for an emote? Oh, actually, for an emote, that would be kind of dope. Wait, we can't do TTS at all now? Uh, it should be enabled. I, I didn't turn it off. Maybe Zelda did. Maybe Zelda turned it off, I'm not sure. You have a boss fight at the end of Shrines? <laughs> That's kind of how they have it in Elder Ring, actually. I don't know if you guys have played Elder Ring. Um, actually, I'm probably going to stream Elder Ring tomorrow if you do play Elder Ring and, and you do like that game. Or if you don't, you just want to hang out. I'm going to stream it tomorrow, probably only on my Twitch channel. So most of you guys are already here if you guys want to see me do that. We're playing co-op Elder Ring with Sirius. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that Elder Ring basically has shrines in it. But at the end, there is a boss fight in every single one. That's kind of funny you mentioned that. He has like literally Elder Ring shrines. Honey, I'm back. Okay, wait, wait. Let me let me focus up. All right, gaming time, gaming time, gaming time. Easy, easy. Frame one grab. Frame one grab. Yeah, we got TTS. We got TTS, guys. By the way, I'm going to tell you this. TTS messages are AI, so you can use any voices you want. And I hear so many that are just like the normal TTS sound, but do exclamation TTS in my Twitch chat. You'll get sent a link to TTS Monster, and it will teach you how to set up TTS like AI voices. Guys, use those. They're so fun. And it doesn't like cost any extra channel points like... It's all baked in, so like you might as well. You can like add sound effects too, but please just like don't be like weird about it. Like don't like send creepy messages in Morgan Freeman voices. You see, AI TTS requires. How did you actually send a Morgan Freeman voice that quickly? How did you do it that quickly? <laughs> How did I know? I, dude, <laughs> I just knew. I just knew. There's so many. Yeah, there's a lot of voices. Also, thank, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Cog, skip, 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 skip. Yep. And that is what we're doing. I feel like we got back so quickly, though. Doesn't I feel like we were just here? I'm just flying on this stream, honestly. I'm is smoothing. Tree branch. Good RNG. It's a 50-50 if I get oh, the yeah, branch. The run for sure. It's a 50% chance of me getting the branch. I love tweet baguette and smoke cigarette. This should fit my general tongue. I think. Oh, wait, I didn't pick up the apples. I'll go grab them in a second. Oh, nice. We already got branches. We already got a lot of branches, actually. I think I might as well still hit all the other bushes. Just in case I get more. Because we can use those branches to throw at the enemies. Okay. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. I always mess this up. I'm definitely going to mess it up. But what if I don't? This is like the hardest one to avoid not getting... Like, how? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so tough. It's so tough. Let's say, hypothetically, that Burgess was a Barbie girl. Also, he lived in a Barbie world. It was fantastic. He was made of plastic. <laughs> See, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> you guys can use AI, any, you can use any voices you want. Like, go crazy with it. Pop out with it. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I, it's not, I'm not expecting a different result. Or actually, no, I am. 
But I'm not doing the same. Am I crazy? Hold on a second. <laughs> Why are you picking up items that's key only? Um, this is a setup save to create a corrupted auto save, or I guess it's a corrupt manual save. They will have no key items or regular items in it. And we will beat the shrine with the save with nothing on it. You can also go read the description. I put my video there and the timestamp. If you guys want to go check out like the the moment that I start talking about this shrine. Okay, Naruto is my and the plan. Team. So like you could read the long ass description I wrote or you could just click on the video and it basically explains the same thing but in video form which is probably a little better. And then it will kind of give you an idea of what the hell is going on. This is not good. That's really bad. That's really bad. Bye bye. This might work actually. Okay, it worked. Wow, that was lucky. No! That was just a visceral reaction. I'm sorry if I just broke your eardrums. Um, it's actually not a big deal. <laughs> It's not a big deal at all. Oh, seven. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. We can just load back to this autosave. As long as we don't get a new autosave, it's not a big deal. If you're confused what happened there, I... I lost all my wings. I should be duping my wings before. Can I dupe them here? Yeah, I should definitely not dupe them down there, because it's easier to dupe when I have three than I, when I have two. But I wasn't thinking. It's not a big deal, though. We just have to watch that one cutscene again. What was that? One juggle to rule them all, and and, and the T-O-T-K bind them? Guys, I'm going to go get my shirt. I'm going to go get the Todd shirt. The Todd shirt. See you all next week. Check it out. Oh shit, I got a I got a game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm out of time. I'm wearing the Todd shirt now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did an extra, cause why not? This is high, isn't it? I think it'll work. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Yeah, we're good, we're good. That was actually perfect. I don't know what I was talking about. Nice, okay. That is an awesome shirt. Yo, <laughs> thank you, Penguin. I know, right? Because Todd saved the run with a... Uh, you know, it, it's it's not crazy to say that without Todd, um, I don't think any of the last three videos I made would have existed. You know? Because I would have probably given up on itemless game, and without beating the game without picking up only key items, or that doesn't make sense, with only picking up key items, I would have never done the shrine video. If I never did the shrine video, I would never be here, and if well. You know, was, like all the things kind of lead to another, you know? The domino chain kind of started with Todd. So we got to pay our respects to the boy. Yo, Kaiser. What's up, Kaiser? I always say Kaiser. I know your name is I Wanna Watch, but I just... I gotta I gotta stay true to the Kaiser. Tepalus, what's up? Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? Having a good evening? Love the last two videos. Love to see you trying the last Ryan. Yeah. I'm glad people came by to see it. It's really awesome. 
Really, really fun to see. Okay. Damn, I'm kind of I'm kind of dirty at those wing drops. All right. Uh, I don't want to brag about my uh, brag about my wings, but I'm kind of the pilot. I should not waste her ability. All right, we want to go for the toes. Go for the toes. Go for the toes. His non-existent toes. Shit. I did not go for his toes. I went too low. Shit. I don't know about this. I mean, we are dealing damage. How far have you made these burritos? Uh, we've made it to Fuse. That's the farthest we've ever gotten. Okay, I could dupe these sticks. I'm gonna game for a second. Hold up. Drop. Wait, no, that's not gonna work. I need four. I shouldn't have dropped that one. Let's- let's kill this guy later. Let's come back in a second. I have a plan. I have a plan, don't worry. I have a plan. I'm going to get a shield, but we're first gonna go up here. Come on, place. Place, 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 place. Here we go. Nice. I think this is fine. Wait, is it? I'm gonna be kind of close. Okay, yeah, it was a little close, but we're good. Okay, my plan, if I can get to this wall right here again, we can do Zuggle. We can do map Zuggle. Wait, no, I can't do map Zuggle. Shit. I don't have runes yet. Cheddar. Cheddar, thank you. Cheddar, again, thank you so much. The wings suck on the stairs? Yeah, they do, but it's alright. Um, dang, I wish I didn't throw that one stick, because I could have duped it, but with four. I don't think I can dupe with three, though. Uh, I'm just gonna try to kill him, then. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. I kind of want a shield. It was God damn it. I got the autosave. <laughs> that was my bad. 100% my fault. I mean, I guess it's always my fault. Unfortunately. <laughs> I can't blame anyone for my failures. Alright, next one's the run, though. Next one's the run. That's the thing about the next run, guys. The next one's just it. Alright? I'm telling you, the next one's the run. I'm just gonna delete the users. I suppose this is also another way to track my attempt counter. It's gonna be 9, right? Yeah, 9 makes sense, actually. The attempt should be at 9. Attempt 9. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Attempt numero nine. In a world where shrines have become too bored and evil, and key items are illegal, one group of stream <laughs> birders will make this last <laughs> attempt as one shot. <laughs> yeah. In a world where only key items are legal, <laughs> one man chooses to do all the shrines. Sets out on an adventure to beat the game with only key items. And a lot of glitches, and alt saves, and zuggling. <clears throat> Alright. Make a new profile, create a new user. Just go Mario Classic. Todd. Alright, we're back in it. Wait, Link- No, I don't want to link the Nintendo account. I don't want that. Okay, Eric, perfect. Later. I'll totally link it later, Nintendo, bro. Me? 
course. Of course I'm going to link it. Mm. Does deleting the save data directly not work? Doge, somebody mentioned that. I don't know how to do it. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> how do you delete the save data? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Restart timer. Thank you. Timer is always like a second or two off. Just because I can't start from main menu. But it's okay. It's not super crucial. We can always add up the time. I should have had two timers. I should have had one timer for like how long the entire stream was. Or like how long every run's taken. Oh, first try. We take those. Wait, I'm actually on a pace. It was Carrot who gifted the sub, not Cheddar. Oh shit, Carrot. My bad, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carrot. That's awesome. Wait, guys, why am I on a pace right now? What the hell? Why am I kind of schmoovin'? I'm about to get, like, a, a good intro time <laughs> on a challenge run. This is the run, guys. This is the run. I'm telling you, this is the run. A 113? Wait, that's not possible. <laughs> I guess I started the time... Yeah, I started it way too late. Still probably crazy, though. Gotta do it on Twitch, bud. How do I do TTS? Yeah, it's on It's on TTS. I, I, it's on TTS. God, I'm getting tired. <laughs> if you want to use TTS, it's on Twitch. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Another sub. Thank you for the, for the sub. I can't wait until I can get rid of the stupid cow and like the different... Uh, Gifts that I have for those because I'm gonna replace them with like actual burrito things right now. They're like defaults But pretty soon we're gonna fix that you can do tree branches as long as you have two. Wait, how do I do that Aragal? I mean map juggling is what I was thinking, but I can't map juggle without runes I'm not super familiar with the uh, drop smuggling. Wait drop juggling. I don't know whatever the heck I'm doing the juggle stuff Thanks, Doctor. TYS? No, it's TTS. TTS. Link. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that Cheddar Chad has gifted 54 freaking subs this stream. What the heck? What the hell, dude? That's crazy. Who carries that fragile sword? Crouch, drop, equip one, progress. equip the other, pause, pause, drop. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that down somewhere. That was all you could do. That was all you could do. This cutscene's really loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. <laughs> I was looking for um for a Google uh, a Google Drive doc to like put that thing in and the first thing i clicked on it was like untitled doc was where is it does anyone recognize this i <laughs> <laughs> was from um my key items only video Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, and then under it, I have a bunch of like different intros that I thought I was gonna do. It's some rejected intros. Let's <laughs> read some of my rejected intro. Lately, there's been a flood of Tears of the Kingdom challenges. Beating the game with no weapons, no bows, no shields, only Yiga, whatever that means. Okay, I just cut it off from there. <laughs> I decided no, that's too. It's not good enough, I guess. Beating Tears of the Kingdom with nothing has always been a goal I've had. A few weeks ago, I made it happen. I want to be clear that this isn't 
entirely different from what both Timber and Smallin have done. Oh yeah, I remember my, my initial uh, intro. I was thinking it was like, this was right after Small Ant released his only Key Items video and Timber released his Great Scott Island video. And I was like, shit. Cause he beat the game, Timber beat the game with nothing in terms of like game completion. And uh, Small Ant did an only Key Items run, which is the exact opposite. Anyway, we're back. We're at 13K now, huge. We're back into the game. Why is CTS 200? I had to turn it up because people were spamming it. Sorry about that. All right, see you, Zenith. Hope you enjoy the movie. The second time I have survived the massacre of Cheddar. <laughs> You're one of the survivors. You didn't get the sub. Unlucky. Yeah, I feel like at this rate with Cheddar, it's like the chances of you getting a gift sub is definitely higher than not. There's probably like 10% that don't. Is, does it like favor, when you gift a sub, does it favor people in the stream that are watching it? Or is it completely random? Because I've definitely been gifted subs on channels that I almost never watch. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. Because I, I would wish that, like, it would gift it to people that watch the streams more often. But I feel like Twitch wouldn't want that to happen. Because if a viewer watches a stream more often, then they're probably more likely to actually buy a sub. And then Twitch makes money off of that. You know what I mean? So I think it is pure random. If I had to guess. But I would hope it favors people that watch the channel. Was the grab frame perfect? Um, it doesn't matter that much, I don't think. Ergo could probably say if it's frame perfect. I don't think it is, though. I've been... I've slacked on it before, and it was fine. I accidentally jumped once, and it was alright. Give me the RNG! Give me a stick! Nice. favors people who don't watch oh yeah no that would be kind of crazy actually <laughs> it would make sense for twitch like from a from a money standpoint if they wanted to make their pockets a little deeper uh it would make sense i think at least in the way that i'm thinking about it but yeah i definitely have been gifted subs to people i like never watch and i feel like i'm usually not gifted subs to people i do watch but I have no idea how it works. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray I get it this time. I gotta like watch a guide on like how this how this is possible. I think Timber did it once. So I feel like it's possible. I'm gonna try to hold forward a little bit. Oh we got it! Oh ho, ho, we got it! We avoided the autosave for the first time. Holy shit, nice. You guys see that? Clip that shit, baby. We didn't get the chest autosave. That is a big W. That is a W. That's a good start to this run, dude. That's a really good start to this run. Let's not be stupid now. Let's not goof up anymore. Because now we are going to be going to get pure pad with only two autosaves. Which is not a lot. Not a lot of autosaves. Don't go there. <laughs> I can't wait to see you get this shrine. I love the last few videos on. Keep up the good Thank work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you spawn a wing, please? Maybe I should just go back. There's probably- I should probably go, go this way. I think this way is a little bit easier. Cheddar, you're gonna have to try a little harder than a measly 54 if you want to hit me. 
<laughs> Don't taunt him, bro. Don't taunt him like that. Titter's done enough. Titter's done a shit ton. He does not need to give more. Nice. Okay. You should make bless. Okay, let's not screw this up. If we're doing this inflation biz. You should make the bless run 100 if we're doing this inflation. What do you mean inflation? Oh, are you talking about yesterday's stream where I talked about inflating this, the economy? I don't think I'm going to inflate the economy. I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to inflate the economy. I feel like there's no point in, to inflating the economy. Because right, the way that it is now, the people that watch the stream the most have the most points. And that makes sense. So I would feel like I'd end up unbalancing the economy a bit. I don't know. Oops, I thought the messages were not going through. I'm sorry. You're good. Oh, you mean TTS? Oh, that makes more sense. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Really don't want to mess this up now. Please don't screw me over, Clouds. I'm so good at Zelda. Look even better and would say I'm... I saw him yesterday. Great man, I said. You know what I said? Nice, nice, I nice, said, nice. I said I'm so good at Zelda. Nobody could play Zelda like how I play Zelda. Okay, good. I think this should be fine. I think we'll be on the wing here. <clears throat> It always edges you with this robot, because it's like, you might be on it, but you also might not. Okay, we're on it. We're fine. You can never see where Link is until, like, after the robot does its, like, woo. Hopefully, next next out a little bit. I'm calling it. This is the run. This is attempt... Wait, is it attempt 9? Is that correct? Is my attempt counter correct? Wait, so are we trying to get there without touching the ground? Pretty okay, much. Um, so like, touching the ground itself like is that. not bad. The reason touching the ground is bad is because touching the ground creates autosaves. Uh, you void out anywhere else you go. So, like, if I tried to go to Ascend right now, I wouldn't be able to get there because I just void out. There's, like, triggers all over the place. So you really need to go get the pure pad before the rest of the Great Sky Island is unlocked. Okay, let's not goof this. Let's not goof this. I want to go for its knees. Not its toes. Not its thighs. Its knees. We want to break the construct's knees. Okay? That's the plan. New mono ultra microscopic silico volcano only ugs us for some reason. This is the run I think lol. Want to see this work? I think that's okay. Um, maybe? Bro, come on. Where's the sword? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it always under the wing? Okay, we got this shield. I'm not giving up on the sword just yet. I'm not giving up on it yet. What's been the biggest fail point in runs so far? Uh, we actually got past it. Oh, wait, maybe I could get it. Yeah, we got both. Awesome. Um, the biggest fail point has been the chest above the Room of Awakening where we get the wings, which actually, this is the first run where we haven't gotten that autosave. So as of right now, we are on the best run we've ever been on. What's his height? So far, everything about this run has gone perfectly. In fact, it's also the fastest paced run. So everything about this run is kind of crazy. It could be it. But they also all could be it. Yo, thanks for the follow, Stone Cryptic. Appreciate that. Okay. 
Come on, give me the spawn. Give me the spawn. I could send it and jump for that, but it's like not super likely to get it there. <laughs> it's very risky for no reason. One of my managers at my job worked at one of the tech ship outlays like two years ago. I'm gonna send this. We're fine. Uh, wait, what was that? One of my managers at my job worked at one of the tech Chipotle's. Wait, really? I used to work at Chipotle. Before I got my fired. I mean, is this enough? Yo, thanks for the follow, Yoshi. Uh... Okay, I feel better about that. I feel a little better about that. That throws the capsule. Welcome in, Alan. Stairs suck. Yeah, the stairs are kind of annoying for placing. Okay, let's hope we're on the wing. I'm not on a wing! I have to spam, I have to spam. Wait, I missed that law. Why did Senor get fired? Oh, we didn't get it, we didn't get it. Oh, we didn't get it. We did the frame perfect jump. Okay, we have to do that for the shrine effectively. So like, that is a perfect example of like what happens um, when we screw up, <laughs> but we saved it, so it's fine. Thanks for the nice save, dudes. Appreciate it. I'm honored. Wait, I missed that. The lore. Why did Senor get fired? Oh, I got fired because I sucked. <laughs> I wasn't fast at making Chipotle burritos. That's the essence of it. Um, this feels kind of weird. I feel like I could place it better. Yeah, I feel more confident about this one. I'm just gonna go far left so I don't make a mistake. Oh god. Oh, that's a terrible wing. I don't like where I am right now. At all. No! I didn't get an autosave? No, I did, dude. Come on. <laughs> okay. Well, we got the autosave, so we're not going to get an autosave for a little bit. Did you get the shrine yet or not? Nah, I'm just joining three. No. If I get the shrine, uh, I'll probably end stream pretty soon after. I don't know. Unless we just hang out for a little bit. But no, the shrines, we have not gotten it yet. Okay, wait. Where did he drop his bow? Oh, I already picked it up. Okay, so now let's place it on our wing just in case. Let's start the process. If you're wondering why I'm like on the ground now, it's like this isn't a floor is lava challenge necessarily. It's like. If I get an autosave, then I'm kind of free to move around a little bit. Um, I, I don't have to be perfect about this. It's possible to beat the Great Sky Island with three autosaves. I need to beat the Great Sky Island with four autosaves. For what I'm trying to do. So, it's not Jover yet, but it sucks. Because now I have to do uh, frame perfect jumps first try and I can't mess them up. It would have been nice to have the backup. That was a stupid place to lose it too. Like that wasn't even a hard area. It was just dumb wing movements on my on my part. We aren't even close to getting it. Yeah, I mean to be honest, we haven't gotten that far in GSI. We haven't been the first. <laughs> we haven't been the first shrine. Hey, but like the the thing is, once we get gas, it's gonna vastly change the challenge. I would not be surprised if once we get gas, we do it on that attempt. Because if we can gas with four autosaves, then the game won't make any more autosaves. So it should be pretty free from that point. You know what I mean? Oh, we're ready already? I'm kind of gaming. Okay, let's unequip this. Or not drop it, unequip it. Unequip it. What am I doing, dude? Unequip the bow, not the shield. OK, 
Okay, did that work? That did not work. That worked. Okay, cool. All right. Now we get fans. Wait. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I should have duped my stuff earlier. Uh, we'll have to dupe it in the cold, which is a little bit scary, but it's okay. By the way, um, does anyone know how to use a bow while arrow smuggled? And, like, actually have the arrow shoot? Because whenever I try, like, since my bow is not actually existent, as you can see, uh, it's, gas, like, invisible. Gas, gas, it never gas, works. Some gas tonight. This isn't gas. This is arrow smuggle. This is, uh, is it just switch bow? I don't think that works. I'll try it, though. Oh, so you're going to the rest of the shrines? Yep, I'm trying to. That's the plan. Uh, and by rest of the shrines, it's just one. There's one shrine. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has done this. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, we will be the first people, or the first person, I guess, to, uh, to do a shrine off the Great Sky Islands before beating it. It's kind of hype. But Timber might have already done that. I'm not sure. It works if you set up Drop Smuggle. I don't think I did that. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Easy. Nice. Okay, so what I have to do then is drop my branches and then unequip my bow and then re-equip a bow. Yeah, that works. That works. No, no, don't lose height. Don't lose height. Don't lose height. Oh my god, it's weighing it down. I shouldn't have dropped my branches so early. Dude, I'm not gonna make it. Are you kidding me? I gotta land. I gotta land. I gotta do it again. That was stupid of me. Um... Yeah, that's- that's tricky. Okay. How do I- how would I go about drop smuggling, Aerial? Is that something I could, like, learn on the fly, or is it tough? Get me. He has this, and you know it. Laughing face. How'd that actually get me? Yeah, I really gotta get a new wing. This one is getting cluttered. Wait, I'm already ready. Okay, wait. Maybe I'm already ready. Uh, let's unequip this. I Go back here. Drop. 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 Oh, wait, I did it wrong. Drop, drop, drop. Equip, buffer, drop. Equip, bow. Nice. Okay. Wait, did I, did I not do it? Oh, weird. I thought I did it. There we go. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up after overloading. Dro after over. Wait, 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 let me just on the grounds. After overload, drop bow. Dropping bow. Drop equipped bow. Swap bow. Wait, wait, let me like do this as I'm doing it. After overload, dropping bow. So I guess I drop this. Does that do anything? Uh, drop equipped bow. Swap bow. Uh, 
unequip bow. Pick up the one on the ground. Um, overload drop means swapping bow. Oh, so that's the overload drop. After overload dropping a bow, drop equipped bow. I guess I could do this in the pause menu. So drop equipped bow. Swap bow. Going to be unequip bow. Pick up the one on the ground. So I have not done the pause menu. Okay, switch bows. That now it's dropped. So now drop equipped bow. Switch bow. What was it? Let me copy paste this. You have to reduce overload first. I do. I wonder if we will beat this. I think I might just leave it as it is right now. I might try it on the on the next one because I'm already pretty overloaded. And I want to keep it that way. Oh, it's picking up bows that screws it up. I see. Okay, unequip that. Drop, drop, drop. Equip. Buffer. Drop. Change bows. Okay. So what I need to do... I need to wing over to here. And then I should not unjuggle until I get there. So that the sticks don't weigh the wing down. Once I land the wing... Uh, I'll crash, or I'll land the wing by crashing into, hopefully, two of them at least. Then I'll immediately unjuggle, unequip, re-equip, and throw my sticks at both constructs that survive. To hopefully stun them. And then I'll just either continuously throw the sticks that fell from the zuggle, or maybe I can shoot them with my bow by that point. Both would be fine. Okay, let's try it. Nice. Imagine if we could kill all three. That'd actually be insane. I guess I'll try to like line it up for that. That's not gonna work. Okay, we got one. Uh okay, drop this. Equip. Drop. Throw. Bro. Shit. Oh, wait, wait. he dropped a thing. I guess I can use bows now, right? I don't want to die. Okay, we killed them. Let's dupe our, our food so we don't die. This is still a viable run, guys. This is still a viable run. What I also want to make sure I do is open the chest while standing on a wing so that I don't get the autosave. We might as well pick up some of the stuff here too just for more weaponry and stuff. What not? Ice fruit, arrows, all good stuff, all good stuff. So Eric goes at a well-placed wing is all I need. I don't think that's what he was talking about. Maybe that is though. Dude, I wish I had Ultra Hands. No.
Try crouching. Oh, wait, I think I got it. No way. Oh, <laughs> we didn't get it. Yes. Sick. Okay, this run is looking pretty good now. <laughs> this run just went from dog shit to actually kind of goaded. We've made one mistake so far. And now I think we could mess up the frame perfect uh, backflip and still be okay. If I'm not mistaken. Which I definitely could be. We've not gone past Fuse. So, Aragold, do I need to do a frame break backflip for every shrine? Is that the truth? Or is it once I get gas, it's fine? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Can you not spawn on the edge like that? Whatever, I'll send it. No, I didn't have a weapon equipped! No. I just drove her. God, that's such a throw on my part, dude. I thought I had a weapon equipped. I have to do a jump slash to like attack onto that wing. Still got air flight now. Thank you to follow, Lone Squirrel. Ugh, man, that's so unlucky. <laughs> Ugh, I just, I was so, I didn't have a weapon equipped. Mm. That's a really unfortunate way to lose it, bro. That's such an unfortunate way to lose it. If we could dupe crap IRL, like how we could in Zelda, it would be hilarious. Like, I just imagine you're walking down the street and seeing someone do a kick. Yo, I got 600 huge. Nice. Thanks, Penguin. It's unfortunate, but you know what? The next one's the run. Attempt 10. It's it's all led down to final attempt. Attempt number 10. <laughs> We're getting better each time. We really are. And I think if you guys are sticking around and watching, like, you can definitely see, like, even though it feels like we're so far away, I think we're way closer than like we actually realize, you know? I think we are really close, because once we get gas and everything, it should be pretty smooth sailing. It's just getting up to that point without any mistakes is pretty hard. Thanks, Normal Goose. Appreciate the follow. Next time's run. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Will I do tomorrow? Uh, depends. I mean, I'm going to try to beat tonight. My intention is not to have this be a multi-stream, but hey, if I have to do this in two streams, I'll have to do this in two streams. And yeah, I'll do it. I'll stream it tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll probably do Outer Ring with series tomorrow. I'll reset the timer. Yeah, I'll reset the timer real quick. GG run if only you had a weapon. Cry. Fall cry bless. I know, right? Gosh, it makes me so sad thinking that like I just screwed up by not having a weapon. Like that what that run was so good. Because I could have, I could have like messed, thanks for the follow toast, I appreciate that. I could have mis messed up the backflip, and it still would have been a viable run. That's how good we were gaming. Uh, but hey, now we can have a god run. Because we still did make a mistake on that run. So now we can make the absolute anti-mistake run. We can make the, the craziest run in history. It's okay. This is the run. Dude, that's what I'm saying. People have been saying this is a run. 
And I think they're right. Honestly, I think they're right. Oh my god, that was stupid of me. Wait, do I get an autosave for this? Okay, this might just be a waste of time, but I think it might be fine. <laughs> as long as Link doesn't slip off the off the side. <laughs> this is a funny um like interaction basically. So the reason I have to climb around the outside is to avoid this, where Zelda gets she kind of she doesn't pull you inbounds, but she wants to talk to you about the statues. And since she's so far away, she's still at the beginning of the cave, she has to run all the way there. So it kind of takes a minute for her. Oh my god, we're fine. We're fine. I don't think we got an extra save. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird thing where as long as you don't hit that trigger, then she doesn't have to walk over. But Let's double check that we didn't get any saves for that. Yeah, we didn't get any saves. We're good. Arachnid's here! Arachnid, how are you? Arachnid helped so much with, uh, and without Arachnid, probably, we wouldn't even probably be doing this. So, W Arachnid. The messenger. It's nice to see that you're paused about getting it soon. I feel like I will, though. I feel like I'm really close. Like, I'm, I'm not crazy, guys. I feel like we're, we're so close. It's Ganon Daddy, it do be. Arachnid, you see the video? The shrine video. Let me play a banger. This is the run. This is the run. I feel it. I'm telling you, I feel it in my bones, chat. I feel it in my bones. All challenges, they gotta have a challenge, you know? It, it can't be easy. But that's for a good reason. I feel like the, the forbidden fruit always tastes the juiciest, you know? And that's what I want. I want that papunke. I want to bite down on a, a papunke apple. One of those golden frickin' apples. This is actually such a fun run, though. Like, why, why is this challenge run actually so fun? It has no right being this cool of a challenge run. If you can call it a challenge run. The papunke run, I guess we'll call it. Punky pumpkin. Most burnout and hit bad health after a couple. Like most people doing these kinds of runs. Bro, this is like the probably the most fun I've had doing a run like this, honestly. I am pumped. I am I'm really excited for this. I've been excited for this for a long time. Uh but yeah, like all the other sounds I've done have been I guess grander in a way, because like we're doing so much for one shrine. We're not being the game. We're not doing 151 shrines. We're not killing Ganondorf, but like, it's still like really just like enjoyable. Like it's like a calm feeling of just like, I feel like the work's been kind of done in a way and we just got to achieve it. We just got to go out and do it. Like the math homework's on paper. We just got to go do the math homework. That's a terrible analogy, whatever. You know what I mean? And I just get to slowly get better. I just get to progress, you know? I just get to keep getting better and better at the tricks until I'm a god. And that's a lot of fun. It's a fun route. It is a very bad analogy. <laughs> I know, I know. You don't have to rub it in, alright? It was a bad analogy, I get it. Alright, let's focus up.
bro, don't remind me of my math homework. My bad, my bad. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't want to give anyone a bad time. Put it off a little longer. What's the worst that could happen? Not as bad as the... Oh, God, serious. Don't bring up the bang analogy. You know what, guys? I In my last video, in the shrine video, I had a section where I described why wrong warping wasn't possible with gas. And I used an analogy in that, which was... Um, imagine that the shrine, the interior of the shrine is like a bank vault. I've never been in a bank vault before. And since I've never seen the inside of a bank vault, I can't warp there. And that was my analogy. Basically trying to describe that like, yeah, the gas warping is really cool. I can wrong warp anywhere I want, but I have to have been there first. Is that a terrible analogy? Because Siri, I showed Sirius the video early and I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, bro, that analogy is so bad. He's like, you got to cut that out. That's a terrible analogy. He was dogging on that analogy. Yo, first try. I'm kind of gaming with CSS. God damn. My CSS has been crazy today. Do, 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 do. Imagine you've never been at the center of the sun. <laughs> God damn it. It's not that bad of an analogy, okay? <laughs> Guys, imagine the center of the sun is the shrine. I've never seen the inside of the sun before, so maybe that would have been a better analogy. That's actually hilarious, though. That would have been a funny analogy. You know, like, the core of the planet? That's our shrine. Do you guys think we get the wing chest again? I just realized something. My attempts counter is leaking. It's leaking into the screen. There we go. We're getting lucky with the branches today. Not to mention all the crazy crap people give you. What are we talking about? Okay, that's fine. How many do we get? Wow, we got six out of like seven. That's not a bad ratio. All right. I'm not going to screw this up. I'm not going to screw this up. I'm going to fall. Yep. Dang it. That's so tough. <laughs> that is so, so tough. Okay. We run with it. That's our first mistake. Yeah, you'd also instantly be incinerated in real life at the center of the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's not a great analogy. I don't think the bank fall was that bad. All right. I thought, like, I thought it was the best part of the video, personally. Dude, if, if I kept the bank fall analogy in there, let me tell you, it would have been, uh, it would have been easy 20 million views. Easily. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> I'm shocked and amazed that 151 trends are possible. 152 out of 152, and I'll blow a fuse. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I think... A lot of people don't really understand how crazy it is. Because when you just say it normally, it's like people don't like think about it. Like only kids like, wait, but like that's the runes. How hard can that be? You have runes. And it's like, well, yeah, I got runes, but like, I don't get anything else, bro. Like, well, what do you mean it's easy? You know, I feel that's like the surface level thought, which is unfortunate because people probably Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, yeah, I think you got to think about it a little bit. And you're like, wait, oh, there's combat shrines. Oh, there's shrines where you need, like, weapons and bows and shields. And then it's like, then it starts to hit you. And I need apples and whatever. And a freaking spear to throw through a hole. I mean, yeah, I feel like one more of those shrines that just, like, you need items for would have been crazy. 
it would have been a shame. It's honestly perfect that um, only one of them is not possible because otherwise I'd have to do this whole setup twice, you know, to get the other one. Because theoretically, this would work for all shrines. But it's a crazy setup. Like, doing this 152 times would be kind of nuts. <laughs> You'd have to be a wild person to do that. And that also wouldn't really make a... I guess it would make a good video. <laughs> it, it would take so long, though. <laughs> if you have infinite time, there's a 100% chance everything will happen. I guess that's how it works. You know, I've kind of heard uh, an interesting uh, opposition to that thought, though. Which I kind of agree with, which is like the universe is always expanding, but the amount of matter in the universe always stays the same. So what that means is that matter is slowly going to get further and further. I know this is getting sciencey, but matter is going to get slowly further and further apart until eventually each atom is like trillions of miles away from each other. And then like, how do you end up with 100% of possibilities when that happens? You know, then again, time is infinite. So I guess something will eventually cause it to come back together. But if it's always expanding, I don't know how that would happen. I don't know. My head hurts when I think about it. My head hurts when I think about it. I mean, of course you can do it once. You can do it twice. Yeah. But luckily I'm saying we don't have to do this ever again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh nice, we're gonna get both easily. Sweet. It did not go under the wing. Yo, serious, I got a question for you if you're here. How do you prevent the items from going underneath the wing? Because I feel like it happens to me way more than anybody else. Is there like a strategy to avoid it? I'm guessing it's like where you aim the wing. Whoa, that was really close. You want to hit his lower half and not come in at too much of an angle? Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for that. Do -do, Arachnid, I've seen some stuff about how the observable universe is more light years across than... Oh, wait. What that's is your time that's scrolling too fast. Uh, we estimate the universe to have... Wait, I missed it. If... I've seen stuff about how the observable universe is more light years across than actual years. We estimate the universe to have uh, have existed. So the probability aren't so they probably aren't traveling faster than light, but universe might be older than 14 billion years. Holy shit. That's a long time. That is a long time. Almost as old as Zelda. We're fine. No, 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 no. Don't you dare fall. Don't you dare. That is like such a sketchy position for the wing. A bit too much weight on one side and it's Jover. Wait, how did we get there in chatting? Are we talking about the science thing? I was talking about how the universe is always expanding. I forgot how I started talking about that though. Does light experience time? I'm not the guy to ask. <laughs> I just hear that the world's ex what is the your universe time is expanding. Zone Burrito, so I ask again. My time zone Eastern. I'm on the East Coast. Ooh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Actually, let's farm a little bit of arrows in a second.
Okay. Oh, what? Don't give me an auto save. We're fine. That was crazy. I actually was on the ground for a second there. Do you think that light is faster than the dark? Uh, so dark isn't actually like a thing as much as light is. Dark is the absence of light. So dark is the same speed as light, I would think. But it's not like a thing, so I don't think you can really say dark is this fast. It's just how fast is light not getting there, I guess. Ooh, perfect spot for this. Wait, I can just tank him. Okay, now he's down there. That's fine, that's fine. I guess not he, they, I don't know. Whatever the robot wants to be. I don't want to be rude. But bro is kind of shooting me, so... Don't grab it. Dang it. I've been drifting in and out of sleep Ow. while listening to stream and starting dreaming things were happening that obviously weren't like completing towers and even divine beats. <laughs> Wrong game. Yeah, that was a wrong game, bro. <laughs> Let's stop the existential crisis and ask, how long would it take a cat to be tied? No! Oh my god, I didn't get an autosave? You're actually kidding me. Shit, I'll take it. I'll take it. Bro, can you stop? Leave me alone! Oh gosh. A little bit terrifying that my shield just broke. I don't like that. Okay, please leave me alone. Pretty please. Okay. No, that, that's fine. I didn't want that anyway. Thank you for the follow. Yes, that's all I cared about. That's all I cared about was the arrows. Okay, are you gonna leave me alone now? Probably not. <laughs> this guy sucks. Let me tell you, you don't want to be that guy. Yo, ALS, how you doing? Like, I hate this. I hate this so much. Please. Please just kill him, man. Yes! He didn't hit me. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Alright. I think I'm gonna put some good stuff on this so I deal more damage. Oh, I can't fuse yet. Never mind. I lied. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Let me actually play music so I'm not just saying bang. I'll give you guys actual sound. How about that? Trying to find something good, hold on. Oh, this is solid. Solid, solid, solid. Can't go wrong with this. Outside islands.
Sorry, I'm locking in just so I can do the dupes faster. I think we're really close already. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Unequip our bow. It's already unequipped. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. That'll work. Okay, that'll work. Nice, nice. Hey, FNAF. Were you talking about the inside of a bank vault and inside the sun, or did I dream that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no, that was not a dream. That was real. That was real life. Do, do, do. I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit now. So we are effectively, if we kill the guys over there, we're going to be in a great spot. Oh, shit. I'm realizing we don't have a shield. So food's a big problem, actually. How are we doing on current food? Let's eat this while we can. Get to max. So we're not thinking about that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky. Because we're going to have to pick up spicy peppers and do the chest before we die. Before we were able to dupe stuff with our shield. But we do not have a shield any longer. Which is a massive shame. Yo, what's up, undescribed? Penguins laughing. Dude, that emote's so cute. I wonder how much the, the audio permeated my dreams. What a strange experience. All right, I'm going to send it. Got it. First try. Nice. Okay. My plan... Let me turn this down. Thanks for the follow, Withered. My plan is to... Am I going to be low? I think we'll be fine. I think we'll make it. I want to crash into the dudes, obviously, for the free damage. I'm so low. This could work, though. This could work. We're, we're going to have enough height. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I got to pick up the spicy peppers as well. Shit, he, I didn't even kill him. Wait, can I throw items? I can! I'm dead. I've got no time. I've got no time. What are the spice peppers? Give me pepper. 
Give me food. Um, you see, you see the arrow on the right that's about to kill me. Oh my god, it missed. No, it didn't. Okay, never mind. That's an auto save. I guess we should try to continue it anyway. Let's try to continue it. Just so we can see. It's like possible we can still save it by, uh... Wait. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, no, it's actually good, actually. Um, it's not making autosaves because it loaded us back to the autosave before we got the pure pad. So I, I kind of like this in a way because we already have Zuggle Overload, which means if we grab the bow, we pretty much instantly have Aero Smuggle. You know? So we actually didn't get an autosave, is like the root of what's going on right now. We did not get an autosave, which is cool. So we don't have to delete the account just yet. It's still a viable run. And it's not going to take too long to get back to where we were because we don't have to do the glitches again. Which is nice. I will say though, uh, once this run either, either makes it or doesn't, if it doesn't make it, I'm going to throw some food in the microwave. I got some Chipotle and boy, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for some food right now. I could go for some grub. Alright, let's see if I can hit this. Oh god. Oh god, I'm overloaded, so it's not working. That's not good. Go for some Chipotle, TBH. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> no, that saves. Okay, that's scuffed. <laughs> okay. Never mind, chat. I'm gonna go put throw my food in the microwave right now. Uh, listen to some Windmill Hut and just like, oh wait, don't sleep, don't sleep. I'm staying streaming. I'm just gonna be back in a second. I'm just throwing some food in the microwave. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. What update am I on? I'm on 1.0, like the original Thanks release of the game. Thanks for the fun stream. Good luck. Of course, Yoshi. Whoa, my God, that's loud. Sorry about that. And maybe if I do all the character limits on Todd. Burritos sound really good right now. I know, right? I'm excited. It's a burrito bowl, but you know what? That's close enough for me. <laughs> What's my favorite Zelda song? Um. Favorite Zelda song. Right, it kind of changes it a lot. I'll play it though while I'm making my food. This is my current favorite at the moment. It's not crazy or anything, but it's just really, it's really chill. And I like it a lot. It's just nice. Uh, it's... Where is it? Oh wait, I know the name of it. It's here. All right, vibe out to this. Tell me, you guys, what you think. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put my food in the microwave. Brb, brb. Oh, timer, and let me start that up. Change your temp, so timer. I would do what I normally do when burritos is aft, but I am pretty sure mods might be watching. The coast is not clear.
Why is TTS 200 points? Forget I said anything I am following all rules nothing to see here. By the way to all mods you should go afk right now for no reason. See, I forgot to pause, didn't I? Did I scuff this save up? Do I already have two auto saves? I still only have one. Wait, so is it fine? Oh, there's the second one. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I did scuff it up. My bad, my bad. My bad, shit. Let me make a new user. This is the one, this is the one. I was talking about this save, guys. I was talking about this load. Let's do Yoshi. Burritos just like normal. <laughs> I did absolutely not. Do not look at chat history. What do you guys think of uh, Before the Final Battle? That's the name of the song. That's that's this. Attempts is now 12 and reset timer. Isn't it, isn't it nice? Discord and sub to his if you haven't already. Do, do, do. Yeah, join the Discord. If you guys are watching this, you want to be like part of more streams. We do like Mario Kart streams and shit, and you can you can join up on those. Some viewer stuff. I know today is just like a normal like stream stream, but like sometimes you do stuff with chat, and it's fun, and you should be part of it. That's my stick. All right, let's try it again. I'm not gonna play it again. I know you guys already heard it, but I'm curious what you think, because I think that track is crazy underrated. Can I play Subway Surfers in the corner? No. By the way, oh, let me start timer real quick so you guys just see. It, oh my god, it looks disgusting on camera. I promise it's tasty. I promise that it, it tastes good. All right. <laughs> it looks bad because it's like microwave Chipotle, but all right. Like, like if you had to microwave Chipotle, it's not that bad. All right, it's not that bad. I don't have Mario Kart, but I'm pretty goaded at Wii Sports. Dude, Wii Sports is the thing to be goaded at. That's crazy. Dude, my clips are on point today. Yo. Nice. My intro has been good. This is actually really hard. Like, I promise. If you could do this in one hour, 
Like if I gave you one hour and you had no practice before doing this and you did it in that hour, I'd be really impressed. That's how hard this is. Like with as many resets as you want. You can make save states, whatever. It's a tough thing to do. I don't mean to toot my own horn. All good food looks gross at first, like in Iceland where they eat goat head for Christmas. Ugh. That does sound kind of gross. What is this place? I don't know, Goro. What are you talking about, Goro? Mm-hmm. Todd is a good name. It's pretty good. You gotta make Todd an emote for the memory. Yo, what's up, Mitchell? For the challenge. Dude, every time I see player 10 in chat, I think player 5. And I like think you're like his brother or something. <laughs> I know you're definitely not, but like, do you know player 5? There's like a Twitch streamer that does tears content, speedrunning content, and his name is player 5. He's like the world record holder right now. Oh, uh, thank you for the update, yeah. I do gotta update the, the attempt counter, but 12. As long as he here's some galaxy. While I eat my food. This is the run, folks. This is the freaking run. I'm telling you, this is the run. I mean it. I mean it for real. Player 10 is my YouTube channel and my Geometry Dash account. Geometry Dash is making a little bit of a comeback, isn't it? Oh, you can use cheats in that game? What do you mean? This is for Cheddar. Do, 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 do. This is the best part of the song. Or I just played. Yeah, they have a thing called Mega Hack, which is like 100 plus cheats, and many of them are legal for legit completions. <laughs> Wait, actually? That's crazy. That's actually hilarious. What kind of hacks are they? I love you, man. Not in a weird way, but in an older brother kind of way. I have been watching you since you only had 300 subs. That's crazy. What? Thank you. Thanks for supporting me. Damn, 300. You've been here from the beginning because, yeah, I started making Zelda content at 300. Yeah, that's, that was the beginning, beginning. <clears throat> like FPS bypass things that make levels easier. One hack is legal. The legit changes the physics of the game. <laughs> what? That's crazy. It changes the physics of the game is nuts. All right, gamers, this is it. The name of the game is Speed. 
We go fast. We go zoom. We get both vines, get the autosave. And that is the only autosave we're going to see for a while, if all things go well. We do cog skip skip. We get lined up. We go bang, bang, boom. Bang! First try. We get up here. We run. We don't stop sprinting because we're fast. Because we move. Because we go zoom. Serious, tell me my movement isn't world record level. Tell me it isn't. You probably are like, oh, that setup was kind of slow, though. That setup was a little slow. Take your time on that one. <clears throat> He's gaming. I kind of am on that. On that. Or we get we get our first branch. We also got second branch and the fast climb. I didn't even talk about fast climb. We got fast climb. Give me a third branch, baby. Give me a third branch. This is the run, folks. This is actually the run. I'm gonna YouTube voice the rest of the freaking run. Oh my god, guys! We got a sky shroom! And the branch, huge. We are getting really good branch RNG. I swear it's not 50-50. It is 50-50, but I mean... The way that we're going with it, we're getting kind of lucky. Okay, I lied. Alright, I'm not gonna mess this up. I promise I'm not messing this up. I know the strat now. I know the strat. We want to be as high as possible. We want to be at the absolute peak. That's good. That looks good. That looks good. Why does it spawn over there, bro? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, it's still the run, though. <laughs> That's the thing about it. It's still the run. I feel like I should just practice that almost. You know? I guess I feasibly could practice that. Maybe I'll practice that if this run dies. Because I think that's just like a free autosave that if we can learn how to avoid it, that'll make it way easier. You know what I'm saying? It'll make it so much easier. Sorry, man. I had to take the no side there. I needed some more chips. <laughs> I, I, I understand. I understand. I see how it is. Yes, it's still the run. Player time. This is the run, bro. Look at my Mazda doors, man. My Mazda doors are clean. You wish you could see Mazda doors like this. Holy shit, I have to save it now. Oh my god, I never miss. That was terrifying. We're fine. Uh, We'll go here. I think I'm going to try to dupe a little bit more here. Just so I feel cozy on wings, you know what I'm saying? And I think I really want to figure out the thing that Aragorn was talking about. Where I could like drop smuggle a bow. Because I want to be able to use my bow to shoot the enemies. It's always like where I die, you know? That fan enemy area. Pyroblox. Damn, you click fast. 
Uh, wait, when did I click fast? I feel like I click fast when I'm menuing, but not then. For the Maz doors? I am confident, Toast. I feel pretty confident. I really do. I can. I feel confident about every run. I feel like every run could be the run, you know? Well, I mean, that is true. In essence, every run could be the run if I just don't make mistakes. Think of it that way. If I'm just good at the game and I don't screw up ever, I can make this the run. That's how I gotta look at it. So even though this run already has mistakes in it, it's fine. I just gotta play- I just gotta play really well. And I can do that. I'm capable of that. I'm good at this game. I know I can do it. But will I do it? Yes. Of course. When I'm dumping wings, I click fast. Oh, for the- for the duping. Yeah, no, I guess that makes sense. I'm actually not that fast of a button master, though. I think if you'd be you surprised. If you simply get good, you can do this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's make sure we don't put it over top of our stuff. Like I just did. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So one thing I want to be really careful about is not breaking this shield. That's really important to me. This shield is our savior because it duplicates items for us. Without this shield, we can't duplicate our apples. Without duplicating apples, uh, our life sucks because we're going to die in the cold. And it's going to make that section a lot harder. So, let's actually do some apples and stuff right now. Just so we have it there. Actually, I can do multiple in one. Yeah, that was good. See, I duped three in one, so that only used one seal durability, and I got a bunch of dupes off of it. So I should be going for those. Do I trust this? I trust this. I think I trust this. Let's go. He's cheating. <laughs> I'm not. You don't feel confident, Doctor? I do. I'll feel confident for you. How about that? I trust that this is it. Come on, come on. Good landing. Okay. We still kind of have a really shitty way to go about killing this guy. But I think it's alright. Like, I think it, it works. What we do works. It's just, we gotta take it slow and not be stupid. Don't be cocky. Stay on the center of our wing and use charged heavies. And don't go for normal swipes because they're gonna pull Link into him. They're gonna pull him into the grounds. Wait, that didn't give me the- Okay, there's the arrow. I'm okay with grabbing like one or two arrows just for having it. But I'll just dodge the rest of them. Never mind. <laughs> to eat some apples. Try to stay always at full HP, honestly. No! No! <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. He sniped me. He sniped me though, he's crazy with the aim! Bro has aimbot! Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Well, we get more- we get more attempts. <laughs> this is the attempt, guys. This is the attempt. Yeah, I had an aimbot. <laughs> Alright, I didn't even want that run to be it, honestly. Oh wait, I said I was gonna practice. I forgot to practice the chest. 
There's gotta be a better way to go about getting that chest. Bro, put the eye in aim bot. Delete, delete, delete. Why is it force me to like wait, bro? Just let me go. Let me delete this stuff. I'm trying to speed run this stuff. If I get that first chest without getting the autosave, I'm like so set. That's the thing about it is like, imagine this, like I get first chest without autosave and then I also get past, if I get battery with only two autosaves, I'm like so set for the rest of the run. I'd be so set. That's all I have to do. It's not that bad. I know I can do that. I know I can do that tonight. I know I can. Cause we've we've basically like done all the steps. We've just <laughs> we've done all the steps. We've just done mistakes. <laughs> We're right there though. We basically already did it. I really think once we get gas, it's gonna be really cool. Cause like we're gonna be able to walk on the ground again, and that's gonna really change up the I guess the vibes. Do you think this will go to 2 a.m.? I don't think so, Toast. I don't think so. What's gas? It stands for guardless active shield. The reason it's called that is because when you're guarding with the shield, a zoning device becomes active, right? The point of guardless is to have a zoning device active when you're not guarding. Effectively meaning that no matter what state you're in, uh, it'll be activated. But the way I think of gas is just like, it's it's always on. Like, it's always on, you know? It's just like a zone device is permanently on. And I'm not sure why it is, but for whatever reason, if you have a zone device that's always on and like, Link's holding it, or I guess he's zuggled. Uh, if I zuggle that gassed weapon, then the game can't like figure out where Link's position is. And for this, that's the same thing with wings. Like when I'm standing on a wing, the game is not going to autosave because it doesn't know where Link is because I'm standing on a wing instead of the ground. So when I have gas, imagine gas is like I'm always standing on a wing, basically. And that's really effective, or I guess that's really important, I should say, for like everything else, because doing the whole Great Sky Island with only wings uh, is impossible, especially with, inside the shrines and stuff. Like, we will get too many autosaves just by going in four shrines. Because you think about it, uh, we get two forced autosaves, like one right now, and then we get one later on. I'm just going to go over here and see if I get the autosave. Hopefully we don't. Okay, we already did. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, we get two forced autosaves, and then plus the four autosaves from shrines, that's already too many. So we need to set up gas first. Otherwise, I'd get like Ultra Hand or something. But no, we gotta get gas. Does that make sense? Does that help? I know it's confusing. Unfortunately, this whole challenge run as a whole and kind of the other videos are just naturally very glitch intensive and very confusing things. And. You know, I get that people would be skeptical. I understand when people. Uh, Ozio was mentioning, like, bro, you didn't show all the shrines. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't really want to show all the shrines. Like, it's so many shrines to show. Like, I kind of just... I guess I do expect people to trust, but I also tried to... At least in the beginning of this stream, I did kind of give proof. But yeah, there's also VODs. I'm not air racking it. <laughs> I'm not air racking it. If anyone understands that reference, goaded. My kind of rule set for it is that obviously I'm allowed to use alt saves. It's attempt 14. Oh yeah, thank you. I'll attempt- I'll fix it in a second. Do, 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 do. Thank you for the follow, Chase. Appreciate it. Come on, give me the clip. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'll change it in a second, guys. One second. I'm going to change it now. Attempt. 
14. Okay, I still want to see this run over to Zelda, so I hope I don't get a second autosave. Why not use delete save data from data management in settings instead of having to remake the users over and over? Data management? How do I, where's data management? Where do I get there, doge? Please help me. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. How do people even discover the first ceiling clip? It feels really random. It was actually Timber. Uh, wait, did I just get another autosave? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh uh, yeah, Timber... I don't know how he found it, but I'm guessing he just... Oh, you know what it was? Okay, I actually know the full story. I just remembered exactly what it was. So, there's another guy I know. His name's Sirius. This is not the Sirius that you guys probably think I'm thinking of, if you're like an, uh, a normal viewer. This is not lovely Sirius. This is a guy named Sirius Challenges. He's a German streamer. Uh, one day, he was climbing around in a cave, I think, and accidentally clipped through the through the ceiling, which was crazy because imagine like uh, he didn't mean to do that. I don't think he just like he was climbing and it just clipped him through the ceiling. And it's like, wait a second, you can clip out of bounds just by climbing, and that was like a big deal okay this is we're gonna have to wait a little bit that was like a big deal because like wait a second dude if we can just clip by only like climbing then maybe we could do this an intro uh and i think they tried it for a little bit but it was never like found and then timber did so much time on it and spent ages and realized oh my god yeah we could clip out and then he also figured out a route of how to not only clip out but get back in uh because effectively at first he thought it was useless because there's this massive, uh, this massive cutscene trigger that you have to like get over, and you have to get over it by doing a Mazdor jump backwards. So it's pretty tough, but you know they, they worked on it, and now it saves like a minute. But at first, it was only gonna save like 15 seconds or whatever. Arachnid. Also, what happened to using the save backups thing? I decided against it, actually. So what Arachnid's talking about is, I initially thought that, I mean, I can make save backups, which would actually prevent the whole autosave problem, but in the spirit of the challenge, I wanted to not do that. Because I can back up the game, at, like, every so often, after every, like, hard trick, or before every hard trick, I suppose, and then it would make it kind of free. But at that point, I think it's, like, like, I want it to be tough, in a way, you know? And also, I want to show that it's possible without, uh, I mean, I have a modded Switch, and that's the reason I can back these up. Like, if you have a normal Nintendo Switch, you are not able to back it up, unfortunately. You cannot back up your save data. So I want to do it one clean run-through, no mistakes, no backups, just perfect movement, perfect everything. And if it works out and everything goes well, then, hey, maybe I'll make a video about it. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see. We'll see. I don't I don't want to trump, uh, I guess trump's not the word, but I don't, I don't want to make a video about it if Timber's making a video about it too. Because I don't want to do the same shit. But I would hope that this video would be more focused on, like, the journey of doing it and more, like, centered around Papunke. Whereas Timber's is more of, like, a explaining how this is all possible, how I made the route, etc, etc. I didn't make this route. This is not my route. This is Timber's route. Timber and Arachnids, or Timber and Aragles. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided. I wish we could back up our save data normally. Yeah. I mean, if we could back up our save data normally, I think I would do that. But I think, I think, yeah, the way that it is now, it would feel kind of weird if I had this really, really hard challenge and I can break it by backing it up. That being said, I have made backups in the past for my challenge runs, uh, even including the Shrines video. So I kind of am setting a double standard here, but the backups I've set in the past were kind of more of like a, you know, I want to make sure I have the backup in case things go wrong somewhere. Like, I, I, it was made for like a different purpose, really. Because the problem with that is if, like, let's say I get 120 shrines done, and then I accidentally lose, <laughs> I accidentally lose my clean save, which has actually happened before, uh, then 
Yeah, it, it would be terrible. I mean, I'd have to redo like 60 shrines or whatever to get back. So I kind of am, I'm okay with it in different points. It wasn't made for the purposes of cheesing the challenge. It was more, yeah, exactly. It was a precautionary thing. Like I would end the stream and I would make a backup save. This is like, okay, we got the save, you know. And also people like ask for the save and stuff from the data mining team. This cutscene's so dramatic, but we always glance over how much we see it. Yeah, I've seen this cutscene a bajillion times, bro. I, I honestly, it doesn't phase me anymore. My, I kind of zone out when I watch this cutscene. I only got 210 points left. I don't think I'm going to be doing many more TTS. No worries, no worries. All right, this is the run, this is the run. Cheers to the run, folks. I want to share a good video. Serious, could you... Actually, I won't do this now. I kind of want to figure out why video share doesn't work. Because I have... I had the source. Are you able to send me the link for, like, the source I'm supposed to put in? Because I wonder if it's, like, the wrong link now. Or is that something only I can get? Or maybe you can send me the link of where I could get it. Send me the link of where I could get my link. <laughs> Do, 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 do. It's a YouTube link. Yeah, I'm saying there's like a channel points reward where you can send me a YouTube video to watch on my stream and it plays. So we can all watch whatever you want me to show or whatever you want to show me. But right now it's not working, so it's not something we can do. But I'm seeing if maybe we could get it working. Maybe. Way too far left. Not Walter White SM Orc SM Orc. Nice. I'll take a third try. How many attempts do you think this will take? How many attempts? Ooh. I feel like we're getting close. I want to say in the next five we're going to get it. I would say before 20. Yo, thank you for the follow, Rango. Appreciate it. Good RNG, good RNG, good RNG. I would say love to see it. I see what you did there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Holy shit. I'm about to get 100% RNG right here. I've gone every single branch so far. This is the real any percent run. Every branch percent. Bro! Am I actually going to get all branches? Give it to me. Oh! One more! Yo, we actually, <laughs> holy shit, we got, we got eight branches. What are the chances of that? A 50-50 eight times in a row? That's got to be hella unlucky. I mean, hella lucky. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, all branch percent. A 50-50. That's, that's like getting heads eight times in a row if you were to coin flips. That's got to be like crazy low odds, right? Before I do this, uh, before I do this chest thing, I want to watch someone else do it, because I'm trying to figure out what exactly they do to stay on the chest so well. Mr. Timber. Okay, I think... Okay, I kind of, I, th I think I have an idea. So, we want to open it, like, I don't like this, to be honest. I'm not super happy with this.
Dude, it spawns so far away, like, every time. Let me actually practice it, just while I have the autosave already made. Because I always miss this one. I always miss this one, bro. It's getting on my nerves, man. How do you open a chest without... Oh, I can't practice it because it's already open. Yeah, I think that's the main issue is like, look at what happens to the chest. So I'm standing on the very back of it. And then when I open it, it like leans more back. So what Timber does in his video is he like spawns a wing uh, immediately as he's like walking into the chest and it spawns right in front of the chest and then he jumps onto it. Now, I've done this once. I did it once, but it seems like it's almost luck. I don't know. I don't know how to get a consistent. Link does not want to stay on that chest. He really doesn't, does he? It might help if you don't walk off of it. Like you mean stand still? Thanks for the follow, e uh, Egg. Egg boy. Egg boy wanted to thank you follow. If I don't walk off of it, I'm gonna- or if I don't walk forward, I fall off, basically. So that's- that's the tricky part, is I have to be moving forward. If I stand still, I instantly fall off, because basically, the chest is like- it, it- it makes Link slide off of it, naturally. So I have to hold forward and not slide, and I have to place a wing in a location that's like not gonna screw me over. One in ten from fifteen. Oh, we'll be we'll do it in this attempt, okay? How about that, guys? Sound like a deal? <laughs> Ooh, that's not looking good. Yep, that's not great. <laughs> it's fine though. We didn't get an auto save. Yo, thanks for the follow, Frosty. My brain just wandered. Why you couldn't deploy the wing before opening the chest? It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Hear me out. What if we place the wing before we get the wing chest? That way we're standing on the wing while we're opening the chest. That's that's some that's some genius. Damn, so many follows, guys. Thank you. Captain Captain Oh, Captain Cook. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Anyway. How do you stay awake so long without getting drowsy? Uh, caffeine. Coffee. Will we gamble anymore after this? Asking so I know if I could waste my channel points on TTS. It's up to Sirius. We could, we could do a one if we do it in 20 attempts. I hope I can do it tonight, but I will make the deal track that if I can't do it tonight, I'll stream again tomorrow, all right? We'll do another stream tomorrow, and we'll be back at it. Back at the corrupted save percent. Not that it's a speedrun, but I'm not doing a prediction that'll take multiple hours to pay out. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would take too long. I don't know. You come up with the predictions. Thank you, fan. This is Walter White, SM Walk, SM Walk. Thanks for the follow, pan. I'm kind of low on these. But it's alright. It'll work. No, I never even... You know what? I blame the menuing system. <laughs> you wanna know why? Because when you hold up on the D-pad, there's such a long delay before the actual wing menu pops up, all right? Listen, hear me out, hear me out. I hold up on the D-pad, wing menu pops out. I'm a little bit too high. I'm a, I'm a tad too high, right? So I wanna close the menu and then reopen it like a frame later. 
problem is I can't just like tap it, untap it, or I guess tap and tap, untap, tap. I can't double tap. You know what I'm saying? I have to like wait for it to close the menu and then reopen the menu. And it's like, it's weird. It's weird because it's such a long delay for it to like close the menu. The menuing so slow in this game is what I'm getting at. And I'm blaming all my problems on this game. It's not my skill at all. It's not me. It's the game. 100% the game's fault. Wait, serious. Send me a DM if you know where I can get the, uh... If you know where I can get the thing. The... What am I talking about? The YouTube thing. Like, you know the YouTube chat thing that they can send me a YouTube video and I can watch it? Do you know where I can get that? Because I want to try re-putting it into my stream. Like, it's already in, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it's, like, not the right link or something. Because I don't know why it wouldn't be working otherwise. I feel like it was working earlier today. Thank you for DMing it. Okay, that works, that works. Ooh, does that work? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me dupe the wings before I forget. Nice. I think 40 is like a nice number. I think 40... Actually, I know a better number. Let me cook, chat. Let me cook. I know a good number for this. Oh shit, I missed it. Hold on. Hold the phone. There we go. Now we have the correct amount of wings. Do you want me to send you the, the video via Discord? Nah, I'll, I'll get the sound alerts thing fixed. Wait, so serious, is that the link for what I put into OBS? Or is that, like, the... Okay, it is the link that I send to OBS. It totally is. Am I not on the wing? Why am I not on the wing? All oh right, boy. To go to bed now, but good luck on the stream. Hope you do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, we might have to do a frame perfect backflip here. Because <laughs> it looks like I'm not on the wing. Which is not great. Before I do this, I just want to check browser sources. Um, video. Sound alerts. Let me add this again. Uh, video share. Okay, I'm gonna do it like here. Okay, cool. It works now. So now you guys should be able to send in uh, video shares. Oh my god, I'm not even close, bro. <laughs> Everyone collectively inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. We keep holding until until I make a new user.
<laughs> Ex in inhale, inhale, inhale. Breathe. Breathe. Don't die, please. Damn, I didn't expect the rock to come out of nowhere. Bro, I love how, like, the picture of the YouTube video is, like, Link, but as an ax- Like, it looks like Zeus, bro. <laughs> it's like an absolute Chad Link. It's an absolute god. I've lost so much money from gambling, should I just stop at this point? Gamba Addict? Gamba Addict in the chat? Hey, I feel it, though. I feel you, dude. Drink the water. Uh, give me a second. Cheers. Thank you for the water break. Oh, we take those. I'm just gonna send it. I'm gonna send it. Watch this. Why did I send that? I was so unnecessary. I wasn't even close. Like, that was so far off. It was unbelievable. You know, I tried though. That's what matters. Did I get an autosave? We did not. The good news is, on the next chest open, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, chat, I'm not messing it up this time. All right? Next chest open. I'm gonna go from the chest, from the top of the chest, in a perfect, glorious, beautiful jump. I'm going to jump off the tip of the chest, forwards, spiraling forward, with a wing placed just in front of me. And as it spawns in, as it fades into my world and it starts to exist, as the birth of that wing hits the, has, hits the ground, will be jump slashing Link's body into it, and I will land on it. And I won't even touch the ground. I'm not even gonna come close to the ground. Ground two? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that was a little tight. You heard of the man? Do we have a prediction if I'm gonna get it? Guys, please don't vote it. <laughs> Oh God. Why do I keep doing it? Why do I keep doing it? <laughs> I'm falling off. I'm I actually am falling off. I'm not even capping. I've been doing worse and worse each attempt. I think my attempts have like they've gone like this. I got that perfect like um sinus graph, sinus rhythm. No, that's heart, isn't it? Um Got that wave graph. But now I'm gonna swipe back up. You know what I'm saying? Like we're at the bottom right now because we failed at pure pad. We've got nowhere to go but up. Bell curve? That's what I'm thinking of. We got a smart person in chat. We got that we found the nerds. Ban them. Ban all the nerds. I'm just kidding. Whoa! 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 We're fine. How did you get to Temple of Time, but now fail here? I know, I know. <laughs> Don't make me sad, you're gonna make me sad. We were gamers once. What is that? It's Ganon. It's Ganny. It's my boy, it's my boy. My boy. How are you doing, Ganon? Huh? What could this thingy be? Clearly not a tier of the kingdom, Link. He redeemed it? Does it not show up? Wait, are you saying it? Is it not working serious? Or are you saying he's just like in the process of trying to redeem something? No, he's Ganoning everywhere. Bro is Ganoning all over the place. You hate to see it. 
It's working, he just broke. Oh, got it. <laughs> Sirius is definitely the richest out of everyone. I think Sirius is probably twice as rich as the richest person here. If you if you think you're rich in channel points, I'm curious uh, what you have. Because Sirius can probably like quadruple that shit. Bro like always lurks. That is the meta. I mean, you guys want to know the meta if you want to gain channel points on my on my stream. I know normally I don't. Or, uh, right now I don't have a lot of channel rewards, but generally I do. I have some of them turned off today. But if you want to get a lot of them quickly, the strat is obviously watch on Twitch. YouTube doesn't give you any. That's first of all. Second of all is download Seven TV, especially if you're watching on your computer, because Seven TV will automatically collect, uh, like. I guess there's like little bubbles that you click on, and when you click on them, they give you channel points rewards. And that gives you a shit ton. Like, that gives you more than what you get from watching the stream. So that's two. Three, you get a bonus multiplier when you sub to the stream, either with Prime or just normally. So, I think it's like a 1.5x multiplier for just watching. Uh, and you also get emotes and shit like that, which is a cool bonus. And what other strats are there? What am I missing, Sirius? Oh, predictions, obviously. Uh, if there's a prediction and you, like, know the answer, bet a shit ton on. Actually, that's terrible advice. <laughs> that's terrible advice. You gain 50k from this stream? Oh my god, Penguin. Wait, was it from the... It must have been from a prediction. You must have bet a shit ton on a prediction. You know, I'll be, I'll be so real, chat. As getting late, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, you guys are the real ones. You guys are the real ones, the ones that have stuck around this long. I'm going to tell you the dirty truth, and I hate to say it, but if there's a prediction that's like, will burritos do this in X time, I always, I always overestimate my predictions. I'm always like, oh, like I could probably do this in attempt 10, and I always like don't consider how freaking difficult things are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not saying to vote against me. If you want to get rich, you should probably vote against me. All right. Um. All right. Uh, I said it. I won't say it again. That's that's my secret like life hack. If you want to get rich, that's my get rich quick scheme. I I would not bet money on myself. I'm I'm a confident person too. Like I I would, I would put money into me winning things, but I just don't win things. Like I know from Following previous examples, area. I never am right. I'm never right. I don't. I don't win those, bro. Section. There is an option to delete save data. Uh, turn up sound alerts and also. Oh, I was wondering where that was coming from. Yeah, I'll turn it up. Is that good? I'm not saying vote against me. It tells us to vote against him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, take it as what you will. But I'm just saying, like, from past experience, the odds of me actually saying something that I'm going to do and then getting it in that amount of tries has generally not gone well for me. <laughs> but the thing is, like, eventually there will be a poll where I do win it, you know? Like, eventually it's going to be like, will he do it? And I have to eventually do it. I always eventually do it. I always get there. So you got to be smart about which one is it actually going to be. You got to be a smart viewer because I'm always like, oh, this is the run. This is the run. Bro, this is the run. This is going to be the one. You got to use your mega brain and you got to be like, hmm, is it actually the run? Based on what I've seen in his streams, he's only gotten 15% through the game. And I don't think that's enough. Like, you got to be, you got to be wise. You gotta think, like, crazy thoughts. Do all the math, you know? Like, be the guy with all the spreadsheets and the numbers. Do all the calculations. Can you say, uh, thy salt not harm thy tuna? You taking, like, Shakespeare or something? What did I just hear? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, what does that mean? Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. That's so sad, actually. Were people in that car? I hope people weren't in that car. No, right? Nobody was in that car, right? All right. I'm not messing this up. 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 I'm locking it. I'm locking in. I'm already done. Dude, it's crazy! It's crazy! What? How do you do it? How the hell do you do it? I want to go back and watch the, like, the VOD of, like, how I did that one time. I did tell, I did tell someone to clip it. I hope someone clipped it. I really hope someone clipped that. Because I want to, I want to go back and see what I did. Oh, I, I was gaming on that run, dude. I had such a crazy run, and now I'm, I'm like washed nowadays. But now I'm gonna come back. To be fair, every single run except one has had that happen. So this is not like unusual. It just feels internally like, ah, oh, we're starting the runoff with a fail. You know, it feels like I'm starting the runoff with, uh, uh yikes. It doesn't mean it's impossible. We still actually have one fail left, you know? Here's how I see it. We've got one place left to fail, and I'm saving that for the frame perfect backflip. You know? Because the frame perfect backflip, I swear it's RNG. Like, a lot of things have to go right for that to work. So I would like to basically do everything perfect up to fuse. Um, which, you know, we, we haven't done that quite yet, but you know, this is the one. I'm telling you that this is the one. Have you made it off GSI yet? Uh, no. Actually, if I make it off GSI... I'm like 90% sure that it's going to be a done deal. So if you see me off of GSI, either I already did it and I'm playing around most likely, or I'm about to do it. If I get off GSI, like that is the hard part. You know, GSI is the tough part. Basically, once I get off GSI, I got to go grab a memory, uh, open Papanke, and that's like practically it, you know? The hard part is the beginning, not the end. And that's why I keep saying it's like, oh, guys, we're closer than we realize. I think it's like if we get gas, we're going to be chilling. I'm excited. Me too. I am really excited. I've been super hyped for this stream for a while. And I got to say, for me personally, it's been living up to the hype, dude. I've been having a lot of fun with this. It is genuinely a lot of fun. I hope we can pull it off tonight. Let's see. This is the one so clearly. I mean, look, I'm on the wing. I do be on the wing, though. I do kind of be chilling on the wing. <laughs> do, do, do. Has anyone played Odyssey in the chat? Do you guys like Mario Odyssey? Anyone recognize this track? <laughs> this is one of my favorite tracks from Odyssey. Odyssey's so good. Yes, Arachnid's an Odyssey player. Let's go. This is really a big moment in 2 history. Wait, who said it? Who said it? <laughs> Alright, we go for the knees. We go for the knees. No more goofy mistakes. 
No more screw ups. Just gaming. I want someone to name this track if they know it. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss. It's fine. Yeah, we got it. I felt so uncontrolled at the end there. I did grab the apples, right? I hope I did. I did. Oh! Oh! I'm so... I have an idea, guys. I dupe the, the construct horns, and that way I can throw these to kill the enemies at the ice area. I got it solved. It's a, sol it's a solved game. I got it. I got it. This is the run. This is the run. This is the run. I have to head to bed, but good night, burrito man. Good luck. I Thank you. Thanks so much, man. You. I really appreciate it, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. Have a good night. That's a lot of apples. And I gotta need them though. You know, I feel like we're gonna take a lot of damage. I'm predicting. I'm trying to be ready in the future. We should be fine on this wing. We should definitely be on this. It's so wild how this challenge is only key items, and yet you're doing all the setup using much more than key items. Am I not on a wing? What? Where am I? Am I in the wing? No autosave. No autosave. Okay. In. Fine. We're fine, guys. We're having fun. Everything's going well. No problems here. Problems? What you talking about? Scared? Not me. I'm pretty sure this is the run. Dude, of course it's the run. 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 What are you talking about? It's the run, bro. I'm telling you it's the run. <laughs> Is the run? This uh, this wing is. <laughs> I don't want to get off of this wing really badly. <laughs> Can I please spawn? Oh, I don't love I don't love that spot. Can it be a little closer, please? No. I think it's steady, steady. Thank you very much. This is the run I believe also the attempts counter is 15 now lol. We send these? Uh, you're right. It is 15. Thank you for the heads up. Um, 15, 15, 15. Well, that was an experience. We're, we made it out of there. We made it out of there. Can you spawn closer? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm turning the music off. I'm, it's time to lock in, guys. It's time to lock in. This is a good run. I only have three auto saves, right? I only have three auto saves. I do. Okay. We gotta lock in. We gotta lock in and not die here. And not touch the grounds. Not be silly. Yeah. Back to what somebody said a while back. Um, it is kind of funny that like in order to uh to beat the final shrine with no key items, or without any regular items, I should say, we have to get a bunch of items. It is kind of ironic. Somebody did have a really interesting challenge that I thought was cool. Uh, it was CTV, 
which was basically my challenge, but gli or not glitches, I'm sorry. My challenge, except no alt saves, which changes everything because, oh my god, please stop. Uh, with no alt saves, and then you had to pick up the Cade Master Sword. Because with no alt saves, you can't skip the first room. But I th think he's gonna make a video about it. Dude, if that hit me, I would have died there. Or I would have lost- I got an- I would have got an autosave. Wow, how did you miss that? I was point blank, bro. I was point blank. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> what was going on there? I'm gonna throw this, honestly. I'm okay with this. I want to get him down. Oh my god, you're still up? I have exactly enough weapons, so I don't want to use any more. Um, shit. Alright, I have a plan. I have a plan. They're just gonna give us a stick. No! Oh! That's fine. Wait, I have the freaking things. Bro, what am I thinking? Ah. Uh, really? There we go. Jeez, that was a terrifying fight. <laughs> I never want to do that again. Hopefully this is the last run. This is definitely going to be the last run, right? Right? Kind of an awkward spot for his stuff to land, though. It's like, on the hill. Like, that is a terrible spot. This is the one. Yo, Zelda! I mean, there's a place in Hyrule. Oh, it went away. Moist. Moist blub. What's going on, Moist? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I'm trying to do... I don't know if you saw my video, Moist. I'm trying to do the final shrine itemless. And by itemless, I mean with all the items. <laughs> uh, no, it's, we're going to corrupt a save, and then that save is going to have no items, basically. But that is like the the casual thing that everyone says. Like, oh, wait, you got you got everything, bro. What do you mean, itemless? Everyone's a little detective when they pop in. They're like, wait a second, something's not right about this. Okay, guys, this is actually a terrible situation. <laughs> um, the, that bow could not have landed in a worse spot. I honestly believe that. <laughs> I feel like it could have landed in the depths and I would have been more happy with it. it. That bow could have landed in the Ganondorf boss fight and I would have been happier with the landing. Would that work? If I like edge the wing. That came out wrong. Oh. Tilt. 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 It's so close. It's so close. Uh, yeah, so Moist, basically, I have to beat the Great Scott Island with only four autosaves in order to corrupt a save and then load into a shrine on that corrupted save. It's like... Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh? That's going to be the one, right? Yeah. I honestly missed a lot of the shrine streams, etc. So I didn't have context. Uh, I made a video about it, Zelda. I don't know if you saw it. But it should give you the context you need. Okay, so we unequip this. How many arrows? Okay, we have enough arrows. We equip this, we drop this, we drop this, we drop this, we equip that, we buffer, we pick up these things, we drop this, we drop this, we drop this, we do equip that, we buffer. I freaking suck at buffering. Drop that, drop that. 
Equip that buffer, drop that. It seems like I'm gaming, and meanwhile, I've like failed like five of these. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about um, this trick is like, you have you probably have no idea if I'm doing it right or not. Uh, is this working? Uh, most of them are. Basically, to describe uh, if it's working or not, here's how it works. Here's how it works. You want to know the truth? So here's here's what's going on behind the scenes. Let me give you the debrief. What is the impossible shrine? It's Papunke. I'll get in that in a second. Basically, I have four weapons. This one is equipped. So I pause my game while this one's equipped. I drop the first one. I drop the second one. I drop the equipped one. I equip a new one, I pause immediately, or I unpause immediately, pause again in one frame, then I drop the equipped one again, and since I'm dropping so many items at one moment, and I'm causing this frame buffer between pauses, uh, it's like causing the game to juggle equipment. So if you remember what juggling is, it's the glitch that kind of like glues things in my hand. So if I, if I click B and Y, you see like now I have it on my back and my hands. You know, that's juggling. Um, what we're trying to do with juggling is get overloaded, which I believe we're close to getting. And juggle overload leads to more glitches. So now we're overloaded. The reason I know we're overloaded is because instead of the weapon getting glued into Link's hand, it actually dropped on the floor. So juggling also is a duplication glitch because it's gluing a kind of a copycat version into my hand, right? And now, now it's... There's so many copycats of sticks in my hands that it's like, all right, bro, there's too many of them here. We got to put them on the floor now. So now it starts dropping them, which means we're we're overloaded. We're zuggle overloaded. So now we drop this. We drop this. We drop this. We do it one more time, basically. I messed that one up. So that one works. We do it one more time. And then this time, as soon as we unpause, we switch bows quickly. And since I did it really quick... The bow gets on the floor, but I've got a fake bow in my hands. What does the fake bow do? Uh, let me cook. Hold on. Wait, what? Why is it not working? Uh, serious? Help. Why is it not working? Okay, so that breaks it. Let's re-equip this. Let's unequip this again. I like Santa's course and gets a refer Oh, Star Wars reference. I know that one. Oh, wait. Serious, what the hell? Why is it? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I have arrows. Sirius is here. Is he here? Wait, Sirius, are you here? Help me, help me, help me, help me. I'm getting scared. I did everything right. I did everything right. I swear. I did everything right. I, I did it right. I don't know. I did it. Well, why is it not working? Drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop, switch shields. 
I have, I have fake, I have, look, I have fake bow, I have fake bow. Uh, maybe too many things on screen. I haven't thought about that. I don't see why it would matter. Oh, it works. I didn't do anything different. I didn't do anything different. But cool. Uh, that's all we care about, really. I put your stream on, and now I'm getting tired, but I don't want to stop watching. This situation is amazing. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot more interesting once I get over there. Alright, let's not mess this up, chat. We're on a good run. We probably should heal. Let me do that now. So, just to reiterate, if you don't know what's going on or you know, you're kind of new, we are going to arrow flight vertically. This is a glitch called arrow flight. Basically allows Link to fly vertically upwards. And we're going to spawn a wing while we're up here and glide onto it. If all things go well, we'll land on the wing and we'll start gliding towards uh, the constructs over there. If we kill three of them and we don't die to cold, we want to place wings around the fan chest and open it to get fans. And hopefully, hopefully we can get to fuse without getting one more autosave. If all goes well, this could be the run. This really could be the run. We have to pray that we don't die here. Are we going to be streaming tomorrow? Probably, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely stream on Twitch. I'll 100% stream on Twitch tomorrow. Alright, this is high enough. No! It's okay. Okay. You can always come back and watch the VODs too. I'm gonna leave the VOD up for this one. If you're interested. Yo, thanks for the follow. Oh yes, yeah, some pun pun. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Wait, what's going on? Why is it not working? This would work, this will work. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we have a lot of things to think about. Uh, first of all, let's dupe on here. Thank you for the follow, uh, player ton. Just dupe our shit on here. I appreciate that, player ton. Thank you so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't lose height, don't lose height, don't lose height. Okay, we're gonna be using these things to kill the constructs over there. I think one more would make it nice. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. Let's get a little bit more apples, just in case. Alright, here's the plan. Here's the game plan. We're gonna crash into one, kill one, maybe even two if we get lucky. We want to immediately uh, start throwing our construct horns at them to stun them. And if we see that one's about to shoot us, we pull out our shield and we block. Alright, let's go. Okay. Plan. Get stunned. Don't shoot me! Come on, we gotta just- we gotta just kill him. Ooh. Bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Okay, let's heal, let's heal. Okay, we just stun lock, stun lock, stun lock. Stun locked, stun locked. Nice, nice. Okay. No auto saves, right? No auto saves. Beautiful. Only three auto saves so far. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath, but not too deep because we still gotta get out of here. Thanks for the follow foam foam. I appreciate that. Let's grab a few more arrows while we're here. Uh maybe even some ice fruits. Okay. Now it's time to get the fans. Guys, thank you so much for all the followers today. I really appreciate that. To keep eating so we stay on top of things.
Oh god, it's on top of it? That's a really bad spot for a wing. That's a terrible spot for a wing, bro. I did not mean to put it on top. Okay, wait. We kind of fixed it a little bit. I need to, like, get one in that area. I need to get one, like, right here. Further back, further back. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. That's not it. No. What? Why are you kidding me? Why? If key items includes runes, why aren't you using them? How did the it's how did the fan like I'm asking the question why use Oh my god, it's because you can try and do it right. I understand it. I understand it, but it sucks. It's because um I had too many objects on the ground. And I can't I have freaking Oh wait! Oh equip a bow. It's over. <clears throat> and then get the follow champion. Wait, I'm not. It's not over yet. Oh, it just auto saved again, didn't it? No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Okay. Oh, this stinks. This stinks. This is tough. This is really tough. Um. There's only one way I know how to get out of this for sure, and that's to set everything up again. So let's do this. Let's equip this. Let's drop it. Drop all our shit. Can we attack now? I'm gonna trust that we can. We can. Okay, as far as I believe, this run is in rough shape, but if I do a frame perfect backflip, I can save it. To kind of re-explain what just happened there, I was trying to dupe apples on my wing so that I would have more food to eat because I was dying of cold. And as I was duping the apples, so many apples spawned on the ground. I duped too many effectively that it deloaded the wing under my feet. So that gave me an autosave, unfortunately. If key items include runes, why aren't you using them? I don't have any. I can use runes, but I can't- I don't have any runes. Look at my- look at my key item list. I got energy cell and pure pad. I got jack shit, bro. Um, also, the key items thing- Yo, thanks for the follow, Nathan. The key items thing doesn't in imply it for the save. This save is a setup save. This is the setup save for, uh, the actual key item save. So, we have to reset up Aero Smuggle now. So, drop, 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 equip, pause buffer, drop. That's one. That's two. Oh yeah, this might be the room. Is this the farthest we've gotten? Uh, kind of. We've gotten to this point before. Like, we we were in this exact position before. Where it's theoretically possible if we save it by doing a frame-perfect backflip to avoid an autosave. But in the last run that this happened, we did not get the frame-perfect autosave, and that's where the run died. Basically, it's- it's very tough to get that. What is your favorite book? Uh, to be honest, I have a bad habit of not yeah, reading, no, so I, I can't really confused. answer that. Can you explain the field trip version in under 40 seconds so I don't piss anyone off? Yeah, uh, basically, Tim Blessed. 
this wrong. There's been a wrong warp that's been discovered. I believe it was found through save editing, but it's like it basically they found out that it's possible to wrong warp into a shrine that you've never been in uh, by basically not having an autosave slot filled in. Now, initially, this was just like, okay, cool thing, but how are we gonna, um, like, it's not really useful. All, they would only be able to do it for save editing. It was like a neat quirk of save editing, but eventually someone realized, oh my god, we can corrupt a save by going to a memory location, getting a memory, or not going to memory location, you do need a memory for it, so you do need to get a memory, uh, but basically it works like you, while you're drowning, you want some memory as you're dying, and then that causes uh, a glitch to occur where you can manual save in the drowning screen. So you know how it says game over and you die? Imagine that you're able to save in that screen. That's what happens. And when you save in that screen, there's no gameplay going on, right? So the game doesn't even know what to save. It's like, so basically what it does is when you make a manual save in that screen, it makes a manual save with absolutely nothing tied to it. Absolutely nothing. No key items, no completion of DSI, literally nothing. Like, it's a completely empty save file. It just creates a manual save, because you made a manual save, so the game's like, okay, I guess I got a manual save, but I have no information. All I see is the game over screen. So it makes a manual save that's corrupted, basically, but you can still load it. And when you load it, the game's like, wait, there's no location tied to the save. Where the hell do I put you, you know? It doesn't know if you're in Great Scott Island, or if you're in the beginning of the game. It probably should just load you to the beginning of the game, but it does something really weird. Instead of loading you to the beginning of the game, which it probably should do, since it's like a broken save, it actually checks the autosave beneath it. So if we get into Punke on an autosave, and that's the autosave right underneath it, It'll be like, okay, let's use this shrine coordinate, or let's use these coordinates to load to. And it will load us into that shrine. Does that make sense? That's my interpretation of what's going on. Uh, Arachnid seems to have just put a much more in-depth thing of what's going on that's way smarter. Okay, nice, we got it. <clears throat> by advancing frames while you die by drowning and then saving, you can create a corrupt save, but I'll read that in a second. I'll focus. <laughs> I am about to defuse. Okay. This backflip is very important. Basically, when I activate this button right here, the wing underneath me is going to go bye-bye, which means we're going to be standing on the ground. And standing on the ground, big no-no, big bad. We don't like standing on the ground. Standing on the ground is ugly. It's nasty down there. I don't want to touch the ground. Floor is lava type shit, right? So what we want to do is hit it and on the first frame we want to spam backflip so that we backflip onto the wing behind us. Okay. Rage. Rage, Prage, 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 Prage. Also, Arachnid, thanks for putting that out there. I appreciate you doing that. Okay, we pray, we pray, we pray. Come on. Dang it, we missed it. And is that all our saves? So, that is not all of our saves, but here's the problemo. Here's the problemo. If we were to go in the shrine now, we get another autosave. This is exactly where we were like two hours ago. Same spot. Why don't I have any runes? It's tough to get them. And there's no point because when I go in the shrine, you'll see what happens. Basically, if I go to Ultra Hand right now, I'll get an autosave. And the whole idea is that I want to not get autosaves. So by doing fuse first, I can get a, I can start a glitch called gas, guardless active shield, which prevents the game from autosaving. So this is our priority. Like the whole route is based on 
getting gas, getting gas quick, you know? Is it theoretically possible to go get Ultra Hand? Yeah, but it would be really stupid because like I would get an, an auto save for doing Ultra Hand. I would get an auto save for leaving Ultra Hand and that's my two mistakes. Basically by doing this first, I'm allowed to do two mistakes. So you see the game just makes an auto save right there. And that is a dead run. All those six save slots, that's over. Same situation as what happened before. This one's forced. This one's forced. This one's not forced. This one's not forced. This one's really hard. This one's forced. So these are the three spots where we can improve. Um... But if you have 151, 152 shrines, how do you not have runes? This is a new game, cool guy. It's it's a, a completely fresh save. We're starting from not even just new game, we're starting from new profile. The whole idea is that I can't wrong warp into that shrine unless I have uh, an open save slot. And nobody has that, you know, like your save slots fill up really quickly in this game, right? When you start a game of Tears of the Kingdom, you will probably have five save slots within like 15 minutes of playing the game, you know? Every time you pick up stuff, open a chest, uh, do something, touch the ground, like it's it's constantly auto-saving the game over and over and over again. And I need it to not do that. I need to have a save slot that's not filled in. Because the, the whole glitch to wrong warp into it requires that, basically. Use chatters names as new users. I'm down. Uh, we'll do one last one with Todd. Final Todd run, guys. Are we at attempt 16 now? You understand now? Awesome. And I also want to make another point clear. If you expect me to go and do the other 151 shrines afterwards, I'm just going to say I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do this series over again. I am really invested in making this 150 second shrine done, but unfortunately... I don't have plans to get like a save file that has all 152 shrines in one save. I'm more interested in answering the question, is it possible to complete every shrine with only key items? You know, I'm not going to get it in every save because I don't want to go do it again. Unfortunately, like, it, it, it would just, it, it's too much, you know? I already made the video and I, <laughs> I think this challenge is enough answer the question right nice do we send it we send it i think we send it right, why do i why do i do that <laughs> why, why does my brain tell me that final todd run yep yep penguin wait no shot that's okay yeah no it's not an extra one Good night, friends. Also, reset the timer. Oh, good point. Good night. Who's leaving? Olive. Olive, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. The funny thing about this is like, um, we pretty much never even like go to this, go near the shrine, you know? I mean, we, we go to the shrine at the end, of course, because we do have to get inside of it for the wrong warp to work. But like, um, that's not the challenge part at all. Like the vast majority of the challenge, um, is Great Sky Islands, like the beginning of GSI. Uh, 
why did you go outside the map? Okay, so the reason I go outside the map is pretty much the same reason that I'm doing everything else without touching the ground is like, since I'm out of bounds, the game doesn't want to make autosaves, you know, like the, the name of the game what is that? least amount of autosaves as possible, whether that's by not touching the ground, by flying, by spawning wings, by going out of bounds, uh, by going fast, like it's all about just trying to get the least amount of moments where the game can go, hey, let's make an autosave. Because the game's like, oh wait, we haven't autosaved in two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. It's going to take the moment that we touch the ground as an autosave point. Like, it doesn't give you, like, a second to think about it. It's like, there's a one frame buffer, and then it will say, we got to make an autosave, bro. It's been too long. Yo, what's up, Snakers? What time zone? Eastern, Eastern. Too bad there isn't a way to skip the intro cutscene. Dude, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I know that pain, trust me. So why do you have no, uh, so why do you have autosave on? Can't you turn it off? No, it's it's not something you can turn it off. Autosaves are like forced in this game. Dude, if I can turn autosaves off, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, would it make this challenge like, it wouldn't, make, it wouldn't make a challenge. It would make it more of like a, oh cool, we can do this thing. But yeah, no, the autosaves can't be turned off, unfortunately. That's not something we can do. Who carries that fragile sword? Our Link. Why are autosaves bad? Man, I'm gonna explain it so many times. Honestly, just read the descriptions. Read the, read the description or watch the very ending of my last video. I put a timestamp down below. Basically, I can't wrong warp without getting... Uh, I, I need four autosaves to wrong warp. That's the simple answer. I need a, I need a free autosave slot for the, for the wrong warp to work. For the corrupted save. Let me actually go back and read what... Um, or wait, I can't go back. My chat's dumb. Not, not, not my chat. Not my chat. My chat app is dumb. Okay, my chat app. Uh, I, I can't scroll with it. <laughs> it's kind of silly. But not you guys. You guys are very smart. Especially Doge and Arachnid. Absolute goats at this game. Which is the greater challenge: doing the run or having to re-explain every two seconds? <laughs> Good question. No, Snakers, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, don't feel bad. You're chilling. It is a complicated challenge, so... I will never be upset when people ask for, like, rules or what the hell's going on. This is confusing, I mean, I'm like... I'm not doing normal shit. I'm not doing, like, your typical run-of-the-mill runs, you know? This is an alternate timeline where Ganon's dehydrated. Yeah. We're not we're not goofing around with Ganon today. Maybe tomorrow though. Maybe soon. What's a glitch you're using to dupe the wings? I thought you needed a wall to do that. Kind of. It's not really the wall that does it. It's more that like you need to be facing something where the wing can't be pulled out. Or uh, not necessarily. The way it works is you want to find a spot where the game tries to pull out the wing, but decides, nah, it's not that good of a spot. You know what I mean? So there's some spots where you're like looking at a wall and the game will try to pull out the wing, but then it doesn't work. And that's the spot that works. If you're like looking right against a wall and you're too close, the game is going to be like, dude, hell no. This shit ain't spawning. You kidding me? We're right up against a wall, bro. But if you're like kind of like near the wall, but you're not necessarily on it. So yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. But then the game's going to be like, no, no, you're still too close, actually. And then if you sort while you're placing that wing, it'll, it'll give you two wings back. It's a bug. And that was it, too. That was a good run. That was a good CSS. Can't believe that didn't work. Damn. 
I think this might be my last run, guys. Tonight. We'll see, we'll see. Because I do got school in the morning, and it is midnight for me. But hey, the good news, or I guess the good side of that, the good side of that is that uh, we can come back tomorrow and try it again. Damn, why am I sucking at this all of a sudden? I'm kind of worried. Maybe I should l l load back the autosave. Yeah, let me do that. I guess I have to anyway. So the reason I would want to load back here is I have a suspicion that the game is like trying to autosave every like amount of time. So if I just stand still for a while and then I start moving, it's going to make an autosave pretty quickly after I start moving. So since I'm like doing this for a while and I failed so much, if I load back the last autosave, that timer resets is my thoughts. Oh, it's not going to work. Dang, well, I'm so bad at CSS right now. Holy shit. Sorry. I'll get the god set up. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, right there. Right there. Thanks, Clark. That's really sweet, Clark. Thank you. Hope you don't change your mind right now. <laughs> Because I'm not the guild at CSS, let me say. Let me tell you, I've seen better. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's not talk about this chat. Let's not talk about what the hell is going on here. Here's a tip. Do it right. Oh. Duh. I didn't think of that. I think Sirius fell asleep. He might have. Actually... No, that makes sense. He did say he was trying to get on an earlier sleep schedule, and I respect that. Gosh, my sleep schedule is terrible, and it's not good to have a, a terrible sleep schedule. There we go. Okay. I'm telling you, if I get that freaking wing, and I'm standing on the chest and I get it, it's the run. It's so the run if I get it. Speedrun ashore, bro, sure. I know it's the run if I can get that. I know it is. I know it is. Oh, it dropped, it dropped. Did it fall? Oh, it did. I'm so glad that the game doesn't make autosaves when you pick these up. It's kind of a blessing. Because we do need those branches, to be clear. Although I suppose it would be possible to do it without getting these branches. It would just be way harder. You'd have to use some other weapon. Like the, like the sword, I guess, and dupe it. Prage. Prage. Give me a Prage in chat right now. Give me some Prages. Give me some Prages. Hardest trick in the game right here, apparently. Whenever you get an auto save accidentally, can't you just go back to the one before and doesn't keep the route you were on? Yes! Yes! Okay, we got it! Oh! Oh! Okay. Don't goof this up.
Let's go, dude. Yes. No auto saves. No auto saves from wing. That's how you skip getting auto saves when opening a chest. Which means if we don't make silly mistakes, this could very well be the run. I think we've gotten good enough at the other shit that we can make it. Do, 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 Do I send it? We send these. We send those! We send those, dude! This is the one I'm calling it? Well, thanks for calling it. Yo, Olive, are you still here? Welcome back. Thanks, Lego. Drink the water. Cheers. Ooh. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, turn. I'm not messing this shit up now. I am not throwing this shit now, bro. I'm locking in. No music, just gaming. Perfect, bro. Perfect. Wait, is that perfect? No! <laughs> Why? That little ledge, bro? Come on. <laughs> okay, so that just straight up negates exactly what we, uh, what we did there. <laughs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. That's an unfortunate place to lose it too, because at least if I lose it later on and I hit the ground, I can like make it easier to kill the bow dude. Or if I hit the ground near the chest with the fans, it makes it so much easier to just grab that. Like losing, getting the, the, the fail there is so sucky. That is, that is just a big sad fail. At least we're on the wing. Ah. <sighs> What can you do? And now, I, dude, I was just saying I was locking in too. I was like, oh, I'm locked in, bro. I, I'm so ready. I wasn't locked in. I was not locked in, chat. I thought I was. So why does it not save on your own wings? Basically, when you're standing on a wing, the game can't update Link's position because he needs to be standing on the ground. Uh, imagine the ground... It's covered in green carpet. Think of everything that's ground and green carpet. This is a stupid analogy. This is a really stupid. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it though. Uh, the whole world is green carpet, and every object is red. And if I'm standing on a red object, then I'm not touching green, right? So the game's not saving. I probably just made you more confused, honestly. Uh, ground bad. Ground bad. Ground be saving shit. That's how it knows where to place Link, and that's how it does auto saving and stuff. So we, we do cheese that in the any percent speed run by basically just like avoiding touching the ground in certain areas. We can trick the game into loading us into areas that it usually shouldn't load us into. This is bad. This is really bad. Fine. Arachnid. What did Arachnid say? Imagine a bank vault of green. <laughs> 
Oh god, Arachne, you were there with the bank full part. Oh my god. It, was, it wasn't that bad, though. It wasn't that bad of an analogy, though. Thankful was fine, okay? It was fine. It was actually so funny. Like, we watched the video through, like, I showed serious the video. And he was just like, like, he would not stop talking about the bank fall. It was like a two second thing. Like, I literally cut it out. And I think it was like a second and a half. I was literally, right. I literally just it's had the line. Like, have a good night, burritos. And good, good night. Luck. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Uh, I literally was just like, yeah, imagine it's a bank fault. I can't get into a bank fault. So that's how the shrine is. And he's like, bro, that's terrible. That's a terrible analogy, dude. People are clicking off because of that analogy. I'm like, what? Who's clicking off because of that analogy? It's not that bad. Like, can't be that bad, right? Is it really that bad? Am I that out of touch? I feel like I feel like there's someone out there that would have understood that. Why am I not on the wing, bro? Why am I not on the wing? That's not fair. That's just not fair. That's just not fair, though. Last run of the night, folks. Uh, this does not mean I'm giving up if this run does not work. It just means that we're going to stream tomorrow on my YouTube channel as well. And we'll do a part two to this stream. Uh, we got to delete some saves. That's outrageous. What's outrageous is that wing placement. The fact that Link was inside the wing, bro. Like, come on. Like, come on. If you do want to see tomorrow's stream, I recommend you watch it on Twitch. I recommend you follow me on Twitch and watch it on Twitch. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to stream it on YouTube too. Because it makes sense. It makes more sense to stream it on both. <laughs> hey, it worked. We got Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Wait, didn't someone say I could not? I could do this by not deleting users. I can delete save data. Thank you, Rezazi. Thank you so much. Where do I see? Where do I see how to like delete save data? Data management. Uh, manage software. Transfer save data. Delete save data. Okay, so I can delete save data. Wait, does it? Let me do this for like switch sports because I don't give a shit about Okay, it does let me choose. It does let me choose. Okay. Okay, so then we don't have to make a bunch of new oh, excuse me. We don't have to make a bunch of new accounts all the time. Uh I'm gonna make this one. And I'm gonna name it after Cheddar Chad. Because Cheddar, I just wanna give some massive props to you, dude. Uh I don't think you're here, but hey, you get to a lot of subs today. And I appreciate it. And I think everyone else does too. Also, thanks for the follow of links. Wait, did I not do it? Ched, Cheddar. I'll just, I'll just do Cheddar. It's not long enough. Or, yeah, I can't do a long enough name. This is for you, Cheddar. I can't believe how quickly that run went from absolutely nuts to terrible. <laughs> like... Like the like the two places I could have gone an auto save, I got an auto save legitimately. I went from getting the wing chest, feeling on top of the world, down to immediately after getting the auto save at Pure Pad, and then immediately after failing the easiest thing. Thanks for the follow, uh, arbitrary. Appreciate it. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy the stream today and uh, come by tomorrow. Stop by and say hello. See how much I'm struggling. With this, uh, corrupted save run shit. It's like the most, like, confusing challenge run in existence, but you know what? It's fun, so. I think the cool thing is, is like, you can come by and come, come back to the stream, 
And like, I'm always going to be on a run. Oh my God, that was stupid. I'm always going to be on a run that's like within 30 minutes of being the run. You know what I mean? It's always going to be so close and so far at the same time. Same time. Same time, probably around that time. Yeah, it might be a little earlier, honestly. But yeah, around this time. Uh, I, I'm, I'll probably start at like five or six. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to make an event for it like I did today. Maybe I will. Okay, that's a soft lock. That's actually a soft lock. I think it's fine though. Yeah, I don't think I'll make an event for it. I'll probably just start stream and you can hop over. But I'd say by like six, uh, yeah, pop on YouTube or Twitch and I'll most definitely be live. Around that time. So if you are getting tired and you want to head out for the night, hey, no worries. I appreciate everyone stopping by and being here so, so much. Does mean a lot to me. And this was fun. This is going to be my last attempt of the night. The final go. For, for now. <laughs> not forever, for now. Damn, why am I not clipping? It's been real. It has, Penguin. It has. I hope we get to do Bingo again on Friday, dude. That'd be awesome. I don't know if you saw, I, I invited some new folks into the group. So, um, even if it's not the same group, I know Bread Pirate isn't able to do it again. But 4v4 Bingo on Friday with other people would still be awesome. And maybe we could do 5v5 even. But I don't see Oziel setting it up, so maybe I gotta take some charge. Because I want to see it happen, bro. I want to see that shit happen so bad. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a... I guess I'll call it a game mode that was made for tiers where it's a bingo board that gives you a bunch of different goals. Usually it's like 25 different goals to do placed on a bingo board. And the goal is to race another person to try to see who can get more bingo like rewards. Um... Bingo squares, I guess. The twist for us is that it's kind of like a massive group of content creators um, that does Zelda content. And not all of them are content creators, but probably the majority of them are. And we did a massive 4v4 bingo last Friday. So that's up on my channel. If you guys want to see that, that was pretty fun. That was really fun, actually. Penguin's making a video about it. So that's going to be sick. And I'm trying to get it to happen again, basically. But yeah, basically, we get in a team of four, we hop on a Discord call, and we try to strategize and figure out, like, how to go about it. In fact, I'll, I'll show you guys, like, a little sneak peek of it um, from my POV. Let me let me find it real quick. Let me get that stream pulled up. That was so fun, bro. I want to do it again so badly. I really do. <laughs> uh, where's my desktop? Oh, my stuff is lagging. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's lagging. It's lagging. It's lagging. We're fixed. We're fixed. Okay. So, this is my channel. Pop over to live. It's this video. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's like a bingo board on the side. And it has all these goals. And I was team red. So, I don't want to spoil who won. But yeah, it's, it's basically like speed running the game against other people. The key is going fast because it's, it's also lockout, which means if I get a goal or my team gets a goal, then the other team can't get that goal. So it's whoever gets 13 blocks first. So you're really like speed running to get these goals. Like one of them is, uh, you know, get a die something brown. Another one is get four Horoblin horns. Another one is get three towers. Another one is kill a stone talus. Another one is cook 20 recipes. So you got to think like, which one of those do I want to do first, right? You got to think, which one is worth do I do first? And like, how do I play mind games with the other team? Like, should I be going for Sky Shrine? So we all focus on the same goals because it's a team. Like we can work on these together. We're not in the same world, but we can uh, kind of help each other with goals. So it, it's really cool. I'm going to stop uh, fangirling over it, but 
it's really cool. If we do do it again, I think it's a lot of fun, and you should check it out. <laughs> I do as well. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. We're all winners. We're all we all get the participation trophy. Oh, I forgot to switch the scene back. My bad. I'll watch that later. Yeah, dude, it was it was pretty hype. Penguin, when do you think your video is gonna come out on it? I'm curious. I'm curious to check that out myself. There were quite a few moments in that run as well where people got cut off. For instance, uh, Oziel, one of the YouTubers that was doing it with us, actually stole a goal from Timber like as he was walking up to it. It was fuse a stone, I think it was like fuse a stone rock to your sword or something. It was like the meat rock that's in Goron City, I think. I forget what it's called. And he did it as Timber was walking up to him. Uh, another one was like me and Oziel stole Colosseum from some other team. So... You kind of you kind of want to steal goals from other teams. Like if you know they're gonna be going after something, it's like oh shit, bro. Burritos is really good at dying stuff fast. We should try to cut them off from that because we know we are we're faster. We're closer to Hateno or whatever. It's really high IQ. You got to be big brain for it. Got to use that big massive brain. Okay, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Big old cutscenes done. All the cutoff clips are crazy. Really. That's good. That's cool. Yeah, I was wondering like how closely they line up when you can see both POVs. I wonder if that'd be like a cool edit where you could like see um, like Timbers and then immediately next to like OZLs or something. <clears throat> good luck. Thanks, Burns. Last run. You know, if I could get another chest opening without getting the auto save, that would be insane. Because then I would feel like I actually have the strat down for it. I, I've kind of like tested a lot of different things with that chest. And what I've realized is if I hold ZL, it makes it much less likely for me to fall off. I need to be holding ZL for sure. If I don't do nothing, I fall off that chest. If I hold ZL and I do nothing, I fall off that chest. If I hold ZL and do nothing, I fall off that chest. If I hold ZL and go full forward, I fall off that chest. If I hold ZL and go backward, obviously I fall off the chest because I'm sliding backwards anyway. Um, if I hold ZL and I do tap forwards like a little bit, I stay on it for a second and then it doesn't work. So the sweet spot that I tried on the last one, on the last run, is I held ZL and I did like perfectly middle. Like, I kept my joystick, like, centered in the middle, not full forward, but not full backwards, so that I, like, links, like, kind of perfectly, like, I, I, I don't want to say edging, but I'm going to say edging. Like, edging the border of, like, if he's on the chest and not on the chest. Come on, give me the RNG, bro. Give me the RNG. There we go. Watch this be the one. For sure, bro. For sure, for sure. This is the run. This is the run. This is the run. Let me turn the switch volume up. It's a little quiet, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Also, feel free to roast my audio if anything's bad. I actually appreciate it sometimes because sometimes I'm going back through my editing and I'm like, damn, dude, the audio mixing at this section was trash. And nobody called me out on it. Sometimes the game audio is like too loud or sometimes I'm too loud. Okay, let's not mess this up. We want to be as high as possible. Okay. I'm going to claw grip it forward slightly. Yes! Yes! Dude, I think I got it. I think I figured that shit out, bro. I'm so loud. And I'm getting I'm getting both feedbacks now. <laughs> I'm loud and I'm not loud. Which one is it? Dude, I can't believe we got it. We actually got it. Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> I th I think I've got the perfect setup, bro. You don't have to do. Tell you don't have to do with my control. I got a claw grip that shit, bro. I'm like I'm holding. I guess I can just show you with the controller. 
Um, actually, I'm not going to though. I feel like I'm going to mess something up. I feel like I'm going to mess something up, but I have to hold ZL and like slightly forward and claw grip it with my pointer finger. Wait, why am I going this way? I never go this way. Make sure we only have two auto saves. Just double checking. I'm not too loud, right? Your mic gain is a bit high. It is high. Well, I'm glad you said it, Penguin. I'm glad you said it. Thank you for saying that, Penguin. W, Penguin. That was so unnecessarily risky. Why do I do that? <laughs> I'll never understand why I go for the riskiest jumps for absolutely zero reason. I can't really hear the game at all. I think that's just me. It is kind of quiet. But it's like there's not really anything going on with the game. We're arriving. Seven hours into recording, not much you can do now, lol. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Luckily for me, I actually did separate my audio, and I made sure it was done correctly before my stream. So, in post-production, I'll be able to lower my gain, and I'll be able to increase the gain for the game. Game audio is fine. Yeah, guys, tell me if it's bad. Please do. Please tell me if you want me to, do you want me to bring it up? Type up in the chat if you want me to bring the game volume up. Damn smart guy. Penguin, if you don't do that, let me tell you, it's so worth it, bro. It's so worth it because, uh, think about all the times you want to play music on stream and then something crazy happens when the music's playing and it's like, dude, I'd be scrambling and turn the music off so I can kind of like make that moment usable for my footage or my clip. And oftentimes I'll just end up having to have the music in the clip because it's already baked in. But I can't see where I'm going. Uh, it makes it makes editing a lot easier. That's what I'm getting at. But I only just started doing it. Oh God. <laughs> Is this okay? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm not so sure about that wing. I'm not so sure about that wing. We'll see. Honestly, I don't think Mike really matters. If it's good, if it's good, it's good. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> are, you, are you saying like, since my mic is like a good mic, it's gonna be fine? I am definitely more concerned about mic quality being loud enough to hear uh, than game. So I definitely like, I go way lower on sound than I used to per game. Uh... Maybe, maybe. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave TTS. I'm gonna leave TTS. I'm just gonna. It's fine. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I think after my editing mistakes or stream mistakes, I guess, of having my mic volume too low, I definitely would prefer my gain to be too high on the mic than my gain to be too high on game volume. You know, because generally speaking. The stuff you want to use for video clips is audio of yourself uh, and not game volume. Game volume generally doesn't matter that much. I mean, if I really wanted to, I can even like recreate certain game sounds. It was like really important, but like 99% of the time you're picking a clip because of something cool happening on screen and like something you're saying or whatever. And if the game volume overpowers that, then dude, it sucks. You have to do this like weird uh, thing where I like turn the game. I'll, I'll like cut the clip into like seven. 
but the video will all be one clip. And I'll just have to like make the audio less whenever I'm not talking. And if you like, if you're really paying attention, you can hear it a lot in the last video where like the audio goes like, oh, woo, 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 woo. And that's like whenever I'm talking basically to try to like make it sound like, my, like bring my voice out and then bring the game volume down. But now that it's set up like perfectly now, it's, it's way more easy. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking like editor style because we're gaming now. We're actually on a really good run. We are actually kind of on a crazy run right now. Some have called this the run. Some some people be saying this is the run. Why am I just doing I just do this. Okay. Imagine I'm not on the wing. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you know, I think I'm actually starting to understand why I wasn't on the wing last time. Because imagine that this, like, wing, I guess, edge, imagine it was further back. Because then if Link's trying to, like, load here, it doesn't want to load him too high. I think it has a limit. It's like, wait a second. So it'll load him inside of the wing, and then it'll just be crouched, which gives me the autosave. So that's a throw, if that happens. No. Oh. It's so unfortunate, man. That's a throw. You probably don't understand what's going on right now. What's supposed to happen when I do this, I'm supposed to backflip into a uh, dive and then I spawn the wing, but... What happened here is I didn't go into the dive like the, in the right direction, basically. So I'm not I'm I'm facing the wrong way. I'm not gonna make it on the swing. Wait, let me let me think. Do I want to void out here? I guess it doesn't matter either way. I can just tank the damage and continue on with the fail. It is what it is. So what happened wrong there is I did it on an edge that like had a thing in front of it. So the game won't let you initiate a skydive if you're not super high in the sky. So the whole idea is like 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 an edge like this is perfect because there's nothing underneath it. But an edge like this, I wouldn't be able to backflip and start skydiving. Look what happens. I I backflip and then instead of skydiving, he does that. I backflip, try to skydive, and he does that. He faces this way again. Uh, where I'm not going to do it because I would void out, but if I do it there, he starts skydiving actually because it's like a, a lot of space underneath him. So I, I chose a bad spot to dive off of is what I did wrong there. Just so you're kind of aware. Uh, on the bright side of things, it's going to make it easy to kill this construct. Obviously, the downside is that we have an autosave now. What version? 1.0. Okay, cool, cool. Probably gonna autosave soon, so let's get on a wing. And now we unequip this and start the process. Unequip, 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 equip, buffer, crop. So I keep doing the wrong order.
How many mistakes you get? Two. That's one. We've like we it's not a dead run yet. In fact, we normally actually every single time we've ever made it this far, we always have an autosave. <laughs> um in fact, I think that's the furthest we've actually gotten with only two autosaves. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate because it's like I'm I'm messing up at stupid areas, you know? That's like an easy thing to solve just by finding like a proper ledge to jump off of. Like in my mind, I was actually trying to play it more safe. Because the way I was thinking of it is like, okay, normally I go over that way. Like I go like too far out of the, of the island. So I was thinking, okay, I normally jump off of this ledge right here. Let me try going a little bit closer to home, a little bit closer to the land. And what actually happened is that ledge, I'm going to put my top crosshair on it. The the top crosshair I'm putting pointing at, that's the ledge that prevented Link from diving. So I jumped off here, and instead of initiating a dive, the game looks down. It's like, okay, we probably shouldn't dive because there's ground right underneath him. So instead of diving, he does he goes like for a jump attack. He starts aiming. So that that's... That's what's going on. Okay, I think we're good now. Uh, drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop, switch shields. Yeah, we got air smuggle. I got the broadsword, tree branch, tree branch. I'm so confused why... It's not working right now. Okay. I, I guess I just reset it up again, because that's how I fixed it last time. But it's the same exact thing. Uh, drop, 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 equip, buffer, drop, switch shields. Do I have it now? So weird. I don't, I don't really understand it. Okay, but we have air smuggle. Is this still proof of concept, or has someone actually done it? As far as I know, someone nobody's done it. Um, Timber's routed it. I don't think he's ever completed it, though, as far as I know. So yeah, we're we may be the pioneers of this. But Timber is a little bit cryptic and I know he's making a video about it. So I'm not sure if the video is more about like how we routed it or if it's gonna be like I solved it. You know, like I, I did the I did the wrong warp. He's also not in, interested or um like his goals are not to use it for Papunke. Obviously that's like my challenge is my thing. Um and this does work for Papunke. I think he's trying to use it for like skipping the Great Sky Island much faster, uh, and stuff like that. Well, well, we'll see. It's one AM for me. Yeah, it is. Okay, I think we're high enough now. Beautiful. I'm getting good at that. I'm getting pretty good at those wings. I was struggling with that a lot at the beginning. But we are gaming. Are you going to do an amiibo only run? Oh, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> um, I don't... I, I've, it's not something that crossed my mind, I'll tell you that. I don't know if that'd be really easy or really hard, to be honest with you. No clue. Beautiful. I never duped these! I am not prepared. I should have been prepared. Okay, don't dupe too many. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Dude.
Does this give me an autosave? Back to Temple of Time? Interesting. No autosave though. Right? Yeah, no autosave. Okay, so where's Zago Overloader? This is before we killed the construct. This is fine. This is chill. Oh, except we probably should dupe these things so we don't break our Zuggled we weapons when we try to kill him. That would be wise. So this is a duplication glitch by hopping on your wing and sorting it and clicking B at the same time. You can duplicate five items at a time while you're shield hopping. You have to do it while you're shield hopping or while you're like on Minru or while you're on a paraglider. I don't have a paraglider or Minru, so this is the easiest thing. Luckily, we're already pretty overloaded, and we didn't actually gain any autosaves, so, um, this isn't really a big setback at all. The only setback this is, is that, um, we have to, like, redo arrow flight. Like, we don't have to set it up again, but we just have to get back up there, which takes a little bit of time. But we unequip that, we do, we go equip that, bang, bang, oops, equip this, bang, bang, boom, bang, bomb. Do okay, and then switch shields. Wait, what? Oh, it didn't work. Okay, this should work. This is this one should definitely work. Yep, we're good. Might want to dupe apples. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Actually, I I forgot that I didn't dupe the apples on the save. It's a little late. Oh shit, it's about to break. Okay, I think we have like one more shield dupe, unfortunately. So let's make a count, right? Yep, we made that count. We sure as hell got a lot of apples. Alright. Let's eat up and go. Oh, I picked up the freaking bow by accident. Okay, so unequip. Go back. Drop you, drop you, drop you. Equip you, buffer. That didn't work. Drop you, drop you, drop you. Equip you, buffer. Drop you, switch bows. Alright, let's go. It's 11 o'clock for you guys. Are you in California? On that Cali time? I guess it's way more than just California. It's just what I think of. But you probably on the West Coast. Utah? That makes sense. It's 10 right now? It's 10? Oh, wait. Is it 10 in California? Yeah, it's three hours, right? Yeah. I'm actually so jealous. I wish I was in your time zone. Uh, Arachnid, Penguin, everyone else is 10 o'clock. I really do. Because then it would actually like make my sleep schedule not that messed up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would have an excuse. It's not, it's not, I don't go to bed at 5 a.m. I go to bed at 2 a.m. <laughs> Oh, 
West Coast, best coast. I agree. You know, I've never been to the West Coast, but I've always wanted to go. Ever since I was a little kid. Ever since I got into GTA, actually. <laughs> it's like, wow, Los Santos. That's the spot, Mom. I want to go there. <laughs> I know it's not called Los Santos, but... Los Angeles. Alright, this is probably good. How are you flying? Don't worry about it. It's called Aeroflight. Okay, anyway, um, do I want to do anything on my way? Oh, I already lost my shield, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm flying, it's called Aeroflight. And... To be honest, I, I can't really explain how it works. Like, I, I know what gets me to reach Aeroflight. I can tell you, like, what's going on, like, kinda. Like, I'm doing a jump attack, and I'm hitting ZR, and it's canceling the jump attack. Why does it make me fly up? Dude, I don't know. That's Timber. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> don't. That's not fair. That's so not fair. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get an autosave. I can load back. Right? That's the play, right? Load back now because as soon as I stand up, I'm getting an autosave. I think this is high IQ. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to kill like one of them off the wing. I came back to say one thing. You should know what it is. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. No get really some sleep. sleep. No Good really night. sleep. Good night. Seriously, Go to sleep. sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some sleep. I know, I know. Soon, soon, soon. I didn't expect this run to go on for so long. It's like, actually, it's such a good run still. And that's the weird thing about it. It's like, um, wait, I can't even see my shield. Like, it's still a very good run. Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing bad. It's the only thing. But I haven't gotten autosaves. It's kind of funny that, like, loading back to other saves is kind of like... It's kind of a blessing. Like, you, you really take it for granted. Being able to load back other saves. But in, like, this case... Even though it is a setback... It feels like the real setback. Like, the real... Oh! The stab to the gut... Is not the not loading back, it's getting the autosaves, of course. It's like an interesting di dynamic with this challenge, you know? That I think is very unique to this challenge, is what I'm saying. Where, like, any other challenge run probably wouldn't have this problem. That being said, uh, there are. I guess the close thing would be like a damage this run, or a, a no, no loading run. Where you can't load back other saves. I guess that's kind of similar. But it's not the same. Ooh, I should definitely keep it. I gotta dupe this a lot. Floor is lava? Yeah, sorta. <laughs> Floor is lava for the most part. Floor is kinda maybe sorta lava. Don't worry about what I'm standing on right now, though. <laughs> yeah, the reason I can stand on this now, even though the floor is lava, is because I've already goofed up and I've already touched the ground in this area. So it's not going to make an autosave immediately after I already made an autosave over here. To what extent that is true, I have no idea. And I usually don't like to hang out too much on the ground, but I feel kind of I feel kind of dangerous right now. Like, like I I feel like a cool kid hanging on the ground and like touching up against the grass. It's like the forbidden fruit, you know. It feels I'm getting a taste of something that I shouldn't be shouldn't be doing. It's like a it's like breaking into a place. It's like that thrill. 
Uh, any second now, I could get an auto save. Any second now, and I'm just hanging out. I'm just threading that that life of excitement, you know. I'm living that dream life, living in the grass. You know, they they don't want me in the grass, chat. They don't want me to be in the grass. But I want to be here. I want to be hanging out here. I miss the grass. I miss filling up the grass. Feel I, I, I'm going to take that one back. How have a run been going? Uh, it's... It's running. <laughs> it's runny. No autosaves, right? Uh, so yeah, this is like pretty solid run still. It's my last run of the night, so... You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I have decided that if if uh if this run does not go through, we will stream it tomorrow. I really don't think you know I I I always say this. I always freaking say this. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a one nighter stream, and then it becomes two, and then I say it's definitely gonna be a two stream, and then it becomes three. And after that, I know, oh shit, this shit's gonna take 45 hours. And that's where it spirals. And I know I always say it, and it always turns out to be wrong. But I don't give a shit. I'm gonna say it. This is Max Two-Nighter. Max. I'm done with this challenge tomorrow. I got Papunky in the bag by tomorrow, let me tell you. Easily. I would say free even. I would use, I would go as far as to that use that terminology. You can go anywhere because you have no legs, so you're not touching the ground. Dude, I wish it worked like that. My legs still there, they just invisible. Max two that are easy. That's what I'm saying, Chad. That's what I'm saying. Now we keep forgetting to update it. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, this this is like the annoying shit to edit and post. Oh my god, the worst thing about editing the last video. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole. I promise. I promise, I'm not going down this rabbit hole. But in my last video that I was editing, I had a shrine counter in the top right of my screen, and I was like, oh, like this is kind of helpful so people will tune in the stream and they can see the shrine counter. But like. It didn't fit with the with the vibe of the video I was going with because I was updating the video shrines like with its own kind of graphic and I didn't, I didn't want to like have um, the top right show the shrine completion like it didn't, it just didn't really feel necessary to me but it bothered the shit out of me dude because it like covered up the health bar in some areas and it was like blocking like yeah it just looked so ugly to me and I couldn't move it out of the way I'm just like ugh why did I do this um, and that is the equivalent of this with the attempts thing, but I've decided that the, the setup I have now is Infinitely superior because the gameplay is clean like the gameplay is on its own thing So I always can Like the, the, the gameplay is never gonna be covered up by anything, right? It's got its own square dedicated to it So I can do whatever I want with that now and then my face cam is also its own square so what I'm going to do is probably just crop the face cam into the gameplay and just do that. And I'll lose a few pixels because it's technically not 1080p anymore when I crop in, but like, hey, it'll be worth it. I think changing the stuff like attempts counter on to 16 to 18 in post is like not too bad anyway. That's like not a big issue. It's like one digit, which is cool. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to go. I think I want to come into it from the right side. Because what if I could, like... What if I could hit all three of them, you know? If I could knock all three of them? They're kind of crazy, though. Like, the way they just get up and shoot at you, it's so fast. Like, they have no chill, is what I'm saying. They just go... They don't have, like, no delay. It's crazy. You would think they gotta, like, charge up, but nah, they're... They're machines, quite literally. Alright, let's go for the middle guy. I'll take it. No. 
God. I feel like I'm gonna die here. Because I can't break out of the ice before the other one suits me. And it does more damage because I'm iced up. Oh my god, he missed! He missed! Oh my god, this is it. Bro, how did he miss that? Holy shit, how did he actually miss that? He's so bad. He's so bad at aiming. He's actually terrible. I can't believe I called a machine a machine once. You see what I'm saying? Try like they, they charge up so quickly with their bows. It's kind of crazy. Anyway. I have to be smart about this. Uh if we can get this chest without getting autosaves, we will be on the best run we've ever had so far. Wait, that's a good chest. Or that's a good spot to be. Oh my god. Oh. Yo. Three autosave chests. Honestly, even if we lose it here, dude, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Honestly, what if I leave it here for tomorrow stream? What if I blue ball you guys? It's literally 1.30 in the morning for me. <laughs> no silly mistakes now. Yeah, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is, so this is something I could have done wrong. If I click Y right now, I hit Y, he's not attacking. And I need to be able to attack to like land on my wing for, that, for the way I'm supposed to do it. So that is a mistake I made in the past. Don't want to make that one again. Honestly, do I need the battery cell? Arachnid, do I need to grab the battery cell? Could I not just go straight to fuse? Can I not just wing straight to fuse? Because I'm gonna get the battery cell when I leave fuse, I believe. How do you still even do school with this sleep schedule? I don't know. Oh no. <sighs> I'm just wondering if Arachnid knows this. I kind of have a gut feeling I just want to skip the battery. You know what I mean? It saved me some time. And oh. Never mind, chat. We're not going to skip the battery. We'll get the battery. No biggie. Can you please? Please, please, please. It does not want to spawn. I'll be honest, I don't know what the battery cell is needed for. Yeah, I was just kind of curious. Like, I know Timber got in his route, but I'm just like, we can get it later, can't we? Like, why don't we get it once we have gas? Yo, Chicken, thank you for the two. Baby Lemon looking up to our Lemon character standing in a superhero position. I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> what he said, I guess. Okay, so we should be able to attack now. So now... Do I want to wing straight there? I think... It, I mean, I'll, I'll grab battery So I don't know if it's actually necessary. I feel like it's not. I think this is like a route improvement that we could just not get it. But like, I have to reset up the... Um, the Zuggle anyway. Because it accidentally dropped all my items. So we might as well grab it. It's kind of a pain, actually, that Link's legs are missing here. Because it's a little harder to see if I should, like, like where I am on the wing, if that makes sense. So far, best run yet. So we're ending on a good one. We are ending it off on a good one if we do end it here. Do -do 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 -do.
Okay, um... Wait, I, I just had such a massive brain fart. Holy shit. Dude, I zoned out so much for a second there. I can't even describe the feeling that just went through my brain. Like, I just, like, forgot I was playing Tears for a second. <laughs> I forgot the stream was on. Dude, my, my brain went through a full reboot there. Holy shit. Why not void out to get up? Void out to get up. That would give me a save, I think. If I void out, uh, I will go back to the last location I touched ground, which was... Room of Awakening. I mean, this is not Room of Awakening. I don't know, even, I don't know why it says Room of Awakening. This is Temple of Time. I guess it's kind of bugged. This should be Temple of Time. Anyway, it'll load me back here, but it will make a save because uh, the last time I was there, I had like way different items. You know? Like, wait a second. You were here a while ago, but you've got a very different inventory. We should probably save. Th like, this game's clever about saving. This game is pretty clever. Uh, I could be wrong about that theory, but I'm pretty sure it would make an autosave. Dude, I'm missing my timings. Losing my I'm losing my rhythm. We're close though. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, there it is. Do I have my yeah I do. Okay. Doop 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 do do doop do do doop do do doop do do doop doop. You're cool. still going? I'm on my way to work, crying face. There's no way, Chad, bro. I am so going, Chad. Chad, this is the last run of the night, bro. This is my last run. Holy shit, Cheddar's back. I mean, you're on the way to work. You're not back, but... Dude, I'm so curious what you be doing for a living. Yo, thank you, Rowan. I appreciate that. Just use a wall. I mean, I'm better than map juggling now. I've learned that I, I'm not like the rest of you jugglers. I'm better, stronger. Now, I genuinely could just use a wall, but I kind of want to learn that new strat. I, it's not new. It's been around for a while, but uh, I just want to know it. Because they do use it in any percent, I believe. Actually, no, that's not true. They just stopped. There was a discovery literally yesterday morning uh, of a new way to set this up. Exactly the shit that I'm doing right now, they found a new way to do it. Air smuggle. A much faster way. Uh, and I could be doing that to set it up way quicker than what I am doing now, but I didn't learn it. It was found like really recently, so I don't know it yet. Oh yeah, Chad, we did name a character after you. Is it this save actually? It might be. This might be your profile, Chad. This might be dedicated to you, my dude. 
I'm nothing like y'all. Yo, what's up, Kaser Blade? How you doing? I think it is or the one before. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. why am I reading chat? Okay. Guys, we are on a crazy run right now. We have three auto saves. We are at Fuse. I'm gonna see if we can get the backflip. I'm gonna see. Prage is in chat. Prage. Spam the Prage. Spam the Prage. Get ready. Get ready for the spam. Exio. 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 Come on. Spam. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. The run is crazy, dude. We got the frame perfect backflip. We got the frame perfect backflip. Oh my god, dude. Okay, let's not screw this shit up. Last run of the night, we could do this, we can do this. Uh, win, fans. Wait, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Rick, how do I do Zonai Swords? It's been so long. Um... I think I hold it and do this. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. No, what have I done? What have I done? Guys, I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. Big time. Nice one, Dude, I placed all my fans. Uh, I'm sorry, Chad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, to explain what's going on, I was supposed to do a glitch called Zonai Storage, which allows you to place Zonai devices inside of shrines to set up gas. Uh, and instead of doing Zonai Storage, I just placed the wings. I did a single dupe, and then I placed the rest of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I have to call it, guys. I think I have to call it. I have to load back to this save. Unless there's, like, fans nearby that I could... Dude, this is such a crazy run. This this was so good, though. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I don't think there's anything I could do, though. I goofed it. I, I totally goofed it. I totally goofed it. Um... Man, and the sad thing is, I did Zonai Storage. I actually did it. Um, you can check back, like, if you rewind on YouTube a little bit. I actually did Zonai Storage. Like, I did the pause thing. Uh, basically, the way the Zonai Storage works is you click B and A. The, here, let me do it on my home screen so I can, like, show you the inputs. Look at my input display. You do B and A at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that. <laughs> um, let me go over here. <laughs> System settings. So I do B and A. Uh, to do Zonai storage, which like places the fans on the ground, but it also keeps it in my inventory ready to place. Like, you know how you have to like hold it in your inventory and then you click B and it places it on the ground? Yeah, so like I basically keep it in that state where it's held in my inventory and the next time I pause, it's going to place on the ground. So I did Zonai storage and then I'm like, wait, did I actually do it though? And I wasn't thinking, so I was like, oh, let me pause and check. And then I'm like, oh, when I pause, that's what places the fans. So I kind of goofed. Uh, could you go to a device dispenser? I could. I mean, I, I, I could literally use anything uh, that's a Zona device. It just has to be, like, it doesn't have to be a fan. It has to be a Zona device. But, um, the only one I know is pretty far in terms of zone devices let's check the pure pad um there's one there but like are we gonna get there it's it it's actually an interesting theory <laughs> um this is an interesting thought okay okay guys this could be a backup plan of a lifetime my thought is that we go over to there, like we, we arrow smuggle, 
uh, to that device dispenser. So we like we go vertically, we go Superman, we you up into the sky, and then we wing from up into the sky. Uh, wait for the cloud. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. To that device dispenser. I don't give a shit what the device dispenser has. It doesn't need to have a fan. It doesn't need to have anything. Like it just needs to have something. Like as long as it's not just wings. For free at mining cave lower entrance. Mining cave lower entrance. Uh. Oh, like over here. Dude, it's 1.40 in the morning, though. Guys, I think I have to call it. I'm gonna be honest, I think I have to call it. I think I think that's a cool way to start tomorrow's stream off, though, is going to try to fix this. Because, like, I was about to reload the save. This this run's not dead, you know? This run's really clean still. We still have three save slots that have not been filled in. And we already have fuse opened, is the crazy part. I did goof by not by placing the fans... But it's not a dead run, and I really want to keep Why it alive. Use wings? Do you have to activate it? Uh, yeah, I can't use wings because gas keeps the zone device always on. Wings aren't like a device that you can turn on. Like, you know how you hit a fan and it turns on? If I hit a wing, like... There, there's no, there's no hitting, there's no turning a wing on. Like, wings don't work for gas. And gas is necessary to prevent autosaves. So... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it here, guys. I'm gonna call it here. It's it's almost 2 a.m. and it's unfortunately a school day for me, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it. But I think we have a good plan as we go over, either over there or maybe what we do what Penguin said. I don't know. I'll think about it. And then we have to do fuse, set up gas. I don't know. This could be the run. This could be the run. We'll see. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. Oh my god, I almost closed it, bro. I almost hit like X and A out of like habit. I got I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Uh, what time will she match tomorrow? Let's say, let's say, like, around 6 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, which is, uh, I guess, like, 3 p.m. in California and West Coast. But, yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm call it for the night today. Again, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's see if anyone's live that we can raid real quick. So, if you are, like, staying up all night and you wanna, you wanna hang out and see some other streamers... Streamers doing some streaming shit. Oh, yeah. Let's raid. Uh, let's raid Magina. Magina's live. Raid MC Jana. Oh gosh, I'm getting the freaking loot back, aren't I? I didn't think this through. I'll do this. I'll do this. All right. Again, thank y'all for being here. Appreciate it. I will be live tomorrow, 6 p.m. Hopefully, that's the day we solve it for real, and it's it's done. It's a done deal. We made a lot of progress today. I don't want to discount that. I know I said it's going to be a one streamer. It's going to be a two streamer. But God, we're so close, man. We're so freaking close. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks again. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Take care. Do something nice for yourself. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. That's going to be the one. Tomorrow's the one. Tomorrow's the day.